PKA 677 with our alpha male guest, Tom Taylor. This episode of PKA is brought to you by ferrodistro.com, Lock and Load, and Freeze Pipe. Bunch of wonderful sponsors. We'll talk more about them later. Mr. Turkey Tom, thank you for, for joining us tonight. No worries. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was watching some of your videos before the uh, the episode tonight. Hard to watch multiple of your videos in a short time frame because they're difficult. very in-depth <laughs> and, they're, and they're long. I started on the, the Chris Chan one, and like all Chris Chan documentaries, I get sad when I'm watching it, and it like mm-hmm. just the absolute devastation uh, that he wreaks around himself and his life kind of depresses me. Chris Chan? Oh, my goodness. Tom, take it away. I love how out of the loop Woody always is with like anything. Like, yeah. <laughs> Although I'm like a fan of the show. I've been watching you guys since you had Medicare oh, cool. on like five years ago. So I've been oh, like, hell yeah. in it. Um, okay, Woody. So Chris Chan is like a really cool guy. Um, big YouTube <laughs> channel. Famous dude. Lots of donos. Um, I mean, in all seriousness, I think he's probably people call him like the most documented person in history next to like mm-hmm. Hitler. Um, he's <laughs> like he, he, he or sorry, she Zer is uh, an, an autistic um, individual who people have been following online for like 15 years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're familiar with the website Kiwi Farms, the whole inception of that site was to follow Chris Chan um, and came from a mispronunciation of CWC forums. Chris is uh, most known for uh, an original character called Sonichu, which is a combination of Sonic and Pikachu. Kind of morphed into one. It's like a Jack, original up, piece uh, of art. The Sonichu pendant. It's quite beautiful. Wearing, if you can. Um, yeah, I believe Chris sells those on on Etsy or something now. But um, yeah, so there's just like someone who people have like sort of a weird fascination with, probably to an unhealthy degree, I would say. But um, they yeah. have for a very long time. Notable stuff is like their love quest, where they would go to college with like a sign about um, it would be like requirements for a girlfriend must be like this amount of height, this weight. Can't smoke, can't drink, must be white, I think was another requirement. Um, So pretty, you know, interesting standards for this guy. I think he was Um, posting that like on the bulletin board. Was that like a before and after? Like like what happened to him? This is a, well, this is a pre and post transition. So I don't know what, are we supposed to call him he or she? It, it depends. A lot of people uh, don't say she because Chris said the reason that he became uh, female was to get with girls. So it was like kind of a ploy. Um, but it's really like How up to it, it's up to interpretation. Work? Yeah, does that work? Because high school Woody needs some advice. <laughs> There's a surprising <laughs> amount of people that are pining for Christian. You would be surprised. So there there are a few um, oh supposedly that, uh, that you, you know, me? things have gone I down. <laughs> yeah, G is a faker. A mother faker, Hard. seemingly. Mm-hmm. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, he mm-hmm. he did so much ridiculous, absurd shit that is just uh, the most recent thing he was accused of doing. Actually, wait, wasn't he convicted of molesting his mother? <laughs> so he went. He was arrested for it, and then uh, they dropped the charges, and he's out now. So I don't. I don't really know um what what the deal is there. Um, but he there's a video of him talking about it on over like Discord. Um, there's, there's well, like, I hate someone... that. Yeah, yeah, it's not no good. One likes it. It's Everyone's come down against him. No, he yeah. doesn't have anyone in his corner for this. <laughs> no, uh, no. Yeah. Anytime you talk in absolutes, you're wrong. Yeah, there is That's some true. ghoul out there who's who's like, give him hell, Chris. It's Woody. It's, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Woody. Yeah, He's get your one. strays over here. Ghoul yeah, out. I'm shocked Jesus. that neither of you know who Chris Chan is, given how I, long you've been on the internet. I've heard of I Christians sort of... before. Yeah, not that, not this. <laughs> well, well, like I know that he's a lol cow. I know that, and mm-hmm. I'm just not interested in those. Like, like I know that there's, I, I don't like going down those creepy rabbit holes. It's quite depressing it. because it's always depressing and depraved, and it's like then you can't believe what he did next. It's like I don't know, man. He probably started eating doo doo or something. What do you do? You're not gonna blow my mind with this. He's gonna be as depraved and as awful as the mind can imagine. I'm sure, and I won't be surprised. It's like he molested his mother, and I'm like, all right, all right, you got me. <laughs> I, I never, was Didn't she alive? Now hang on. Was she alive during and after the molestation? He didn't. She's still. She's Cassidy. still. She is still with us to this day. So he's just a motherfucker. He's not a. Okay. Yes. Well. Well, how hot's his mom? She had. De- she's like an eighty-year-old with dementia that lived yeah, with no one but him. And he answer like the question, amazing. Taylor. How hot is so she's a baddie? To pull up a picture, she's a baddie. Absolutely. That's what a one is. That when 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 you talk about the the actual scale, like mm-hmm. like a one has to exist if a ten does. And I give you that Chris Chan's mom is a one, an eighty year old crippled woman with dementia. Yeah, 
I think all women are beautiful. I think you guys are being a little bit bigoted right now. I think she's yeah, we do that. Stunning. No. <laughs> she's stunning. Oh, why are there pictures? Why are there pictures of her? <laughs> if you saw that in your Instagram DMs, you wouldn't be like, "Damn, Shouty." Damn. <laughs> it's, 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 oh, I'm, I'm digging that finger in the electrical plug. Why do look. we have a picture of because her? Because this guy awful. like documents himself doing these things. Yeah. Like Chris Chan will do something oh. reprehensible and be like, "Check out what I've uh, what I've been up to." And then the reason people know this happened is because he, yeah. he talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that that happened, but I didn't know that it's like happened to the extent where like, yeah, and this is, this is a picture of his mom. Oh my God. Like, like, like it's so weird. I, that, Can I you didn't pull care up for that animation. That one picture bit. of Chris Chan's <laughs> mom again. Don't do that. I feel like we shouldn't. Yeah. The poor old lady. No, not don't, that one. The real don't, one. Don't, sh don't show the victim. <laughs> don't the show victim, the victim. She's a legend. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, well, she can't I, allege it. She is demented. And so six, this, he was we're six minutes in. We're six minutes in. <laughs> he was only caught. Pull the G, Z, Zim was only caught because Z posted it. Z. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, it's herself. Z posted it as herself. Was there any time when you were making the Chris Chan documentary that you had to step back and be like, "This, I need to maybe go to church, something like that." I mean, yeah, it's pretty disturbing. It's like a lot of showering. Um, you can tell I haven't showered recently. I just oh, got back from the gym, but right um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a dark video. It's a dark video, bro. Um, but something about it, I just have that fucked up, morbid curiosity. So, where so it's let like me ask you, interest. Yeah. Let me ask you this because maybe you know why hasn't you said the charges were dropped? It. It would seem that there might be enough evidence if he's discussing like like to, is he still her guardian? No, um, technically, there's a video of him talking about it. I don't think we know exactly why it was dropped. Um, part of like, speculation is like Chris is an unreliable narrator, so it might have just been like coerced out of him or something, and it might not actually be true. That's a possibility. It um, reminds me of the boogie thing. It's like I've seen boogie trying to meet up with little girls and like sending gross pictures and stuff. Like over, not boogie, not boogie. I'm so sorry, boogie. Start, start I was gonna say, holy it. shit. I meant, I meant, I meant EDP. Bomb. EDP. I, mean, EDP. Okay. I was picturing EDP. Sorry, boogie. I didn't mean big apologies to boogie. You're, he didn't do that. Big apologies. Boogie does lots of things, but not that. <laughs> yeah, they're grown women. With EDP, I think I, I think the issue is that <laughs> not really, <laughs> the guys who did that investigation kind of fucked it up a little bit. So there's uh something with chain of evidence. The EDP and, thing. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people um, are under the impression the predator poachers kind of screwed that case up. Um, and now Jadeon just did that as well. Um, and I don't, I don't I don't know if he screwed it up, but a lot of people are saying like part of the reason he's not in jail is because, you know, of all these catfishing attempts. Are the predator poachers that you just mentioned, is that like that guy we called Rascal McGovern's? Yeah, Alex Rosen is his name. He went by uh, Chet Goldstein back in the day. Sort of That's a it. Jewish reference. <laughs> yeah, it. He's still Chet around. Goldstein. He's still around. He, um... <laughs> He went to like some Hillary, I think it was, what's Hillary's daughter or whatever? Is it Chelsea? Chelsea. 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 I, th I think he went, I th I could be a different politician. I think it was her though. He went to like one of her meetings and there was like a bunch of old people sat around. He stand up, he goes, your husband's a pedophile or some shit like that. Um, and then like everybody just like comes around him, tackles him. He's like on the ground. It's like, one you of know the why that's murders. bullshit? <laughs> her dad's a pedophile. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get it right. Yeah, that might be my mistake. I'm sure, I'm sure he married got it right. <laughs> Who's she married I'm, to? I'm though? sure we he got it right. Know. Yeah, let me actually know. find this. I need to find this because it's like one of my favorite videos. This must be time. the most hilarious shit to fact check. Where you're oh, like, I found <laughs> it. Here we go. Um, it says he did this. EDP 445's <laughs> Pedo Hunter asked Hillary Clinton about Bill Clinton's trips to Epstein Island. I'll put this in it the chat husband, here. But he was talking to Hillary. I see. Yeah, so he's. Well, yeah, they all were hanging out on Epstein Island. Just having good times, probably just innocent fun, you know. What was there probably, to probably there? nothing yeah. like sinister and nefarious and, and and worthy of a big cover up. Definitely not. Oh, you believe in this, but when it comes to what those kind Israelis tell us, the truth from what's happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, a grain of salt, sir. Please, please, a grain Explain of salt. Explain yourself, to this. Taylor. Explain I would, yourself. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even just you know. myself to bigots. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when so, they when go ahead, Kyle. No. Kyle, did you just do the... what? No, I was gonna say when they when they focus their their monocle onto you, Taylor, and investigate some of your statements. I Even think, as but... you were working your monocle, you're like hook nose to monocle. Like I don't know what are you... I think that that you're seeing what you what's I'm the hate projecting. in your own heart. Yeah, you're projecting yeah. the hate in your heart onto me. I was Don't doing be. a little monocle thing to imply a Jew. You've clearly done a whole 
a whole awful nose thing. rubbing your hands together <laughs> when our zionist <laughs> overlords come down upon you i'm you're gonna have only yourself to blame you know i d that's true zionist has been a tough word for me and if you google it and look it up it doesn't seem to fit the way people zionist just means get rid of palestine is that right a people who believe in i think it just means me like supporting israel but to I mean, me getting... it means to me it means an ethno state it means yeah. a a country based on an ethnicity like like, like it um and the and the and the the and Jewish state specifically, yeah. Specifically, yeah. It, so it's, it's, it's it's about forming an ethno state and and supporting it. That's what Zionism is. So a me. Zionist would he be okay with what's currently going? Like what currently he, he would not has, he would not be okay. He say get rid of the Gaza Strip. Like he would say Israel should have it. that. Should have that. Yes. Probably. Yeah. Go to like so if someone's a Zionist. Or they're or almost Twitter. for Israeli expansion. Absolutely. Definitely not for just in that region. Yes. As it is. Yeah, one hundred percent in favor of the expansion. Like, like it's it's basically they're the like good guys. Hero believes around mm. here or on Twitter. Pure in soul. I'm just they're all saying. pure in soul because mm -hmm. I don't want to fight with any of them. <laughs> any, <laughs> any of those people on the other side of the world, I don't give a shit. I want nothing to do with it. Nothing Taylor, would you hear, if you. That's uh, how you I shape. feel about Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're fine on our own here with our mm -hmm. with our cool our cool guns and all of our weed, and we want all you guys to stay out. You think you're a cool state, but can you get an abortion there? I don't know. That's yeah. not my problem. <laughs> That's yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Missouri. Now. You don't? Are you I'm telling a, me you I'm don't know the nearest? Zionist. What you don't know the nearest abortion clinic to your domicile at this very moment? Dude, abortion is wrong, and I wouldn't be a patron of that place. Are you guys all like weed guys? Uh, I'm I'm glad it's legal. Yeah, I don't identify that way, but yes, I okay. I do not want to identify as a weed guy. That's embarrassing. <laughs> are, are, are you like a weed guy? I'm straight edge. This is uh, lavender. <laughs> That's okay. lavender. No, he's a he's a big weed guy. I see. Are you, are I'm you not. A, I'm not a weed guy. I'm like kind of anti weed. I'm like very cringe about it, to be honest. Um, really? So you're anti weed? That's where I was not long ago. Call it five years ago. I mean, I just it's, I, I can't speak for everyone, but in my personal life, I've not found anything productive from it. It makes me very lazy and annoying. So I'm <laughs> curious. What, when I was anti weed, I was anti weed for me. Like you could smoke as much as you want. I had no judgment or or I was certainly pro legal weed. I just didn't want it in me is that where you are or would you make it illegal again like what do you think? i would never make it illegal i think people should be able to do what they want but i just i personally am like really uh, i'm just i'm like i'm i'm 21 so i'm like relatively mm -hmm. young that is like young. i've seen a lot of like people destroy their shit from weed like smart kids with good opportunities just like sink into weed as like a coping mechanism for their issues and just like become fucking losers and i'm like afraid of that so i'm trying to like not be big substance guy i mean i'll drink now and then but the weed is just like i i i, I think weed is weed is fine there's a lot of people who like are fine on it you know mr joe rogan okay he's fine um yeah, no but joke. uh i feel like it's like i don't know it's kind of destructive i feel like it's almost too accepted for a lot of people. i've seen people get on anti-anxiety meds and then when they do suddenly they're like more okay with bad grades they're more okay with low performance they're just less stressed about all the problems is the mortgage due it's gonna be okay that's what i like, think like the weed is like a rick and morty nihilism thing for a lot of people i feel like I the weed that's there's a true. parallel there to what i just described with anti mm -hmm. um did i say antidepressants i didn't go into the sris type anti-anxiety was one, one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So anti anxiety when you take like lexapro or something Suddenly, you're not killing yourself to like get ahead at work, solve all your yeah. problems, etc. You're just okay with where you are, and that can be a negative. Like anxiety is what pays the fucking mortgage. Yeah, I yeah, never like considered that of Lexapro uh, or, okay. or something like that. I'm, I'm not disputing it. I know I hated Lexapro. It just felt like I was numbed out. I was only mm. taking it as part of my legal defense. <laughs> 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 okay. I swear to God, like as soon as it became like a non thing, I quit cold turkey you're not supposed to and it was mm -hmm. one of the worst things i've ever done um it, it really was awful coming off of lexapro it was awful what was like okay. the i have two well i want to cover what you're talking about first what's it like to get off and what's it like to be on i would have um being on it just felt kind of like being numbed out like uh you're, you're kind of in this in the doldrums where uh nothing can be great and nothing can be terrible everything can you just kind of be okay uh, or or flavors of okay. Uh, so there's no joy. 
Yeah, no, no exuberance. Certainly, you're not like like having that. Like, I remember I was playing PUBG at the time, and I wasn't being as happy with my victories. I was like, I just won one. Why am I not having a meltdown over this? I usually like I'm not great at this game. I don't win a lot of these. (laughs) And uh, but but uh, coming off of it, not only did I just feel look feeling weird, just just sort of I don't know this almost felt like a stomach cramp that went all the way to the back of my spine and into my brain or something like that. Just felt queasy all the time when I was coming off of it. But the real oh, thing shit. was I had these sort of electrical shocks that I would feel in my brain. I've heard and that. like, it would be like you sort of you slip into it. a day. If, if you slip into like a daydream or something, you're just kind of just for a second, maybe you're waiting on like a, a door to open or, or the car to get washed or something. And then when I would come out of it, it would be with this start of like being frightened and startled. And then also like an electrical pain in my goddamn head. And I was like, what is this? And I was, I'm like Googling it. And it's like, yeah, this is cold turkey Lexapro. Don't. And, and then there's two paragraphs of don't go off Lexapro cold turkey. And I'm like six days after my last pill. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm not going back. I'm not going right. back. We're not turning yeah, my- the car around. My oh, man. friend got off Lexapro <laughs> more slowly than you. Like he lowered his dose, and he had the same symptom now. So, on the right. uh, on the weed thing, like I do agree with you, Tom, that there is almost a a cultural push to be like, well, it's not alcohol, it's not cocaine, it must be totally harmless, and you can do it yeah. all day, every day, and that's fine. Like it's natural, it's a plant. Right. Natural. Every plant, everything that's ever come from Earth is fine to eat, I guess. Yeah. Because it's natural. Arsenic's natural. Stop using that as your. Ev- everything is mostly I'm not... from plants. Like, but it's like if you if you allow yourself. But weed comes out of the to... ground like that. Can we just agree on that? It's like you don't have to I'm do not anything. Denying to it. it comes from the ground. Yeah. I'm just arsenic saying... doesn't jump out of the ground. Like, is that a piece of? Wait, you doesn't know, you it? Like, I thought arsenic I'm sure that, exists naturally. Well, I yeah, don't know. We got to get a whole bunch of it, arsenic. purify it right, and then and melt all the good arsenic down and filter out the dirt and like like make a make pile it of cobra it. venom. Then cobra venom's natural. It just comes from snakes. Regardless well, of that, like that'll get you very high if you're using. If <laughs> Go to heaven. I, I feel this in myself in that like if I smoke weed or anything like that. While I still have anything at all to do for the day, whether it's this or something else, like I, it will make me uncomfortable where I'll be like, fuck, like, why did I do that? Like now I'm high. I still have to do what I was going to do. I'm more likely to blow off my workout. I'm more likely to procrastinate on something that I need to get done. But if I smoke that like the end of the evening when everything's sewn up and handled for the day, I'm like, oh, this is kind of nice and relaxing. I'm enjoying this. But like, there is a, there are a lot of people out there who are using it twenty four seven, wake and baking every day, all the time, and maybe some people can handle <laughs> so I, it, but I know I cannot, and I know so, the vast majority of people cannot, and in that way, like it is going to do what Woody said and make you content with complacency, and that can be dangerous over time. The only way you can do it is if you make a list, like before, like I'll wake up and I'll, I'll take a shower. And I'll, I'll figure out what I've got to do today. Usually it's like three or four errands or something. I got to go to Lowe's and get some screws and bolts to put a fucking thing together. And then the gutter fell down on the side of the house. And mm-hmm. I need a new rake. And it's like, I'll make my goddamn list before I smoke. But because I, if I don't have that list, I won't just forget that I needed a new rake. I'll forget why I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not selling <laughs> what you need to rake. You, I mean, you've got to you've got to treat your uh, your uh, your smoking like a like a disability and prepare for it. You, know, you, have to have your, you have to have your list just like you need your wheelchair by the bed in the morning if you're going to get up and get stuff done. Taylor, you mentioned Coke. I think like broadly, societally speaking, like Coke is probably less destructive than weed because weed is just so common. Like everyone's ah, crack cocaine. Oh, counterpoint. Wide. <laughs> well, yeah, Coke I- is like at least lawyers are doing it. They're getting stuff done, you know. Yeah. Finance people, lawyers. Uh, skinny, attractive bitches. Oh Why my are we forgetting God. crack? Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Yeah, on get the Bro. nice, nice bodies. Those girls, bodies. Girls who like do coke and smoke cigarettes. Holy shit! Let's They're go. All, all stimmed <laughs> up. 
bad teeth. <laughs> yeah. Just, just better blow job. Foul, foul breath. Just yeah. The fewer oh. the teeth, the better the blow job. Cigarette like, and coke like breath. After, oh. after you stick your dick in their mouth, you don't even want to be within like 100 yards of your own dick. It's just completely disgusting. Foul. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> the dried spit. You fucking and, throw it in the washing machine for like a year. You cocaine gives you terrible breath, and obviously cigarettes do. I didn't know cocaine gave you bad breath. Yeah. Yeah, like dries you out and it's all chemically. I don't know. It must be just a bad breath compound in the the cocaine, something like that. Kyle, your your audio isn't coming in. I'm yeah, I, I appreciate that uh, that perspective because you don't get that much anymore. Where yeah, so you, many people are no. I mean, so many people are all in on like it's not even a drug, man, and it's like no, it's a drug. And mm. if you can't handle it or you allow it to make you lazy. And you don't get shit done like that compounds and a day becomes a week, becomes a month, becomes a year. And before you know it, like you've wasted valuable time. So I don't use it responsibly, just, folks. Use it responsibly. I feel like emotionally it's like bad. Like I know people who like is a coping mechanism. They like use weed to just like forget their issues. And it's like I feel like there's just such an anti stress thing now. It's like a little stress is OK. Like you shouldn't. I feel like a healthy mix between like no stress and then like wanting to kill yourself with stress like somewhere in the middle is probably where you should be yeah yeah but it's like this productivity stressed, zone there's being stressed about like paying your bills and then there's being stressed about that time you forgot your underwear in, in gym in the third grade and you know the eighth grade and, and you're like fucking why did i do that and you're like like that some weird. people some people have that and then they just like smoke weed that's bad yeah that's I, bad. my friend oh. that was on lexapro I what do you what do you do briefly. just raw dog life yeah you yes. got a raw dog, okay. man. No. <laughs> my, my friend was telling me somebody flipped him the bird while driving, right? You know, so you, you probably experienced this sometime in your life. He would like perseverate on it. That means like to think about it nonstop. And and uh, just like it was spinning in his head, spinning. What did I do, man? That guy hates me. Fuck. Like I. I it's like some maybe fucking I, random maybe guy. Maybe I I'll did fuck up, right? Not this sure. isn't a stranger he'll never see again who flipped him the bird over either a driving accident or a misunderstanding or you know i've been flipped the bird and i maintain i was right sometimes and also i've been wrong yeah. but uh um i don't sit there and think about it three days later and discuss it with my friends to get like when's the last time you asshole. flipped a, when's the last time you flipped off someone in traffic oh i i don't do that anymore i do something else me either i give them the toodaloo you you, you on the toodaloo crowd no. you a thumbs up man thumbs down I, oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah. I actually, if they do something awful i'm like nah. <laughs> i give them the toodaloo okay then i, I, I like think that. i did it like like <laughs> two weeks ago <laughs> the bird yeah i flipped someone the bird because we were taking oh it was a left on a green light and it's one of those lights at a busy intersection that like if i don't get through this left green i'm going to be late to the place i'm going not because i'm bad with time management but because <laughs> of the person in front of me solely and they like didn't pay attention i had to give them a little beep like a I'm, a little courteous beep honk like hey I, you're looking down at your phone and there's 100 yards of space in front of you and then they like accelerated slower than i can jog and i'm not quick and they like they went through a red and there was no chance I could get through at that point. And so I, I flipped them the bird, like, fuck you, you inconsiderate piece of shit. And afterward I was like, man, that's, that's not how you want to behave at 30. I always, I always get road rage at the rotaries with like the two lane rotaries. Mm. Those are oh, fucking yeah. brutal. And like when I'm driving in Boston, like I'm, I think crazy shit. I'm like, I'm going to get on fucking fight him and pull the car open. I'm like, I never do it, but I just <laughs> like, it's, I get so mad getting cut off by like trucks. I'm like so angry. When like a Ford Raptor cuts me off, it's like I need to murder that person right now. So, <laughs> and take their so I'm in the passenger trust. seat. My wife is driving, yeah. and I don't know specifically what went wrong, but someone was furious at her, and I'm in the passenger seat. So I gave him like the thumbs down. Now he's furious at me. I, I was ready to beat him up. Like not that I was like actively going for it, but it's like this is a choose your own adventure book, bitch, and mm -hmm. you have to decide if you really want this. I'm not playing tough guy. Everyone on this call would easily defeat this man, right? He, he was probably my age, but shorter, a fucking marshmallow of a fat piece of shit with no muscles. And, and yeah, there's, there's no chance this guy poses a threat to anyone. Unless he's a good shot. Unless he's a good shot. But um, <laughs> <That> he is. <laughs> yeah. So he's all being Mr. Tough Guy. And I'm just like, as far as you want to go, what do you want to do next? Do you like, do, do you want to pull over? Do you want to, what do you want to do? He didn't want that. What do you want to do, huh? What do you yeah. want to do? 
You know, Randy I, Marsh. <laughs> Randy Marsh, who's that? Yeah, from South the, Park. The dad from South oh, Park. Yeah. My, my grandpa. Uh, I'm a dumbass, I guess. Back in like but the no, no, days. I like no, no. But he wanted Randy to did this. He like that's what was Randy's problem. He too. picked the guy was a fight him. with my family. I didn't. The ask guy was for this. picking a fight with Randy's family. He didn't <laughs> ask for it either. He was wearing the other guy was wearing a cape. <laughs> I don't think my guy had a cape on. I fully but. support uh, people getting beaten up in traffic. I like. Uh, I saw a video not too long ago where two guys out got out, had mutual fucking combat. One of them got his ass whipped a little. They ju- they stood up. I think they shook hands and then went their separate ways. It was like it was, was a, that a Reddit beauty. video. I saw it on Reddit. Yeah, yeah, I, I may have seen it also. I love yeah, a good I, road rage video. Did you see the one during the pandemic in Australia? There was this like Is it the guy who used the boomerang? Is it was the that? it was a guy with a boomerang. <laughs> yeah. If I recall, either shirtless or in like a thin like tank top, and he's jacked. Shirtless and I guess the guy in the car he was attacking was some doctor. And this guy like comes up and like knocks his rear view mirror off with a boomerang and is like smacking it on his window, like, you vaccinated my family. You're vaccinated. Yeah, he's freaking You're trying to fucking out. job me, mate. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you gave my family, too? did you? You gave him the jib. And he's like freaking. And this guy's like shredded. And I'm like, man, I'm glad I'm anywhere but inside that car right now because he's freaking out. Yeah. You're telling me screaming. that there's a video of an Australian man attacking a doctor who vaccinated his family with a boomerang. I may hit I, the, the boomerang and the Australian man attacking are for sure. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the doctor thing was like, Oh, you gave him the COVID vaccine, did you? We'll see what we think about that. And he starts <laughs> banging on. He his does car. break the window. He breaks the passenger like window, not just the mirror. I think. I think he really breaks the window. I think you're right. Yeah. I got. Yeah, I'll find wild. that video after the show. That that actually sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, the kind of video Kyle would like. It's because the guy but, the guy was shredded. He 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 was in prime beat your ass in traffic shape. Like no one's mm, stepping out. He's to been training for this moment. Yeah, I like when they have like a little comedic timing to them. I saw one where the guy gets out and starts shit with the other guy, and he's got some sort of mall ninja sword that like folds up until it's six inches long, but then like sha 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 until it's like this long, like thin blade, swingy blade, and and the other guy's like, "Whoa, what the fuck? You have a sword?" And they and the guy's filming it. He's like, "Oh, homeboy got sword. What the fuck?" Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, dude. Play it safe, because the other guy's like, "No, no, I don't want any, I don't want to be for the sword wielding man." And, they, and so the sword man like retreats, and he's like, "Oh, wait, homeboy got something in his trunk. What he got? What he got? Guy's popping his trunk. Oh, he got a gun. He's got like an <laughs> AR. You see him grab the AR fifteen and like pull it up here, and then the video turns off. And it's, I'm like, I hope that was fake because the comedic timing's perfect. It's just like the <laughs> one. There's one where there's a motorcycle, uh, a guy on his motorcycle Baseball riding in an guy. alleyway. And uh, some guy stops him and like mugs him with a knife. And he's like, yeah, yeah, take the bike, man. Take the bike, man. And then all of a sudden the song cuts it. Just the two of us. And he like pulls the clock <laughs> out and puts it. And he's like pointing at the guy's back and the video cuts. And I'm sure that one's fake. That one's definitely some. Buddy. I've seen that real. Uh, it, it wasn't in America. It was it's South America somewhere. And the guy like doesn't resist he lets him take the motorcycle and then he unloads like six into him the caption said the victim the victim like i was waiting for someone to lost the bike bike with a cop i don't know if it's true yeah i saw like south america has some of the best carjacking videos i saw one a lot of scooter robberies in south america and i saw one where these two guys on a scooter tried to stop these other two guys who were just walking and, and rob them and then, you know, go off into the night on their scooter. And they had a machete and the other, the people they were accosting, one of them had a gun. And so what ended up happening is that I guess these two guys, the one with the gun who was about to be robbed, I guess they were also criminals. And so they <laughs> then robbed the robbers and then it's them riding away, two of them on a, on a moped. So like they were about to get robbed and they're like, no, you know what? Actually, this isn't cool. Give us your moped. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little, a little correct, corrective justice there. I liked that. Good for them. I, I like also, it when you the, go. The law in uh, South America with guns and self defense seems to be that as long as they're within seven to eight hundred yards of you, <laughs> you, you can pursue them. You can kill them. You can shoot them. Like you see an American, like be like blah blah. All right, I neutralized the 7-Eleven thief, and he's laying there being like, my legs, my legs. In fucking Honduras, 
they <laughs> they don't stop shooting. They reload. They get friends. They kill you. They murder you. Same with Asia. They have a cookout around your body. They seem hmm. to. Yeah, they they play for keeps in Honduras and, and Guatemala and all those places that I don't want to visit. I don't blame the road rage guys. Like driving is people don't appreciate the gravity of how dangerous driving is. Like just yeah. how easy it is to fucking die. Like I I, th- I think it should be justified if somebody seriously cuts you off in a very dangerous way to just beat their ass for like ten seconds. Like that should be legal. Just just, just ten seconds. Well, it's gonna be hard to get them to agree to it. Well, if the law, if the law agrees, you should just have, like call a cop so we can come by and watch. Be like, all right, get like a timer, like stopwatch, go. <laughs> and you I'd get your, good. you get your time. <laughs> I'd be good with that. Everyone yeah. would be a lot more courteous if they knew. Oh yeah, we that, have way oh, less. Way I less was waiting for Woody's that. reaction. Woody went, ooh. Oh yeah, Woody. Woody would like, be the guy. I was waiting oh. for Woody to agree. That the video was legit, and I, I saw it in his eyes. He was like, yes. Kyle's exactly right. That was me reacting to the link he put in the chat. Uh, for people watching, Kyle linked in the chat. Literally, it was maybe not America outside some sort of quickie mart. And someone came along with a drive-by and shot. I looked at it quickly. Three, four people? Three people. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, they come Jesus. back with g teens. It's crazy. Like, 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 I think that was Mexico. It's a cartel hit or something like that from mm-hmm. at least a year ago. I see it crop up every now and then. But the thing that strikes me is how... That the drive-by comes by and, and shoots all these people who are just outside some little bar tiki thing. To the left of them, parked in a car with the lights off, though, is the second team. So the first team like wheels out of there and the second one pulls out and like gets the survivors. It's crazy. Yeah, I just saw that. They made Oh, sure I didn't know the whole thing dead. was there. Then they come up with G18s. Yeah. Fucking fully yeah. automatic lock pistols, which I see those far too much now on like social media. It's a real flex. And uh, is it for, easy to convert? Yeah, yeah. And the P, it's just these, I think it's three little pieces, but one of them's a bolt or, or like a pin, really. So it's, it's this, it's just a little bit of uh, aluminum and steel, and you've got a fully automatic Glock. And then those mags are everywhere those 33, 31, mm-hmm. 32, something like that, round mags. And then I think drums have been coming out more and more. They used to be the, the drum I shot a decade ago was handmade. Like there, nobody sold a drum. A decade ago, they were a little unreliable. I don't know if, if I was to conduct a quickie mart murder. I don't know that I'd go drum because yeah, jammed. yeah. But maybe I'm out of date. Uh, who fucking knows? I wouldn't. Um, but it's it's scary as hell to see those things. Dude, those cartels are so scary. They really are. They they got me with those. They, that picture of the dude's head on like a fucking. Uh, old Chevy hood where like all the skin's been peeled off. I could see that right now. I haven't seen that picture in 12 years. I remember seeing it online and being like, oh, I got a movie. Oh, oh Dude, it's, it's horrible. Cartels are scary, but like nothing is remotely as scary as the United States military. Like nothing comes close. There was, I think it was I, who had this quote. Who's like, I like the United States army. I like him so much. The more soldiers that are around me, the happier I am. And I think he was in Iraq at the time. And I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. I'm a little happy with 20,000 of them. And I'm really happy with 120,000 soldiers around me. And I, like the shit we can do, just the remote flipping people's light switches off. The it's reason outrageous. epic. So epic. what I'm the reason <laughs> I think that the United States is so scary is because our intelligence. Because we're um, an evil empire. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. You know Star Wars <laughs> were the bad guys, right? You know that, right? That's it was made. I heard that was about Vietnam. It's yeah. about and we're Vietnam the Empire, and we're the Empire. Um, is that true? That's a hundred percent true. George Lucas has said that. It's absolutely true. Yeah, that's why um, I said that. But, but it's but it's poppycock. What's scary about the United States is like like of course they can go like turn your government upside down and put in their own if they want to, and not just a little country, but like a medium sized country, and we can kind of do it in the background right like nobody on there are no nurses like who couldn't buy my fancy handbag this month because imports are being sunk in the atlantic no no the imports aren't being sunk in the atlantic it's business as usual while we upend your medium-sized country what's scary though for the individual because who cares what happens over there we're over here yay yay they could scoop you up if you happen to be one of the billion men whose first name's muhammad and last name sounds like something scary and send you to one of those black sites that we have all over the world where we basically go to one of the countries that you, you think we wouldn't normally do a lot of business with, but it turns out we can be like, hey, we want 
20,000 square feet in the corner of one of your military bases on this weird little desert country you have. We'll do our thing there. Don't ask any questions. And yeah. they're just in there torturing the fuck out of people. They, and, and not only that, we'll just turn them over to like the Saudis. Like, hey, you, want, would, you, you don't want to talk to us? You can talk to the Saudis. They'll pull your fingernails out and like rape your butthole with a camel or some shit. We They'll do, do whatever that. they want. That's why we're the GOAT. That's why we're the GOAT of all time, dude. That's why we fucking won. Dude, so really? That shit in Vegas? That's esoteric. Don't read into that. Um, yeah. did, you, did, you, did you do a documentary on that? A video on that? Yeah, the that's a Vegas good idea. Shooting? That's that's a really good idea to do on YouTube. I think they had a proof of everything I have to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> after that, you could do 9-11, and you could do all, all sorts of videos that yeah, they would just, love no, and that you wouldn't get taken down for. Waco, Ruby Ridge. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that'd be really wise. Abu Ghraib. Abu Ghraib. Yeah, that's where... Right. Yeah, I don't. I uh, I think we may have put objects in their bums occasionally. I, 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 is a little interesting, right? Like it, even very state to state. In New York, for instance, I just happen to know this because of the Trump stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's not rape unless you use your penis. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? It's a uh, it's sodomy. Yeah, you can use a drumstick. A drumstick. I'm trying to say broomstick, a dildo, your fingers. It's not rape. It's just sexual yeah. assault. Huh. Uh, I've got a good movie for you about the cartel, though. If you've never seen Sicario, I've seen Sicario. Sicario. It's I saw I saw wonderful. it in theaters, so probably yeah. ten years ago. Josh I remember Brolin, it being all right. Benicio del Toro and uh, um, uh, John Krasinski's wife, whatever her fucking name is. It's real good. It's they, they formed this team to go topple a, a cartel in Mexico, and they've got like a lady FBI agent, a CIA agent, and just an assassin and uh it's it's very good there's a part where they need to get some in intelligence out of a uh, uh a cartel leader and they've they've taken him back to the u.s and benicio del toro walks in with a big jug of water and everybody assumes he's gonna waterboard the guy they even mentioned like one of the guys had been giving him water he's like oh you filled his belly up with water you dirty dog and everybody's like yeah he's gonna waterboard him let's leave him to it and then he doesn't know from the water and he said, Del Toro just rapes him. Did they get answers? They got all the answers. Taylor. Yeah, the answers were yes, yes, oh God, yes. Yeah, that was, that was the answer. <laughs> they got all That's the answers. That's not so bad. <laughs> I want to know, uh, I'm sure Sicario is good, but Tom, when you're not researching retards for your videos, what do you do for fun? What do you like to do? Because I, I can do imagine a lot you fun. like Chris Chan. No, I mean, I do. I do actually like looking at that stuff, but I pretty much just go to the gym. Um, take the, taking that pretty seriously since January. Ah, Got to get on test, though. Um, apart yeah, from dude. that. Yeah, um, again, that's nice. Let me see what you got. Looking good. See my muscles you <sighs> looking jacked, muscles. shredded. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we put me in the big view. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I do that. Apart from that, I mean, I watch movies. Um, that's about it. I'm pretty uh, obsessed with my job, to be honest. I spend like 10 hours a day on my computer. Really? Damn. Well, I guess yeah. you. I've I was looking there. like a lot of those channels that put out like hour long exposés or documentaries or whatever. It's like once every eight months they'll upload one. You like shockingly how like how common it is for you to release a 58 minute video. Like yeah. every two weeks, seemingly you could just go on a run and do it. Like you, you really must be in there 10 hours a day. Yeah, so it's not just me at this point. There's um, I have about ten contractors that work for me consistently. Um, so we uh, we are all working to get stuff out, and I have like another YouTube channel as well. And we're doing other business business stuff, so um, it's like a decent size operation at this point. Nice. Um, What's your second channel up. called, so people can look? It's called Tom Dark. It's more uh trending topic type stuff. Think moist critical that kind of thing. Um, okay. So yeah, that's uh that one wasn't I started that like a year and a half ago or so, but that one's starting to kind of eclipse the other stuff I do a little bit, which is cool. Um, but uh but yeah, so we've I've got like a whole little operation and I'm uh I was streaming for a while. Um I had some gay uh personal stuff happen that I needed to deal with, but um I'm hoping to get back to that soon. I was uh streaming a lot with you guys have had Destiny on, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, was doing, not for a good while, but we've had him on before. I was doing a decent amount of streams with him, um, so I'm hoping to get back to that pretty soon. But um, as you guys know, uh, November, December ad revenue is uh, very good. So I've been trying to take advantage of that right now. Smart. Yeah, what is a uh, have you ever gotten huge pushback on a video? 
like people coming out and being like, you should have fact checked this about Chris Chan or Boogie or Wings or like, how do you deal with that? A little bit. I'm pretty good about that. Like we, we research pretty intensely. Um, so I, I'm pretty good about not having too many of those issues. Um, usually like I'll, I'll get shit sometimes. Like I made this video about this, like um, this, this is so gross. This like pedophile cult run by this person named the giggly goon clown. Um, it's pretty foul, but the part, part, part of the whole thing with them was, um, a bunch of the people involved were trying to convince children to get on hormones and it was like a fetishistic thing for them. I don't think that's a common mm -hmm. thing with trans people, but a lot of people kind of took that the wrong way and they were like, this is a transphobic video or something. Um, so now and then I get stuff like that, but I mean, to uh, be honest, for the most part, I, I mostly just tune out. Like I don't read comments. I don't look at what people say about me on Reddit or, you know, 4chan. I just try to not look It just, it's like, it's just not productive to read every comment about yourself. It just doesn't matter. Well, Taylor would love that. <laughs> he would love what? what? Well, a video, a video about trans people trying to indoctrinate children. I know that's a very important topic for you. Is it? Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Of, of course. Of course. Of course. You, I've cared about this for so long. You got you. Okay, we're gonna pretend like the at the every <laughs> meeting, every meeting you you bring up. The you don't know bring that's me under Jordan the hood. Video. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't possibly know. <laughs> I, know I thought it was you got some seven different accents coming from under yeah, that thing. <laughs> no one else wears a five XL hood. <laughs> oh, that's true. Taylor, what do you do? What do you do when you're not PKA? Chinese or African? <laughs> My, what do I do for fun? Uh, or, or just when you're not, when you're not doing PKA, I guess. Uh, gaming. I've been trying to get back into gaming, like which is such a gay thing to say. Trying to get <laughs> back into, little, yeah. yeah, very stupid. But like, I'll watch. Like, I'm back in 2008 as far as my gaming ability. I feel like where. I used to watch Zer Grizz on YouTube and be like, I'm going to be a sniper bro now and then go and try and do that shit. And now I'll see like Twitter clips of games that look really fun. I'll give it a go. And I'm just dog shit now. I'm terrible. All these kids are better at gaming than me. I don't really have the inclination to get really good. So usually when I'm trying to like blow off stress, I just lift or get into a stupid hobby like uh candle making i make uh a good deal of my own scented candles and i and i do that like very impulsively so like two weeks will pass where i make myself no joke a hundred candles with a bunch of different scents and then nine months will pass while i burn through my hundred candles and i'm almost you, out actually i need to have like, another candle do you pour the wax and everything like how does that work yeah yeah i melt the soy wax in a double boiler on my stove and then i add the coloring that I want it to look like. I'm not going to make a lavender scented candle that isn't a light color purple. How are you going to mm -hmm. really add to the, you know, the feeling of it there? I make sure I have the correct girthiness I'm, I'm of the wick. 10% gayer. D fucking 50% gayer. This is the most homosexual <laughs> thing I do outside of sex. And like it's, <laughs> I, I, I put the wick in. You put a wick that's too big in that container, it's going to burn too hot gonna burn too hot we all know that and then know that. and then what happens the scent boils away it steams away mm. that's not ideal i'm basically like that <laughs> I, uh... you put a wick that's too small it's gonna crater there's gonna be a lot yeah. of leftover wax on the outside and then Dude, i also you fucking noob that's called tunneling tunneling you're right i'm sorry and then i also mix i different make candles too sometimes i think taylor might be better listening to this i, I i'm sorry i cut you off but no you're fine soy wax huh not wax. beeswax, not paraffin wax. Soy. Never paraffin. Very Never paraffin. You want to go soy. I'm a soy boy when it comes to candles. Like mm -hmm. soy is, it's cleaner burning. If you ever burn a candle and it's got like black sooty shit on the entrance of the candle, that's paraffin wax. And that's like not good to be breathing in a lot. What temperature do you add the fragrance? Uh, I add it at 180. That's hot. It's You're hot. losing scent. Well, I you don't Maybe. lose much scent there because the woman I watch on YouTube <laughs> who explained to me how to do it, who's like a very matronly woman, believe it or not, every video of, about candle making, I think I'm the only man there. It's it, no one else is, is as a dude is doing that. And so I, I, I heard her talk about it. She's like, don't put it in above 180. Around 180 is good because the wax molecules are still expanded. And so it can capture the scent in there. You try and add it when it's too cool. 
and it's going to be like pockets of not absorbed scent that it could light up when you're lighting your candle. It could be a, a fire hazard. But yeah, I just I just do a bunch of, of <laughs> There's stupid... There's no fucking way that like a fire is going to break out that I don't want to. You're telling me that 60-year-old woman in the apron lied to me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just... Like uh, my candles turn out differently every time because I'm not that good a scientist, I suppose. And I've never had any spontaneous combustion that wasn't intended. I mean, candles are supposed to be on fire. Are you talking about with paraffin wax? No, I haven't used paraffin wax, wax. I don't think. I've used. Uh, I think. I, I think that's a risky soy. thing because because if your candle upends and then you get this big splash of flammable paraffin wax, it's not unlike when you overfill a turkey um, uh, fryer and then you put the turkey in and that. 400 500 degree mm -hmm. oil overflows and it basically just instantly catches fire when it's the hot air hmm. i don't know you don't want any of that i love those videos you don't see that very much anymore because no. people caught on uh they all died i guess of horrible burns but oh like uh two years ago tom i i got very into archery oh, i wanted oh, yeah. i i wanted to be an archer you know mm -hmm. what i am an archer i'm just not <laughs> a, a a good archer, archer. I'm True. I'm an Arzur, yeah. I'm I'm pretty decent at it uh, across you know short range. Don't You're gonna have give to kill an that. animal. You gotta kill an animal before I'll co-sign. With my recurve bow, you picked your weapon. Don't come yeah. to me, but uh, like, like, oh, dude, that this, foam yeah, turkey nope. in my backyard has so many holes in it. I've fucked that. Animal. And I I'm pretty sure Taylor's killed animals before. Yeah, I have, but not with a bow. Yeah, nah, he didn't say with a bow. He said you have to kill an animal. Just Boom! Squeeze I have the killed. I, I have suffocated bunnies and all sorts of things like that. But no, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't what, do that. That's well, the trouble. Well, you know, from mice and men, he just he was, he was just petting. I'm I'm like Lenny from It's Mice and Men, just killing my neighbor's dogs. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking thing. Speaking yeah, of uh, is this really thing to get into waste of time. I was, I was gonna say, speaking of animals, you guys know who Vegan Gains is? Do you know who this is? Oh, does he I have bikes? heard of him. Does he's he like a, a he's really a vegan well? bodybuilder, right? Or strongman? Yeah, he's a vegan bodybuilder. Um, he's probably six three, like two hundred and fifty pounds. Um, but he's mm -hmm. known for like, like there's video. He hates babies, and there's videos of him saying he's like, when I see a baby, I want to put my foot through the fucking thing until it's blood and pulp on the fucking pavement. Well, anyway, um, I thought Is he, he was joking? funny. He's joking about wanting to kill them, but he does have a genuine fear of babies. He does not like babies. Okay. Um, and he he's a vegan to the point where, <laughs> no, well, no, he is afraid. He's he's vegan to the point where if like a bodybuilder dies and the bodybuilder ate meat, he'll be like, well, he got what he deserved. Um, but anyway, damn, what I joke. thought he was, I thought he was That's funny, cool. so I decided to go hang out with him in real life for like a week, and I shot a video with him. Um, and he's very, he is weird, but he's very funny. He's like my friend now. Um, <laughs> first of all, insanely jacked. Like I, I don't really know what the real meter for jacked is, but I watched him bench like 380 pounds. So he's definitely really fucking big. <laughs> all right, oh, he's gosh, strong as heavy. shit. Yeah. He does. He does not eat meat. He only eats soy. He only eats soy. And, um, he says like, if you ask him, he will tell you, he'll be like, yeah, I mean, you know, I think if it was legal, like I would probably kill meat eaters. Like, and I don't, I don't think he's joking. I don't think he's joking. Um, damn. Does but, he know uh, you're a meat eater? Oh, he knows. And he's like, tell, he'll text me once in a while a picture of his cat. He'll be like, make the cat proud. Stop eating meat. Um, Wait, but, he, does he have like, does he have like a vegan yeah, that, cat? He feeds his cat only a vegan diet. Oh, that's just, that's, that's fucked up. Abuse. I, yeah, that is. He, he claims it's fine. I don't know. He claims it's fine. He's oh, well, if he all right. So, so I keep fish and the, when they teach you how to feed your fish, they teach you about cats and rabbits. Uh, some fish are herbivores, some are omnivores, and some are carnivores. And they did tests in real life where they fed rabbits a meat-only diet, and they fed cats a vegetarian diet, and the cats got diabetes and died. Well, he he claims it's fine. Who am I to argue? I don't know science. I don't honestly believe science is real. I mean, he so. does give the cat insulin twice a day. That's true. <laughs> that's nice. He might. He might. science out there. But, yeah, I'm I'm positive cats need meat. Like, I'm, listen, I, I'm wary of anyone who believes in anything that strongly. You know what I mean? Like, like I could get, look, I'm starting to feel bad about eating pork because pork's not that great. I get bacon's good, but it's not. So it's, it's not a fucking orgasm. It's bacon. And they're so smart. I keep seeing those Reddit videos of cute little pigs in people's houses. And they're like, oink, 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 and like switching its belly. Fuck. That thing looks smart too. I see them using their little snoop to open doors and latches. Keep watching those videos. It'd be so funny if you became vegan. Pigs don't bother me that much because I'm told they're mean. 
Um, mm. But cows, they're so sweet. When I eat cow meat, dude, that thing is like a dog, but much yeah. larger. They're adorable. They're kind. If you, you can't hit a cow. I don't know if you've ever tried to hit it. Someone once gave me a hundred dollars to smack a cow. I couldn't get it done. Um, I, I would like walk by not looking at it and dart. I can't catch a cow. I can't. You can't They're quicker I was, than you think. I was younger at the time too. Now I really, really can't catch a cow. But if you could slap a cow across the face, it would instantly forgive you. And it is hard to eat that animal. It would barely register this. what you did as aggressive because it's so big. It'd be like, what the hell is going on here? Did this thing just mean to pet me? Where did you find a gift? <laughs> How perfect was that? <laughs> why why did that exist? Yeah, I, I genuinely am now. But but even still, I would never see someone eating a steak and be like, hey, don't you know those things are like big fucking dogs? Like, like he just, I'm not going to bother you during your meal. Well, he doesn't. Like, he, I've eaten so many. I've killed them. I've shot them. I, I, you know, I've shot deer and all that. Like, like, I, who am I to say you shouldn't eat anything? But just, I'm starting to feel bad about eating them. If I'm being honest, there, I could see a time in the future where I. That's Pussy. what that's that's what they say when they're being murdered. One and a, Ooh, one after another. Oh, new Kyle, little light in the loafers. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I, I, I I ate meat today. I ate beef today. Don't worry. I killed a cow today. I, I contributed. Piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Have you I'm guys insane. seen the way they like bad. treat the animals though? It's like insane. Oh, it's Slap sad. Them around. Yeah. You made me watch a documentary. You know they gas pigs in like a gas chamber? That's fucking unreal. What? They're like alive it's, and screaming. Yeah. Chickens are worse. Chickens are chickens worse. Are, they, chickens are insane. They they hang chickens up by their feet and then they uh they put they're on like a they're all in a line, obviously, you know, all by their feet on this conveyor belt. And it sort of hits a low spot where their heads all go into this water that's electrified. Mm-hmm. And they hit, so they electrify them. them all in the electrical water, and then they immediately slit their throats and dunk them in boiling water. So yeah. they're getting boiled alive mostly. Have you seen the, the chick? The, have you seen the the baby mm-hmm. chick? No, the head blender? is not off. The baby what? The baby chick blender. So like they don't have yes. use for like most of the males, so they just chuck them in a blender that just turns them into fucking dust. Dude, it's more of a horrific. grinder, but yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like two. It's like two like things spinning into <laughs> each other. It like, 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 oh, them. Yeah, yeah. that okay. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff about the meat industry that makes me right? sad to Is this look the new at Chick Fil A milkshake flavor. But like, I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna stop. I mean, that's. Meat. That's where I'm at. Like that, he made me watch this fucking movie called Dominion about the meat Shit. industry in Australia and how horrible it is. I mean, have you seen that? No, I've I have not. heard about it. it's it's it's, it's like so a disturbing. horror movie of. I really feel bad for the dolphins. I saw that the what is it Blood Cove or something? Yes, or, I know we they don't cu- eat dolphins, but like they really, cut them up. I, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel guilty but, for what fucking Chinese and Japan Japanese people are doing over there. They also showed uh they show what they do in Japan with like uh skinning dogs alive and then they turn it into like a coat and pretend it's something else. Pretty yeah. crazy. Oh that's um, awful. Yeah, you can't eat dogs. That's fucked up. Well, this is a thing, like the the dog and the pig is like the same thing. Yeah, right? but I'm not culturally used to eating dogs, and so it's easy to like as long as, I, as long as I don't watch documentaries like that. Which, first of all, that's hilarious. You went to go hang out with a vegan bodybuilder, and he's like benching 380, huge dude, and he's like, hey, sit down, we're watching this. <laughs> Trying it's to funny, you think he sounds like that. He sounds more like Leafy is here. He sounds like, all right, man, uh, we should go watch this thing right now. Like He sounds like that, but he's so big. He's so jacked. Hmm. That, what, um, what is his secret? What is Leafy he is here still making videos and doing his thing? No, he fucked off. He comes back now and then, but he just leaves. Mm. Um, I think he's he a drug addict. He was real popular for a while. All right. yeah, H3, is it H3? H3, is that his name? That guy, Ethan, ended his career. Every time I see him on like something about Ethan on Twitter, it's him getting like clowned on at this point. Yeah, like It's just oh, people man. bullying him and being like, get a load of this retard. Hey, mm-hmm. Hang on. It's the part of the show where I give Woody his, his due. The uh, the more we see of the cyber truck, all right. They made a vehicle. I was right about that. It rolls down the road and you can buy one. But everything else is awful. Like 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 it was like he got forced to make it the same way he got forced to buy Twitter, and he was like, "I'll I'll do it, but you won't like it." <laughs> <laughs> He's like a kid cleaning a mess up that he doesn't want to. It's a when I see those body panel issues. 
when I see that it's underpowered from what he said, under range. He claims a much lower range than he initially did. And as Woody has pointed out, he never claims the correct range. So it's even less than that. It's like 200 miles of range base probably. And it's I, I saw that thing slipping and sliding going up that little incline. And it's when heavy. you look at it from behind and to the side, sort of a, a, a canty corner or uh, look at it, it looks like... I, I think Shiz was like, look what a fat ass that thing has. That <laughs> ugly piece of shit. He did say And that. I couldn't agree more. And on top of it all, because I could get past every bit of that for $40,000 price tag, add eight more and it drives itself mostly or kind of, I still say it's a hell of a deal. Mm. And, and if you wrap it in some sort of green halo type skin or maybe matte black or it's like warthog something. Type skin. Yeah. Yeah. Like a warthog thing. You do, you make it your own, like, like, all right, I can get on board it's with $50,000 so self-driving truck. Like I, I can get past ugly. Cause like Jeeps are fucking ugly to me too. But, uh, but like, like, like a good ugly, okay. you know what I mean? Like a bug. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> a utilitarian <laughs> ugly. Like, oh, it's got to do real work. So, it's going to be like a hundred fucking thousand dollars if you want one that's nice. And for mm. that price, there's all sorts of cool ass competitors. I mentioned the other day, you can get a used Ford Lightning with like, you know, 4,000 miles on it. Someone who couldn't make the payments or change their mind or whatever. $60,000, 65, 70 if you want a nice, nice one. And it's like, you know, it's the four door Ford Lightning electric fast as fuck. And it's a Ford. So we know we can get it fixed and warrantied up. And the body panels are all going to be perfect. I don't know what he's doing. This might be a real, we'll see how many get snatched up. He said he's going to, in two years, he should be at being able to make quarter million units a year, which is fast as fuck. That's a lot. I don't know if he's, he can sell a quarter million. I know everybody's he, canceling the free orders right now. There's $300, like, hold me a spot free orders. Everybody's wanting those back. What, what Elon Musk says and what Elon Musk does aren't really that related and the not making the range thing i feel like you understated it no tesla in the history of tesla of any model variation or configuration has ever achieved any of the mileage estimates that they put out there ever yes. not a single time Teslas are fucking trash anyway <laughs> I, I, they look well, like computer mice they, they look like shit they're like my truck claims so it gets boring. like 22 miles cool. in a gallon something like that and uh, I can do better than 22 miles a gallon. I never do because I drive like an asshole. But I could. I have. I've achieved that. There are times I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go to speed limit. I'm in no hurry. And I just roll. And I get in like 24 miles a gallon, something like that. Yeah. But Tesla never, ever has anyone ever gotten the mileage estimate that he claims. And it's like it's, you go past optimism and into lying when it's never been done a single time, when it can't be done. They're just so boring on the inside. Too. Like the interior is so boring. The exterior is so boring. And I, I hate that like every luxury car brand is following now. We're like the new Audi A6. The inside is just two screens. There's no buttons. It's like the yeah. most I hate the button. Ever. I hate it so much. Buttons are fantastic. Like, yeah. Really? Like I can control this function by reaching right to the dedicated control for it, making it do mm -hmm. that thing. That's fantastic. If I have to go through the screens and the menu system to open my glove compartment, what the fuck? It's ridiculous. Yeah, Why do you absurd. think that's an upgrade? They, they're just trying to make it look futuristic. I think it's, it's a cost It's completely cost it's cost. impractical. Oh, cost it's costly. Yeah. Thanks, so? Yeah, yeah. Buttons are yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah. Those panels, like, all right. So when panels all first came out, it was like, oh, my God. you got When I was in high school, we all pulled the fucking cassette player out of our trucks, and we stuck this big fucking CD player in there, and it had a screen that would come out like this, and then it would <laughs> flip over to you, yeah. and you had, like, three and a half inch LCD baby. And that thing would play little, little jumpy things when the music would hit. And you stuff have to know what your music menu. looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I know what that music. Dude, looks I remember like. thinking I was such hot shit when I got, we were hot <laughs> shit. We had to, this was 2001 bitch. This was cool shit. It was, this was 2007 yes. for me. It wasn't cool. All right. Well, I was a little too late. You were a little too late, but, but, and, and that was the time when they first started sticking those screens in the headrests in, in your, in your car. Like, Oh my God, can you believe it? Television of a vehicle. Although I remember growing up, my dad had a company that made conversion vans and all of our cars growing up, all of our vans, because he always had a conversion van, one of those 80s like fiberglass on top deals. Had a had like a the full TV, not a not a flat <laughs> screen. CRT screen in there. Yeah, they make a carriage that holds a CRT TV from the, yeah, the roof. It's like aerodynamic and, on the inside for some reason. 
<laughs> I think it's so you don't bump your head or I that don't makes know. sense. It's, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, I don't. I forget where I was going with that. But uh, uh, that but, yeah, you were I, accustomed I, to TVs and you had this cool screen. Screens were neat, but now they're not. And now they're not. There's, there's. It's so cheap to make a screen now. You, if you look at the price of a TV, like uh, TV dirt cheap monitors yeah. in general, all that shit's the cheapest, cheapest of yeah. shit. It's the stuff that somehow inflation never touches. Somehow, uh, like like the like time never touches. They just get better and sh- and stay the same price. It's almost like there's some overlord making sure we stay entertained. Yeah. Lord mm. Toshiba. It's evil. Mm-hmm. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I. I'm withholding judgment on the Cybertruck. I kind of want to see one in real life. Um, I have seen so much nonsense, nonsense scuttle, but we'll say what you will about the body panels not lining up. But I'm like, I don't want to look at a prototype and judge them by that. Let's see what they I, look like. I saw the bulletproof test and it was real. They didn't. They, they just stood there and shot it with a Glock. That's so dumb. Who cares about your I, car being bulletproof? It's not like I, necessary. I, oh, Until you get come shot on. at. I, 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 it's like Taylor. Intellectually, I know you're right, but if you're buying a Cybertruck, you're buying something that you think is cool, and if it really is bulletproof, come on, tell me that's not neato. It's it's kind of neato. You're right, but also (laughs) like if someone was like, (laughs) "There's a brand new laptop on the market." I'm not going to tell you all the integral features that are going to be, you know, affecting your day-to-day use of this, but watch it resist this samurai's blade. I'd be like, <laughs> this guy's trying to, you know, take me for a ride here. He's trying to bamboozle me with smoke and mirrors, and then I'm going to open the laptop, and it's going to be like missing the M key or something. Sometimes I infer uh, stuff from things like that. I'm sorry to cut you off, but like, um, if something's waterproof, and I want something that's ruggedized, I almost think they're the same thing. Uh, waterproof can be fragile like a eye watch but um most of the time if i see like i don't know a waterproof laptop or waterproof ear pods or something i'm like oh this thing's also going to be drop proof and and such yeah. so if something's bulletproof i extend that same thing to it like all right well i don't actually need to protect myself from bullets it's probably fares pretty well in the shopping mart parking lot can uh, I, I i i would i like that it's bulletproof uh, I think if you were just, if you're in the market for a bulletproof car and some people are, I mean, it protects against small arms fire. Rifles will shred right through it, of course. But I thought it was neat that it could stop, you know, shotguns yeah. and pistol rounds. Cause well, normally in case you don't know, they'll just go in one door through the seat. Uh, so if you're fleeing door. from a, a criminal with a 308, you're just screwed now. Yeah. If he's got a, like an <laughs> FAL, like a scar H. He's laying the hammer down on you. You're, yeah, you're screwed, who's, buddy. Now who's we'll laughing? You, know. you. Yeah. As you die and gurgle to death, looking at trying to hit the call for help button, going through menus. <laughs> on your, <laughs> on your fucking screen. You have yeah. too much blood on your hand for the slider to work. Yeah, it's not gonna oh, work. Fuck, this isn't working. We're gonna see a bunch of frantic swipes and blood when they come and get your body. Like microfiber. I wanted to to ask Tom: Have you ever? been in the midst of making one of your videos and you had like a change of heart about the person you were making it on where it's like no. oh man this- <laughs> no. <laughs> no, never. no um i am working on one right now that's kind of a uh, tangential to a friend of the show uh blade um, oh okay i'm working on that one okay um, maybe you can fill us in a bit on more on what he's been up to we're not as little- today the latest thing I saw after the whole thing with Willie um, dying, obviously, was uh, he yeah. was walking in the middle of the road, like on the median in the middle of the night, um, filming himself walking with like cars going by and like swerving around him. That was the last thing I saw. Um, apart from that, um, he's upset about the fact that people told people said not to donate to his streams because he's just going to buy more alcohol. He was kind of upset about that. I think I want to say. <laughs> Game star or something said like don't donate to his streams and he was like he's already telling people not to donate to my streams like you know i just like need money man like it's content man um and that was like when he he was you know maybe three shots in so basically sober mm-hmm. um but uh yeah i mean he's he's just he's super fucked up i think he's mm-hmm. probably gonna die pretty soon i wouldn't be shocked at all um yeah it's it's pretty I, you know i keep star might be almost on to something here though like like if you really wanted to help play it then the deal that you'd want to make with him as a fan base. Yes. Yeah, be... Starve him. Yeah. Well, no, it would be like, <laughs> we'll only donate to constructive content. 
Like if you want to go in the park today and go for a walk and have a picnic, I'll donate to that. But, but if he, you crack up yeah. crack a beer. No, he's immediately going to take that money and buy beer. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, I buy his his I, Jager I, I can't Meister. Change his I, life. I can only change his streams. Is he? Uh, I I thought I heard something where he wasn't drinking after um after the Willie situation. I assume based no. on what you're saying that that's not happening. He's no, still I, drinking. I'm uh, yeah. That's that is my belief. Um, <laughs> I, but going through his history has been fun. Just reading about old COD stuff because I used to watch some of that back in the day, like X Jaws and people like that, and yeah. all the Alki David stuff. I want to do a video just about Alki David because that guy's story is so interesting to me, and I don't even totally understand it yet. Um, That'd be a good one. When's yeah. the the Blade one dropping, or do you not know yet? I don't know yet. I've been waiting because uh, it's actually pretty much done. I want to do an interview with Keemstar to get his thoughts because I know he was Blade's friend for a long time. And apparently, I just found this out recently. Keemstar paid for his rehab like three or four times, like to get him in rehab, um, really? at least according to him. And then he like flunked out every single time. Um, you okay, out. Kyle? I see you <laughs> struggling a little bit over there. <laughs> You're no, right. If that's uh, if that's true, that's really cool of him. If he uh, yeah. If he paid for it. Yeah. yeah, I I mean he I I assume he didn't just outright lie about that. Um, I mean, who knows? <laughs> yeah, right. I, it's I I know for a fact Keemstar is a rabid liar because he talks about me. But what did he say about you? You're awesome and tall. <laughs> for example, I remember at Woodycraft, um, we had this guy who was buying stuff and charging things back, and uh, he bought like five grand from Woodycraft. Woody craft another i think he ran a thousand dollar ad on the show it was like six grand in my universe and four grand to like other twitch streamers and he charged back all ten thousand dollars now when he was buying at Woodycraft, we observed his like out of this world buying patterns so we cut him off and we talked to his mom and we're like this guy's spending a ton is this like? I'm sorry, you okay? talked to Keemstar's mom? No, no, the the customer. His name was. Oh, Jill I'm so I'm so I'm sorry. Like no. So, <laughs> I so talk this, to his mom. <laughs> this player at Woodycraft was spending a lot of money. Five grand at Woodycraft, five grand elsewhere. And uh, um, we talk. We call the player's mom, and and she's like, "It is okay. This is within his gaming budget. It's all thumbs up." So we're like, "Okay, you know what are we supposed to do?" And um. Then when he tired of the server and no longer wanted to play at Woodycraft, he charged back all 5,000, which by the way, cost me like 12,000 because he was buying like $5 amounts. And not only do we have to pay back the $5, but there's a $35 charge for getting charged back. So it's like, fuck, we, it was like, I was at like 12 grand. Other people were out, whatever they were out. And um, I hired an attorney to like chase this down and figure it out. And Really, my goal was to stop other people from doing the same thing. We had people who would buy stuff and charge it back like it was a game. Meanwhile, it's costing me $35 a pop. And Keemstar did a video on it. And he said that this poor innocent soul meant to pay 100 left out the decimal point, and paid 10000 That is not what happened at all. That is not even a thing that can happen. It's like Amazon. Like you don't choose your own prices on shit. Like you don't enter in the price. He completely made that up out of thin air and said that I was like punishing and going after this poor innocent child over a typo. You don't think maybe the child like just told him that Keem just felt bad and believed it. Right. I don't think that at all. I think Keemstar completely made it up that he wasn't in contact with this kid. And I think he also knew the store is online. You can see it. You don't enter your own prices. No one thought that was true except people who believe Keemstar's lies. Why do so, you think he did that to like sensationalize it? Keemstar has hated me for 15 years now. It goes both ways. So um, really? Wow. Yeah. So he's made a lot of videos just telling lies about me and um, or just painting me in a bad light and uh because i'm the target of his videos not for a long time but because i've been the target of his videos i know the truth and i know that keemstar makes shit up well i guess it's a good thing i'm about to do a video with him then right uh <laughs> you can get um, to the bottom of it yeah yeah ask him about that I, 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 would, I would believe that he paid for blades rehab because he, he like i they used to be really tight like they, they used to be boys. I think they, I think they like, yeah, he's very successful financially. I think they lived together at some point back in the day. Right. Or maybe they uh, did. Yeah. They, they maybe not live together. Blade, maybe like a team star allowed blade to live with him. Blade moved to Buffalo it. during the cod days to like live there, which is, uh, around the time that the, the podcast uh, together. 
Yeah, they yeah. did. What was it? Bad Bad Kids Club, I think. That sounds right. Something like Supposed that. Yeah. To that. Yeah. Kids. You know, I think I don't know where he moved from, but I think of Buffalo is not a fun place to live. So that and moved from right. I think I think Seattle. I want to say. I'd uh, much rather be in Seattle than Buffalo. It's either rain or snow. Yeah. I think Clayton said he didn't like Buffalo, but um, it's cold. Keemstar likes it, so you know you can. He does like Fair it. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah I, I just looked over at Blade's well, channel. He it. is still drinking. Confirmed. <laughs> Probably drinking right now. As we speak. <laughs> he, he could be right now. Yeah, I don't know what. Damn, that's so wild. Like you, I just like you click on a stream, scrub two hours forward, and he's just like obliterated. Part of the problem with that video is he's like a copyright abuser serially. So I just don't want to deal with like a copyright strike for you know a week and a half when he inevitably strikes the video, and then I can't make money for a week or whatever. Like that's pretty annoying. Oh, Blade's been known to copyright strike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just because you'll have to use clips of him like saying exactly, something. Yeah. Or, oh, and he'll well, just file false suck. DMCA, and then it's like I'm not going to sue him back. You know, like I'm not going to I'm not going to get any money out of that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just like you just have to file an appeal, and then he gets my legal name and address, which is also fun. So <laughs> it's just yeah. a whole a whole issue. Have you that's come uh come upon anything alarming that's like not in the the public? storyline of blade going through oh. the story or not oh it's much. all it's it's all out there it's literally all out there i mean his entire life mm -hmm. since 2009 or something or 11 is all documented uh publicly so um everything you want to know about blade is all on live stream and it's him saying it himself some very funny moments though like back in the day when uh <laughs> there was some point in time when he was talking to some girl and you know uh if, if you know a lot about blade you'll know or even a little you'll know when he drinks he, he gets a little racist with it um yep. and uh he was talking to some girl and he was like you like black guys she was like no uh yeah they're fine and he was like you n-word lover and then she leaves and then one of his like friends calls him and he's like hey hey blade you got to get off stream right now man you're on twitch you're gonna get banned like just get off delete the vod and like sober up and in the morning you'll be fine and blade's like you're up it says the n-word again oh, wow. <laughs> and then hangs up and just keeps streaming um another great moment from blade is uh <laughs> at, at one point he stands up like he you know stands up with his ass to the camera and pulls his pants down and like puts his fingers in his asshole that's a good one yes uh, that that, that I've heard that one. Yeah, I have not been blessed to see the clip, and I don't think I've I want seen to. It. Well, I have I've been blessed. I have seen the Eye of Horror. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've had to like be. You're fact checking it. You're like, all right, let's cross reference these butthole skin lines <laughs> with the other times he's for research. That. For research. Well, we're trying to track the the progress of his butthole over time to see how much it's been. When he was uh, when honest. he was like macking on that girl while her husband had just stepped away. It yeah. was wild one too. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that was a fan of his, his wife. The guy was a huge mm -hmm. fan. I yeah, heard. like a super right fan. Up. I think they were at his house. The funniest part of that is, um, so that starts at like a fan meetup with Keemstar. And uh, so Blade's there, Keem's there. And then this guy comes with this girl and they're not married at that point. And he's like, oh my God, Blade, I want you to see this. And he proposes to her in front of Blade. And then two years later is when the groping thing happened, Goodness. which is like oh. the whole marriage is tied to Blade somehow. That's <laughs> worse than I line. thought. Uh, yeah, that th they should have known from the start there. Yeah, having destined for greatness. In, in Man, when did it stop being about stabbing people in Call of Duty? Is what I want to know. <laughs> I think around like 2013, 2012, maybe uh, Tom. Would whenever know. COD, whenever COD died, like when COD that's was kind of on the see. way out, and Minecraft was the new thing. That's like the beginning of the end for him. Yeah, remember Chill Sunday commentary? Just knifing people in COD 4. Simpler times. Simpler times. With uh, White Boy 7th Street. With White Boy. No no shenanigans going on in the back of uh, RVs. None, nothing <laughs> like that. Shenanigans. Yeah. Is that what you call that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, shenanigans. A little uh, yeah, non-reciprative reciprative play. Is that tomfoolery? Movie? Yeah, tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, groping an unconscious girl. Like, that's that's what I believe Epic. it was, right? I mean, that's that's he says he didn't. I don't know. He you told can, Chris Hansen he didn't, but you can I mean, watch we can the infer, video. <laughs> we can infer you can't what happened. See I everything, though. I, for people who didn't see the video, Blade saunters over to the front of the RV, I think, and you kind of see his feet, and it kind of looks like. There's some level of snuggling, humping, something happening on. But you're looking at feet under a blanket. So he says, like, 
But he says he went to bed. I don't think he went to bed. He, he, I, he was he was he was doing, he's a restless sleeper. It would seem. Maybe they were like doing jujitsu. He was like putting her and like they the were so good. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah, because that clip it was him talking to that Norwegian or Finnish guy Bjorn, Bjorn yep, and yep. he's like, "I'm gonna go back there." And Bjorn's like, "To the passed out unconscious girl," and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm gonna go back there." He's like, "Okay." I and think Blade just, says, like, I'm going to have like, sex with her. I think he says that. Something like, maybe even that's what he said, like, even worse. Like, that... Let's hope he didn't... like he went back Yeah, there let's hope he... Didn't. Allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> let's hope he didn't say that. Let's hope but, he did not say that, because then that would be a pretty open and shut case. <laughs> I'm, pretty posi- I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty positive he says that, and then in the follow-up interview, he's like, I was just joking. We're making jokes like that all night. I just, like, wasn't going to do that. You know, I just went to bed, man. character. This Officer, I did grope her, but you can hear me saying honk honk when I was grabbing her boobs. <laughs> Officer, look, let's, Officer, let's be serious about this. You're not going to unrape her now, so let's just all go home and not worry about this. <laughs> you know what? Let's chalk this up to a who knows. You know <laughs> who done it? Who done it? I, I, my my take on this: Who's to say? And the officers are like, "No, go to get in the car." No harm, <laughs> no foul. She wasn't last even alive. She wasn't last awake, warning, you know? sir. Last what warning. What did uh, what did the girl say about it? I don't she even know. Got, what she her... said she got raped. Yeah, that's raped? what she said. Groped. Yeah. No, I think I think she said that she got she got sexually assaulted in the back there. Yeah. Oh, I believe her. Gucci's. Believe all women. Did she? Oh man, I'm trying to. I was holding out hope that it—that's not what happened. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it, 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 I guess, I guess, I mean, technically, we we don't have like a GoPro video of him doing it, but you know, because well, I, I think this I might like... be another case of a lady lying on a rich, successful titan of industry. <laughs> Wait a minute, they do that, don't they? She was trying to get all those. All right, those might not be that. All right, it's not that. <laughs> so I. I... My suspicion is it's way easier to like emotionally recover from a guy coming up and kissing your neck in an unwanted way compared to like fucking you. But if that's not what she said happened, if she said that I, he like was back there molesting her, then yeah. I, based on the video, I am inclined to believe her. I, I don't know. I if saw the video and I think I was holding out hope that he made a pass at her, got shot down, and that's all that happened. Actually, no, no, that happened. was definitely not like a pass and shoot down thing. Like she was out and he like ambled slash stumbled back there, got in bed, a lot of movement. Like, well, who's to say? He, I, I'm very biased. I, I was just being biased and hopeful. I mean, I'm hopeful as well. I don't want to say I don't know what happened. I'm hopeful that, that nothing awful, awful, awful happened. But but, you know, seems like a little um, Occam's razor right now. Like what's what? I don't know that. No, no. I think I have a video of her saying it right. Now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that. It has don't to be like- a, a Rube Goldberg machine of mayhaps. And oh, who's to say, <laughs> and, you know, and then the the uh, what's she talking about? Marble falls in the I was joking bucket and, and traps the rat like. No, it seems seems pretty. If if I, I had no idea the girl claimed that, because that I, I just put damning. the minute long clip in there, so you guys can see uh, that. Um, but uh, oh, yeah, thank you. A little dark. I, I I will always remember Blade as that dude who walks through TSA with a pocket full of weed and just is just somehow doesn't get detected, and the guy who uh, ate all those hot dogs in in Seattle, and and that's a nice guy and. And I never seen him do nothing to nobody. Do people do that all the time? Weed? Don't they just and other stuff? No, I mean, all right. So not back then. Not back then. This is this is maybe this is maybe ten years ago. Like like he just had it in his pocket though, like in his um his breast pocket. (laughs) He just he he took a pack of Swishers. I don't know. Was it four or five in there? He he rolled them all up, and you know with weed. (laughs) And uh, and put him back in into the package and stuck it right in his breast pocket. It sticks out the top of your pocket, and he walked straight through like the metal detectors on the. He never took it out of his pocket, and like, I, there we were in uh, Seattle or wherever, and it was just like he had weed. <laughs> the <laughs> coolest guy I could find. Yeah, That's that clip amazing. does not do him any favors. The you no. just watched the one minute video. Yeah, the victim of it Me saying too. like so, he wasn't charged because I didn't bring the charges forward. It happened though. It happened. Like it's been hard to recover from. Like fuck Blade and fuck Bjorn is what she said. That's really 
truncated. Yeah, said she hates them. Yeah, and and the only thing Taylor didn't mention is like (laughs) she's in a lot of obvious emotional distress. Yeah, and I believe her. After that happens, there's this like hilarious clip when they're in the RV and Blade's like, "Man, what if we just like dump her on the side of the road, man?" And Bjorn's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> He's like, "Just yeah. get rid of her, man. Like she's not content. <laughs> she's, she's not content. <laughs> Damn, cold blooded." Yeah. And he's wrong. <laughs> We're still talking about that content years later. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's there's clip after clip. When he's sober, he says he's innocent. When he's drunk, there's clips of him being like, "I do it again." So you know, it's just like, man, I'm having a hard time standing beside my old friend Blade these days. <laughs> I hear you. He's, he said he was. He said I would do it again. I, I got the clip. Yeah. Of oh, course. I, all right. Man, well, I, I, man, he's a clip factory. He's a fact finder. Bob's I got receipts, man. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't, I don't like any of that one bit. And I, I, I clicked that little link, and I didn't know what the link was gonna be, but it's just some, some little girl like complaining about getting raped. And it's yeah, that's pretty hard. To find. <laughs> that's, that is a way I to didn't put think, it, I guess. I, I thought you had like a blurry like GoPro that saw some legs twitch in the dark or something, but it's like her saying yes he did this to me and i don't like that's hard to watch i don't like any of this now i liked it when i just didn't look into this enough to know kyle watch that clip that it was nebulous and tell me where you're coming down now oh oh, come on now oh all right if you can still find an avenue you need to go into politics (laughs) yeah it happens right about eight i'll be quiet yeah he Said it three times, right? Yeah, said it three times. He said he would do it again. Three, three times, times the charm. He did. That, that's the not. That's an imprecise. It's paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah, that's imprecise. He was more cruel about it. He said, "I'll grape again three times in a row." Out of context. <laughs> Yeah, out of, out of context. <laughs> he was practicing lines for a play, actually. So uh, I was yeah, gonna think what context could account. possibly fix that, but that would. None. We all have different definitions of words. Okay, it could be. Okay, like all right. I've got, I've got, I've got newer information because I watched the video that was recommended after the one that you sent me, okay. and it's her, it's her in like an alley. It looks like something from Trailer Park Boys, by the way. They're like in an alley doing drugs or some shit. She's sitting cross-legged, and what she said was, "He didn't rape me, but he did sexually assault me." So. Still pretty awful what's happened here. That varies by state. Like, like I was just saying, in, in New York, only wow. penises can rape. In other states, like fingering or can be rape. Yeah, so it could maybe she's talking like legally or something. I think I feel like to me, if you go in, it's probably rape. Yeah. If you're entering. <laughs> if you if you violate someone's bodily autonomy in a way they don't want sexually. What about what about a wet willy? Uh that's well, that's just awesome. Really I do that to girls sexual. all the time. If you know, oh, it's if not you for give, you. It's not. Kyle, if you give me a wet willy, yeah, it's a prank. If you're hard, it's rape. How am I going to get it in your ear if it's not hard? See, that's True. what I'm talking about. You're, <laughs> you're, you, it, it, that's that's molestation. You would have molested. <laughs> yeah. Me. Even you if it was your finger, it. if you if you stuck your wet finger like in my mouth or in my ear, yeah. and I look down and you're erect, yeah. I'm calling the authorities. You're a real rat. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I can be around you. I mean, I, you know, things happen. You know, I, we have a few drinks at dinner. I'm gonna go for a wet willy. It's just common practice. Yeah, we each split. Wet willies are considerate of- because he uses Vodka. lube. Let yeah. me tell you how upset. Otherwise, it'd be a dry willy. I don't like that shit. If I'm being honest, like I remember in, in wet willies. In sc- oh, I, no, I can't remember the last I thought time you were I got talking one. about Blade sexually assaulting that girl, and I'm like, wow, coming in hot. I'm trying to pivot. Kyle, what don't you like? Pivot. What don't I'm trying you like? to pivot. <laughs> wet, well, I, I would hate to get a wet willy. That would upset mm-hmm. me to no end. Like, even if a girlfriend or somebody did it to me, I would be like, what the fuck have you done to me? I'd be pretty upset. Like, maybe okay. her little baby finger goes too deep and, like, deafens me the rest of the we way. We have our boundaries. Uh, my hearing's like a ticking time like ticking time bomb type thing, like with Taylor's, uh, Taylor's classes. They're going to keep getting thicker, and I'm going to have to go to a hearing aid at some point. I feel like I, I read this study and apparently like, like, you know, those little, size. those little hairs in your ear that, that, you know, move back and forth with the sound. Like, I guess the damage you do to them, a young, you know, at a younger age, they're just going to get brittle and, and degrade over time. So I, I fully expect to need a hearing aid at some point. Yeah. I think I be cool. losing your hearing and balding are at all related. 
Hmm. I'm getting ready for the hearing thing just from listening to music way too loud, just like drums destroying my fucking ears. So I'm, I'm mentally preparing for the fact I'm going to be deaf. You don't you look like a guy days. who's going to lose hairs, though. Not yet. Maybe eventually. I'm on Finasteride just in case. You never know. That'd be so funny it's if working. you were on Finasteride with that much hair. <laughs> just like I can't <laughs> allow even one to fall out. I'm a hair hoarder. <laughs> I am. You're... I'm not kidding. I am on Finasteride. I'm not joking. Your hair looks protective. Like if you fell yeah, in nice. the back of your head, you'd be <laughs> it's like a hel- people say I have like a helmet haircut, like Roblox. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you really on I, an asteroid? No way. I'm serious. I am. Why? Dude, my my fucking okay. I look exactly like my mom's brother. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he was bald by like 33. So I'm on it. You okay. won't be. I, I I you know what? I say stick with it. If it's working for you and you're not having any downsides. Jesus, I haven't had any. Not? I've been on it. I've been on it's for six cheap. months. Um, I'm still getting boners, so that's good. Did um, your hair get better in six months? No, no, same. No, you just held it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's a good move. Yeah, I think so. I know a bunch of people who are on it with no side effects. I don't see any issue. I I've, yeah. I've I've been thinking about the uh, the load stuff you guys have. Uh, I've been I've been heavily thinking about that because <laughs> I I don't have inadequate loads, but you know, it never hurts to have a little more. I, I Never swear to God, it really works. It, it, Taylor described it as comically effective, and I haven't gotten that description. How, how much like volume increase are we talking triple. about? Double? Triple? triple? Am I lying? Uh, am I not? I not did lying? a study. I measured. Kyle came in condoms what did you, and used what, a spin to pull the load out in order to see how many milliliters it was, which was more science than I did. At that point, mm. are you just pissing? Um, no, no, you're no, absolutely oh, no, the, the, it's pearlescent. It's white. Well, it's like, it's, it's like when a, when a, when a girl says she comes, it's like, you just pissed. She did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 But like, yeah. we are not pissing when we come. You understand that, right? I understand that. But I'm saying when, <laughs> when you come on this, are you sure there's not something else? Like what, what is it? No. So, so what it's doing is like, you're not having more sperm. It's just creating more seminal fluid. So like. You're you're not gonna we we're not getting you know you're not gonna get pre, uh, girls pregnant more easily, but okay. the amount of fluid that's coming out of your penis is going to increase dramatically. Take five in the morning, four at night, and <laughs> drink crazy. a lot of water, and it, within probably two to three weeks, because it's a it's a month supply in the bottle, but you don't need to get through a whole bottle to start seeing stuff. Like a couple weeks in, you'll start being like, oh, this is. I'll put it this way. If someone was dosing you with this, by the time it got to be like three and a half weeks in, you'd be like, I need to go to a doctor. What's going on with my thumbs? It just keeps coming out. I'm, oh my God, there's another wet spot on my underwear from I was, I was making out with my girlfriend. I was getting horny and now my dicks leak a lot of pre cum. You're going to get that, way more pre cum. I love the pre cum. I feel like that's an undersold benefit. I'm a huge fan of pre cum. Huge pre cum. You guys on this, on this like every, like regularly, or are you just like updating your? It's part of the stack. Part of the snack. <laughs> yeah. The pre cum I actually really like. If you had told me that was one of the benefits beforehand, I would have been like, why is that even a positive? But now, oh, you got to give her just a taste as you're warming up. Is, and, the, is the gorilla thing? Oh, is that Derek? it at her. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's Derek. Uh, also, oh, and then Taylor left out the, like, if you are cursed with that, like, almost yellow clear come <laughs> we're gonna change that shit Ooh, we're gonna yellow? make this Ooh. we're gonna make this elmer's glue looking shit maybe you, you have to be doctor? born to have yellow cum yeah i don't know about yeah if you have yellow cum you should get that checked out it's probably a dietary thing or something you have cancer yeah you're eating a lot of, <laughs> yeah you could you could something's up if you got yellow cum but yeah with you will you will be busting harder than you've ever busted like in your okay. your orgasm the the big selling point isn't you know even as much the huge comes, it's that the more you come, the longer you're getting that nice orgasm feeling. So like you get a longer feeling of, of pleasure when you're busting. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's brought to you by the minds of me and Kyle texting one another a few years ago and then talking to Derek and being like brats about it. I was a brat <laughs> to Derek as we were going through it. Not rude, but like, They'd shoot something over. They'd be like, "We can do it without this amount of it's not quite right. Without this amount, we don't need was, some flour lecithin." And I was like, "We need it. We need it. We, this needs to work. This isn't a mean." First product. time, the first time I like messaged him, I was so embarrassed to send the message. 
<laughs> because like I, you know, not, we were already cor corresponding for like my fitness stuff and my my testosterone stuff and all that my dietary and everything but 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 like i was like hey uh hypothetically if i came up with a supplement that made guys ejaculate more is that something that you could help me to formulate and produce in uh, uh, mass and i expected him to be reply back with ha ha or silly or like a, an emoji face he sent back an audio message filled with like in-depth information he's like i know some guys who are already on this this path and they I've, i can talk to them as well and we can put all of our heads together and it, just immediately on board it was great they're I, the best dude the process was hilarious because it started out with like 18 pills and a syrup and we're like, we can't sell this. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, can you, like that's what it was originally. It was like we're gonna ship you a jar of fluid that you're gonna have to muscle down because we couldn't. We he couldn't find a way to source dry sunflower lecithin, and Kyle and I were bitches Big about problem. like, no, we're not doing this without sunflower lecithin. That's a big load carrier here. Like you need uh -huh. that to get your 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 nut correct, and so yeah, it's it was, I, I think, more impressive than anything fucking Fauci did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Me and Kyle, what did he do? He didn't cure anybody. You're certainly uh, making people way more fertile than he did. I can say that for um, sure. Yeah. By the way, that's the other. Uh, are, have you considered getting on the tea? We mentioned it earlier. You do look pretty buff. I, what's holding you back or what are the considerations or like, like have you I consider tests. Um, I mean, definitely. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just 21. I'm like, do I really need to be on steroids yeah. right now? Um, yeah. Oh, I've thought yeah. about like when I get like 25 maybe, but I mean, naturally am I right? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, really, don't, I, don't, I, I think I every doctor say, would tell you no. I haven't had my levels checked. I think they're probably not low. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too like, worried about it. Are you They're like never horny and chronically tea. fatigued and like, cause if not, like, I'm sure your tea's good. They pretty much just spend all day in bed masturbating to furry porn. No. Um, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm probably just fine in Very the, high tea in the, in, in the test department, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that's true. I watched um, but, one of your furry videos and I, I enjoyed that one. That, this was like probably a year ago or so. It like came mm. across my YouTube suggested and it was like the dastardly deeds of the furry community. And I'm like, all right, I got to see what's dark. going on here. Mm -hmm. It was those darker dark. than I thought. Are they really? I thought it was going to be like, oh, they, they're walking around with mildew in their pants from dried cum at their conventions. No, sinister stuff. So, all right. I love that you have gotten to know the furry community from a normal human being perspective. So I've got some questions, but let me just lay out what I think of them first. I've always thought that it was the most laughable, forgive me, pathetic of all fetishes. It, it's really lame. Like I could understand being a pay pig. Like, you know, I could understand maybe, oh yeah, doo doo's so dirty. That'd be so gross. Like, Your fucking like, dog? I, I, yeah. Uh, you, you, hear, you see where I'm going with this, but, but I, oh, hang on. I, rewind me three seconds. <laughs> you didn't understand why people like being furries. There are other things you get more on board with. But then we met our guy in the 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 fifty dollars hangouts that that's a mm -hmm. furry, and he's got his fucking blue wolf head over there. And before he told me that, I just thought he was a chill dude who's got a cool career. I really mm -hmm. like what he does. He works in the movie uh, industry doing special effects and stuff, um, roughly speaking. And just seems like a nice guy. I like him as a dude. I like hanging out and talking to him. And then he pulls out the blue wolf head, and it's like shit. I thought that y'all were like degenerate weirdos, like like you know, locked away somewhere barking. But but so it, so like it kind of messed with me a little guy. bit. A lot yeah. of them say a lot of them say it's like not a fetish. I would say for I'd say it's probably a fetish, like for like seventy percent of them, or maybe a little more, like a lot. Um, and out of that seventy percent, it seems to me that like there's a uncomfortably high amount of them that want to have sex with dogs. Um, not like not like not like seventy percent of furries, but like. Maybe like fifteen, which is pretty high. That's a lot. Yeah. If if someone told me like fifteen percent of Mormons want to fuck dogs, I'd be like, we got to get this under control, fellas. Like we mm. we got to shut that down. What are what are they doing in Utah? Yeah. The problem so, is that um a lot of them are like even if they're not a dog fucker personally, they're okay with other people um being into that. Um, oh, and, real and dogs? Wait a minute. I think I'm just catching. Yes, we're talking about zoophilia now. Yeah. Yes. Um, if the dog's big enough, I'm okay with it. 
Okay, buddy. <laughs> there were, there were, uh, these... you know, it's voluntary, right? If the guy's fucking a Siberian husky, a great Dane, then that dog is down. If the guy's fucking, uh, I don't know, a little basset hound, he might be unwilling. Yeah. No, this comes back to the fucking veganism thing. You can't be nice to dogs. Don't <laughs> I am being super nice. No, you're a despicable <laughs> animal. <laughs> <This is> an... <laughs> <laughs> no, that dog. Oh, you me. can skin them and eat them, but you can't fuck them, huh? Ah, uh, look no, at neither. you, Mr. Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Go but fuck yeah, a so scary animal. Part of the problem with furries is like they're just so it's like a relatively tight knit community, and like some of these people are like con organizers and stuff, um, and they're like embedded in like the business of of the furries. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's pretty dark. Um, there was one giant expose that came out maybe five years ago or something, four years ago that Mr. Medicare covered, uh, intensely about this guy mm -hmm. named Kiro, the wolf, who was like a YouTube guy, furry yeah. guy who ended up, um, he, I think he was fucking his, his personal dog for like nine years. Um, and beyond that, he was friends with people who he was also, I think fucking roadkill. And then he was friends with people who were fucking a ton of dogs and were like pedophiles and were, like molesting children. A bunch of them, someone went to jail. Um, it's pretty mm -hmm. horrific. I wouldn't even uh, want to fuck near. Wait, ghoulish. Though. Yeah. So, like, what? What did you ever have to like take little breaks from those videos? Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Where you're like, yes. this is dark. This is this is entering my soul, stealing yeah, little bits. That of shit. My that shit you, is horrific. Have you looked into it all? How it sort of intersects with the clopper uh, groups, the the people who sexualize the My Little Pony stuff. They're mm -hmm. they're sort of tangentially uh, connected. You know. There's like a, a a web of like this like deviant art and then like Sonic fans maybe but less so they're less crazy and then Tails. like and then My Little Pony Tails yeah My Little Pony and then there's like furries and like there's some there's some big like uh, Venn diagram you can draw uh, and then somewhere in there is like the ones that are I want to see Knuckles <laughs> fist Tails Kyle yes. I'm thinking about this I have my own answer I, I want to know yours though. Let's say you're with a girl, right? You've been with her for some period of time. Oh, no. You and her have an emotional oh, connection. Can connection. I answer the question before you propose it? Sure. Uh, I, not only is it no, what? it's <laughs> not only is it no, but it's 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 no that's with prejudice. Against, that's against that's that uh, among being immoral and gross. It's also illegal. No, 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 and, no. I'm talking about furry. You did, uh, maybe I didn't need. Oh. Right, Sorry, so this I, is I, your girl. I thought you were like We bring a dog into the relationship, and you. No, and no, you, no. You like her. She likes me, you. You guys are are both sexually and emotionally compatible. And then today, instead of surprising you with the fancy lingerie that you expected, she's dressed like a blue Siberian husky. All right. What's your response to this? What do you? Wh what does she want to do? I'm, I'd be like, whoa, that looks expensive. That, where'd you get it? What's that? What's that about? And like, she wants so, to bang. Okay, what? Well, you're you're my uh, wife now, and you're dressed mm -hmm. as a blue Siberian husky. Whoa, honey, that looks expensive. How'd you pay for that? Woof woof. woof it woof. was expensive. I've had it this whole time. I bought it a year and a half ago, and uh, it took me a while to build up the courage to show you this. I but see. Here I am. Well, I wish you had. Oh. <laughs> so, so all right. So, so what exactly? Explain the mechanics of this, honey. I, I I'm a little off put by the eyes. I'm gonna say, could we put some in the back? There's a flap that comes down, much like an old timey miner's pajamas. Turn around, show and... me. <laughs> show, show like, like like the way Elmer Fudd's PJs were. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Take, uh, two right? buttons so and it comes comes on mm -hmm, down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, all right. And and there, there's slits here, so you can get your hands in. We can okay. have quite the experience. Okay. Yep, yep. So other than that, bang? is any so is this gonna be like an every time kind of thing, or is this like uh like like third Saturday every month kind of thing? Because that it it's just every once so maybe every month, and uh while we bang, if you could call me a good girl, that'd be hot. Ooh, all right, I gotta partake in the in the fetish, huh? Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. I'm on board. I, I'll mm -hmm. do all that stuff, but uh but you have but, to dress up know, also. As long as I get to dress up as like a zookeeper, or I, what I'm really picturing Ooh. is the guy with the yellow raincoat from Curious George. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, "You're a bad little monkey." Like I can do that. Like, like oh like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm into that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I would put her in a crate um, and take her to the pound right away. I, 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 just, honestly, sorry, we have to put like, this one down. There's no fixing her. <laughs> like, like she's violent. But, but if you asked, if you asked, if a girl that I had been dating for like three weeks pulled out the same contraption 
I would be out. I would There'd be, be like, a boundary nah. you set. No, I would do it because you know I wanted to come back and tell you I did it. You know, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. but then I'd be like, you know, it turned out. I would be honest. I would be, you know, I didn't, I didn't enjoy that very much. That was kind of weird. Uh, this thing smells, by the way. Uh, mm. I, you're just you're just kind of like in there, yeah, like that's a the candy. I I feel like it's you're a pinata that I'm not allowed to hit. Like the stuff I want's on the inside, and everything else is paper mouche. Like like this is awful. I, I really don't want any more of this. And uh, good day, good day to you, madam. And yeah, I would, I, I, good boy. And I would pat Taylor, her on her muzzle, and I'd bounce. Is that where you, <laughs> you land too, Taylor? That's Tom? that's pretty much where I land. Like I I would be unbelievably put off by it. And I agree with you on like the, you know, it's a, it, it's a gift wrapping on something you previously liked, like the naked female body under there, your girlfriend's body. That's what you're interested in. Not yeah. a undoubtedly mildewy, stinky. This doesn't um, accentuate her. And that's what anything she should yeah. wear should do. It even even if it's lingerie or sexy time somehow, even if it's a clean outfit, it's like you're dressed like fucking bluey or like, Paw Patrol, like just got on the see other this. hand. <laughs> yeah. now, now let's let's rewind a little bit. She's not a full on like six thousand dollars suit furry. She's just mm -hmm. got some cat ears on and like a tail plug. Then we're everybody. Now we're through, talking. Right? Are her, now yeah, we're like talking. her tits are okay. out. She's naked. She's just so everybody's down for a cat girl. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, right? it's really just a fucking little head thing. Like that's yeah, like, all there is. Really I like the tail too. <laughs> You like the tail too? You like yeah. it? All right. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. Tail, Whatever. Yeah. It but it's yeah. still a woman you're fucking. You're not fucking like a a mascot. You're not fucking the Georgia Bulldog. You know really be down for and I've, ne I've the never Georgia played. Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Like some elf ears. I, mean, I could be down for some elf ears too. Are you a Georgia fan, Tom? No, I don't give a shit. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, I, no. so Jackie's I not a furry. We don't do this. But if she was, I would one hundred percent do this for it, it to me is a very small ask oh you want to wear this outfit every once in a while yeah fucking where's mine i don't like <laughs> if there's i don't i'm not really into blood or when he gets into upholstery all of a sudden look out <laughs> <laughs> i'm not really into blood or poop i don't want to be hurt a lot a little pincher bite here and there is cool but i don't want to like be cut or like too big an impact play i don't want to be wounded but uh shit this is just like dress up this is I've said this so many times. If a guy's into feet, ladies, give up your fucking feet. I'm not into feet. I don't understand. It, it can't it. be just yeah, dress up. There's a mental thing with them. There's something like that's yeah. like a sickness. And there's a their reason mind. they want to yeah. be a dog and not like a pirate. Or mental cops. thing is nothing. That's imaginary play shit. It's not no, imaginary no. for them. It's very real, and you will respect them. They're not actually the, dogs. No, these uh, ones dude, are. I would not the one Tom's talking about. Okay, that's an boobers. important. That's an important like um, difference maker. Like Woody's suggesting that our lady suddenly says, "Hey, I want to dress up and play pretend once a month." You're suggesting that the lady we're encountering is like, "No, I am a dog." And the when you see me like this, this is the this is the mask. This Dude, that's what that, that's what furries say. Furries say they're their true self when they're dressed up like a fucking mastiff. I don't think the furry I know does. Yeah. I, I know one, the same guy Kyle was talking about. And then yeah. we had on um your movie sucks, who he's also cool. was a yeah, furry. Cool. And uh I don't think he identifies as a dog. I think no, he's just I, a kink. I don't think he does either. And um I know there's some there's this guy, I can't remember his name right now, but he gives me weightlifting advice. He's like a gay jacked furry on Twitter. Um <laughs> Shit, has, that's scary. He, he <laughs> posts videos of himself in the dog head, like squatting. It's insane. Um, <laughs> Zach, okay, find the, he's, I find that Zach. This guy's another cool one, seemingly. Uh, I like yeah. this guy. I like. I'm not this saying guy. they're all bad folks. Just that we need to get rid there. of that. Yeah. 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 We need you know to what get, I bet it is? I bet it's someone way. who has found like uh, a, 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 an easy way to date. He's like, look, I put on this fucking dog head and tell him I'm the alpha mutt around here. And I get all the bussy I can handle. You wouldn't believe it. And yeah, they're wearing a silly outfit, but I don't give a shit what they look like anyway. It's just bussy all day long. You'd be like, wow, he's this bussy is such a serious. fucked up word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's this guy, but this is but, someone. But yeah, I'm I can't fine. tell I'm how much he's squatting. I feel like that's strategic. Oh, he's Ooh. not squatting. Is he doing uh, it behind the back? He's doing a behind overhead the neck press? overhead military all right, press. That's not safe. With and like a hundred and yeah, that's okay. 
maybe I'm like I'm like a Neanderthal. I'm like, ooh, he lived heavy. Maybe he have point. Like, <laughs> just, like Taylor um, respects his opinion more I res- now. I respect his opinion. If he, I think that's how you should think about life. Know? Like, if somebody is lifting more weight than you, they're automatically mm-hmm. better, no matter what right. what terrible actions sure. they've committed. That's no why I take Sam Hyde so seriously. That's a, that's how I choose my certified public accountant. <laughs> the, the big jack guy. <laughs> like, what do you bench, dude? It's like this goofy little nerd. You're not handling my money. <laughs> I want a guy who's barely holding it together. He's so trend out. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so vascular. Yeah, uh, that's so scary. Th- I don't understand. What, so you think 15% of them are actual, like, they want to have sex with the German Shepherd? Yeah. That's ghastly. Yeah, it's dark. It mm. sucks. 15%. That's a big, that's a big old slice. Probably way less than that have actually done it because they know there's consequences, but... um. Yeah, I think 15% of them probably do want to fuck dogs. Do you remember, uh, I don't know if we, I think we may have discussed it in our hangout or sometime. I remember talking about it recently with a group of people, but Whitney, Wisconsin, do you remember her? Oh, She's yeah. Getting, Classic no. leafy uh, leafy subject. She yeah, was a girl so who she, fucked dogs. Yeah, among other things. She was that filthy chick. She would like finger her pussy and walk up to people at Walmart and be like, smell my finger. Oh. And, yeah. Yeah, like, I like, fuck dogs. Was, what about it? Is that what she said? Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah, you said that verbatim. Red, <laughs> redneck from Wisconsin, dirty, nasty hoe, and she uploaded like porno videos of. I don't know if she uploaded videos of her with animals, but she was definitely always bragging about doing it. There and are videos of the, her with with animals. Yeah, I believe I'm not are. surprised. Oh. She would do really gross stuff, like I said, like fingering her stuff. I would be incensed. Of course, I wouldn't smell a finger that was offered to me unless I was prepared for such a thing. That makes sense, right? Like yeah, if a girl walks up to you and tells you to smell her finger, if you smell it, like be prepared for any number of bad things. Yeah. Like you hmm. signed up for this, right? <laughs> Speaking of uh, smelling fingers, do you guys know who Infobren is? Infobren? No, I don't. No. Infobren is a guy who does like really weird, uh, like public like prank videos. And one of them is he paints, like he puts like fake blood on his finger and then he walks up to people and he's like, smell my finger. And a lot of them will do it. And he has like camera glasses on or whatever. So he watches them the entire time and he just records really uncomfortable interactions. He also has this one bit, this other bit where he has, um, it's, he says it's called canned sphincter and it's like a soda can or like a beer can. And it says sphincter on it. And he carries these around and offers it to you as like, sphincter and he like pops it and offers it to people he's like some of the some of my favorite content on youtube he's so funny (laughs) does it smell bad or is it just like i haven't smelled it yet i'm i'm unsure what it smells like um but you make a uh, video on him you can't put it out until you've smelled it yourself fact find it i think so i think he's hilarious he's he he always tells people to come out to uh his car he's like i have a bucket of sardines in the back of my honda accord 2002 or whatever and he's like come back and you go back there and he does actually have it um he's 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 a, he's a fucking legend he's like i feel like he's the last of like the weird like public interaction youtubers he wears the the fucking glasses with the um camera in them so you don't know oh okay and he's just yeah doing smelly things to people He's yes, he's making those smell fingers. He's extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. Kyle, you're muted. I was gonna say, I wonder which glasses he has because I know um, Ray Ban has some collaboration where they they're like 350 bucks, which I mean, a pair of Ray Bans is already 200, and they have. I wonder how the video is in those. If, if it would be interesting, I don't know what you'd what I would film with it or what I'd do with it exactly, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I do like the idea of having a camera in my glasses. His video reason. quality is decent. It doesn't look half bad. You know, that part of me that wants, like, as a kid, I remember we had that fundraiser where we sold candy bars. You know, they hand you this huge, like, d- basket of 50 candy bars to sell. And one of the prizes were, was those uh, those sunglasses that had the mirror Yo, in them so you could see behind you. Mr. Brandon Buckingham. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. What are you? Yeah. What's up, guys? What's hey, up, what's Brandon? Up? How are you, dude? I'm great, man. Glad what are you guys Godzilla. doing there? What what content are you guys up to? I drove up here to watch Godzilla with Tom. Yeah, we're just watching Godzilla all week, every day. Every no day? Content. Is it good, or did you not go yet? We're going after this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandon, I watched one of your videos recently. You took a uh, a gang member to a haunted house. It was like an insane asylum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dude it's pretty cool, because... It, it, I think he got a little mad. The social dynamic was my favorite part. He didn't like being taken to this place. He didn't think this was fun. 
And he was mad at you, but I think everyone knew you could beat the fuck out of him if you chose to, <laughs> gang member or not. No, I told him it was a haunted insane asylum, but all I could comprehend was, it's a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a haunted house. Right? He's haunted trying house. to lay out how, like, this is where people died. This is where people were tortured. There's spirits here. And he's like, yeah, he was uh, half keeping up. But it was fun. It was good content. He He got spooked and you were fun. Hell yeah, it was awesome. Well, if you guys want to come up to, to Maine and watch Godzilla with us at 9.45, you're, you're both invited, all three of you, I mean. Dude, I'll try to make it. I got a list. I saw you were on uh, Charles Carroll's podcast. I need to give that a listen. That's awesome. Oh, dude, the palace rules. Charles and Eric, they're great. But yeah, I don't want to interfere too much, but yeah, uh, it's nice to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good uh, show. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, good to see you, dude. Heck yeah. Ooh. Fuck That's that guy, right? Oh, oh, he's the worst. The, the so worst. glad he's gone. <laughs> it's annoying. What I really thought. Are you you're up in Maine? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. Nice. I don't know anybody from Maine, but I am at, or Stephen King's from Maine. I don't know him though. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot. <laughs> Are you a Maine? Knight? A there's Mainer. not a lot. Mainer. Is also, his say. wife. Mainer is what they're called. Yeah, there's not a lot. Mainite. Are you? <laughs> That'll be funny. There's not a lot going on. Uh, there's like lobsters, and that's about it. Yeah. I would have thought Mainlander would be what they were called. Mainlander, yeah, a mainland, like Homelander. That's like our superhero. That's like one of the nicest states to live in. Apparently, nice and clean, lots of, lots of trees. Very right? clean. Yeah. When's the sun trees. go down today? Three thirty in Maine. Um, actually, I think it went down at four. Actually, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that's <laughs> depressing. <laughs> you can keep yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, it's nice during the summer, but uh, yeah, it's getting pretty fucking bleak right What's now. What's a big city in Maine? Portland is the biggest city, okay. which Bangor. is like seventy thousand. Bangor is like uh, 30,000, maybe 35. That's it where was. Stephen King is from. Um, we just had a shooting actually in uh, Lewiston, I think, or Auburn or something like that. We had uh, like 20 oh, people die. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dark. What? Yeah. I can't believe Some I didn't Which is it's weird that it happened four. here because like nobody fucking lives here. Yeah, I, I guess there's way fewer people in Maine than I imagine there would be. It's 1 million, I think, is the state total. Yeah. I mean, it's like quite a big state, so... It's pretty spread out. Are you an outdoorsman at all? I feel like that'd be a great place to live. Uh, I like skiing. That's about it. Ice skating. But uh, yeah, apart from winter stuff, no, no, no. <laughs> Ice skating? There, did you ever play biggest... hockey? No, my dad showed me how to skate, though, because he was really into hockey in high school. But um, no, I was a big pussy in high school, so no hockey. I was doing cross country. Yeah. Where's the oh, best place so to ski boring. in Maine? Or near you, I should say. Maybe you travel. To ski? I mean, there's a lot of places. The best place I can think of is actually in New Hampshire called North Conway with the White Mountains. Um, I don't think you can yeah. ski Mount Washington, but it is there. Uh, but there's a lot of great skiing over there, like Aditash, Wildcat, um, Cranmore. A lot of good stuff. Um, cool. Yeah, it's a good area. Right. I haven't skied in forever. Me that would too. be so much fun. Yeah, I just like I'm just like too jacked now to ski. Honestly, like I just you know don't want to embarrass anyone else on the hill. <laughs> You're getting too huge. You're too top heavy. You'll just tumble yeah, right yeah. down the mountain. I'll just like be faster than everyone, and I'll make them feel bad. Was Ste- there was yeah, there someone in your work. life? Did like someone in your life get jacked, and then you're like, I want to get jacked too, or were you just like, mm-hmm. let's do it? Yeah. So um, my dad has always been pretty jacked. Um, but my my. My little brother, who is 16, when he was 14, he started getting jacked. And he's, like, almost as tall as me, which is upsetting to me because, like, when I was his age, I was, like, way shorter than him. And I'm only, like, two inches taller than him now, so he's getting close. So I was, like, if I don't get jacked, I'm going to get fucking destroyed by this kid at, like, every Thanksgiving when we tackle each other. So I needed to get jacked, so I started going. And, um, yeah. but That's a good call. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't let him win. Were you yeah. an Iron Fist Older brother, were you a lot of a lot of bullying or not? Oh really? my god, yeah, dude. Are you? Yes, dude. My my fondest memories are of sitting on his face and ripping ass. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun, so much trauma, <laughs> dude. That's good motivation. You got to get jacked, or he's gonna beat you up. Now he's gonna like noogie me or whatever. Like it's gonna be brutal. He's gonna You're like getting uh, noogied by another man. Oh, embarrassing. There's nothing greater. I'd rather get noogied than, uh, or sorry, I'd rather have someone fuck my girlfriend than get noogied. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's really way worse. At least um, that happens. Whereas if you get like noogied, it's like, oh, it's over. Oh, Just no, like... there's a video of me being <sighs> noogied. If like some big, like professional athlete, like offensive lineman, like gave me a noogie, 
I'd be so embarrassed. Imagine if someone small gives you a noogie, like one of those um, like Armenian MMA guys who are like good <laughs> yeah. at one of those like, fucking Chechen terrorists like, grabs Gam- me. Gamburian is just like five Bag foot five. Any dude puts you down on the fucking ground. Beard yeah. holds you down. And also humiliating. He holds you down and puts his beard in your mouth, just like tickles you. I don't tickles. want that weightlifting furry dude. He's a gay weightlifting furry, right? Of, I don't know if I don't know if it. I don't know if that specific person was a gay weightlifting furry, but the guy that I have talked to, I believe, is a gay weightlifting furry. Yeah, the fact that he exists is frightening. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, yeah. he's, you know, cares about consent. Have you has he ever met you in person, or he's just helping you on Twitter? No, no, hold on. His name, uh, his name on Twitter is Trenesy. Hold on, I'll send you. <laughs> Trenesy. <laughs> Trenesy. <laughs> just so got he's on Tren- I just yeah, got yeah, yeah. <laughs> His name is oh, right, Tren and Hennessy. Okay. Very, very Go. clever. Yeah, where is that? Trenessy. <clears throat> I'm scrolling through his account right now. I'm mostly just seeing him in a fursuit. Um, but there is a post of him when he's pretty jacked. Looks uh, like his first picture is of a horse. Maybe yeah, I think I think he him. I think he is a horse, yes. I think that's his thing. That's probably like, the, that's probably got to be second, like runner up to dog, right? Horse. I think community. so. I know YMS is some kind of dog. Okay, he does. There is there are videos of him doing uh, like pull downs on a fucking <laughs> on a fucking uh, in there. Sorry, in a furry suit, in a full garb, donkey garb. He's strong. Oh yeah, damn. he looks big. Yeah, he is. He's he's built like a like a horse. That's yep. his motivation. He wants to be the biggest, baddest dude at those conventions. The goat. The goat. The goat, literally. The I horse. Sorry, the horse. I, I wonder what furry gets bullied by the other ones. Did you come across any of that in your research? Like, a, the like ones a, that a don't cat? have sex with animals? No, I mean, um, I think uh, probably like, I bet like lizards or birds get bullied. Because like, why the fuck would you choose to be that if you could be anything? Like you're choosing yeah. such a strange thing. I don't know. I actually, I don't like lizards and birds as a general rule, though. I just don't trust them or something uncanny um, yeah birds would eat you if they had the size to all birds are ornery and they're mean mm-hmm. they should be mm-hmm. eaten chickens are fine don't ever tell me chickens are mistreated i don't well, that's the thing deserve. that's you know the thing with this documentary treated. it's like i watch like pigs like suffer and it's like oh it's like a dog it's like cute it has big eyes i watch mm-hmm. chicken suffer chicken is like completely black eyes no emotions like bark, bark, bark. chop its fucking head off kill yeah. that motherfucker and if i had just to limit kidding. myself to just Irony. one meat it would probably be chicken for the versatility. Yeah, if I completely. Pick beef, I'd be dead by the time I was like Pork works 36. Too. There's no meat, just, there's bacon, there's treats, there's semi behaving. I like chicken more than pork. I feel Pork's like chicken you good. can cook more ways, no? Yeah, exactly. It's more versatile. You'd get like five months into eating nothing but steak or nothing but pork chops and bacon, and you'd be sick to death of it. Whereas like You're chicken right. doesn't really have a lot of flavor on its own. It's like a, it's like a mushroom. It's going to soak up whatever sauces and shit you're putting around it. Yeah. Ideally I would only eat fish. I think isn't fish supposed to be the least bad for you generally. I thought I you think couldn't eat that much fish. You get depends on the kind of fish. too much. Like yeah. white fish. White fish. That's I don't know. Crazy. I think they say whatever, like the higher on the food chain you go, the more mercury it has. Okay. So like sardines, you can pop those all day and there's not really any mercury, but then you're just eating sardines all day. Gotcha. We talk about protein sources? Just about meats we would we the would higher eat. on the food we chain you go, there's more Yeah. Mercury. So like tuna has more mercury than like a little minnow. So if you swallow, you're gonna die. I should say yes. goodbye to, <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to Jackie. Well, I don't think you have mercury in your semen. Oh, we lost Woody for a I second. might. I didn't know. do it. I think Zach made a mistake. Oh, you're good, Zach. It's okay. We forgive you, bud. I, I noticed you did a video on Andrew Tate, someone that I like almost intentionally never consumed any content from. Good for you. What was your takeaway from him? Do you think he's just a total grifter or he's got some sincere beliefs under there also? I think he's a grifter. Yeah, I don't think he really believes anything. I think he just wants to get rich from organized crime, which he's doing to his credit. Um, but yeah, I don't think that guy believes almost anything. I mean, he's constantly contradicting himself. You know, he talks about uplifting young men, and then he's also running like campsites while saying porn is bad. Like that just makes 
absolutely no sense. Um, so yeah, I don't think he believes really anything. <laughs> he believes in getting rich and having fun and fucking. Did you ever enroll in one of his fucking bro camps or whatever it's called? The Hustle no. University? I've never enrolled. I've seen, I've seen, uh, there's leaks you can find of everything in them. Oh, we know a guy like again in our like paid $50 Patreon, uh, hanging yeah. out. He's like, yeah, yeah. And he laid it out. He was like, I don't know. It seemed like he was getting some, some, What's up, Ed? I don't know. What's up? How are you? Very well. Glad to be here. Oh, uh, we're just, we're just talking about Andrew Tate, whether or not he's a, a grifter or if he's a sincere good boy. Just kidding. We know he's not that. Uh, Tom <laughs> here makes some good guy. very detailed videos, and you're telling us, Tom, he's zero percent chance he's a a well-meaning actor. I mean, I think he's very entrenched in like Eastern European organized crime. Whether he's trafficking girls or not, like he openly talks about like owning casinos with the mafia. So, I mean, maybe he's lying about that, but he is under investigation right now for a lot. So, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I imagine Kyle, people, you said uh, you said that guy likes Hustlers University. Uh, yeah, he seemed to think he was getting his money's worth out of it, but you know, I don't. Uh, it I think the majority of it is like learning completely useless shit, like drop shipping. Like he, we we asked him. I don't remember exactly what he said. He was like, "No, no, it's not that. Trust me, I'm not getting scammed. I know what I'm doing. This is good. This is quality information." All right, yeah, you know your money. Yeah. Um, I think we want to do the ads, um, but but first probably say goodbye to Tom, shout out yep. his channel and everything, and then make sure Ed's on the right input, right? Yes. So, Tom, where can everybody find your stuff? Uh, just look up Turkey Tom on YouTube, Tom Dark on YouTube, uh, Tom But Dark on Instagram. Check it out. Appreciate you guys having me on. It's been fun. You for sure, man. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Enjoy Godzilla with Brandon. Oh, we will. We will. Okay. It you guys take so- it easy. <laughs> All right. Later, man. All right. Well, Ed's getting that worked out. We're going to yeah. hear from a couple right. of fantastic, fantastic sponsors. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Faro Distro, farodistro.com. Attention, PKA fans. Faro Distro is doing an exclusive giveaway for listeners and viewers of the podcast. Over the next month, your first $50 spent on farodistro.com will get you five entries to win a DabX Go, the creme de la creme of Dab Rigs. Not only that, but every $10 spent past the initial 50 gains you an additional entry. This giveaway will run from November 30th, episode 676, to January 2nd. The winner will be announced during episode 681 on January 4th. We wouldn't want you to miss out on this incredible offer. Whether you're a connoisseur of smoking flour or a dab enthusiast, we have something special for you. Indulge in our brand new Faro Exotics THCA Buds, our strongest flower yet. For the dab aficionados, savor our THCA diamond sauce and don't miss on our mouthwatering selection of high quality, high milligram edibles. But that's not all. If you're on a quest for holistic wellness, explore our range of CBD products and therapeutic mushrooms. Use code PKA20 for 20% off your entire order. Our THCA double doinks have been flying off the shelves. Get those while supplies last using code PKA20 for 20% off your order. At ferrodistro.com, we provide quality gifts. Even Santa couldn't deliver. Enter to get your chance at winning a DabX today. When you sign up with ferrodistro.com, be sure to use an email that you actually use so you'll be aware if you win. That's ferrodistro.com. Go for it. I, I just wanted to say the DabX, as always, is very, very good. They sent me some more uh, parts for mine. And I've been using it this week with the diamond sauce, which hits so goddamn strong and thick. It's a, it is such a hard hit with that diamond sauce. It's little, it's these little crack rock like crystals, actually meth like crystals because they're (laughs) almost see through, and they're in like a gooey, also a, a, a goo of THCA probably as well or some shit. And it hits so hard. And those double donks are for real too. Um, I found the double donks. I smoked all mine. Double doink. Um, is that what it is? A double doink? A double doink. Uh, I found those to be the yeah. smoothest uh, non-weed weed I've ever hit. Because usually it's like, whoa, this is this is too fucking harsh to smoke. I've got some other stuff. Uh, I bought like a few grams of some like flour and it was awful. So harsh. But this stuff's good. It's my honest review of that stuff. It gets you, it gets you high as fuck. Get you high as so fuck. High. The THCA, if you're looking for the strongest smokable available that they have, it's the THCA. The HHC... That'll that's pretty strong. The Delta eight far and away the the weakest of them, which is right for a lot of people. But if you're just looking for strength, 
the most bang per hit. It is 100% the double doinks or the dab X with the THCA diamond sauce. That shit is very, very strong. So you're going to take a hit and be like, oh, I'm high as fuck, which is kind of the goal when you're doing it. And as always, the edibles. Don't be a dumbass. Start off lower than the milligram you're accustomed to because the stuff you're getting to gas stations isn't accurately dosed, whereas this is. So you have 100 from the gas station as your normal dose. Don't start with 100 of this. Start lower, and you will thank me for it. That's PKA20, ferrodistro.com. Get entered to win a DabX Go. Once you get the DabX Go, it's the only way you're going to take dabs ever again. Unbelievably convenient. Super small footprint. Not a big to-do. Not a big mess. You're not fucking using a torch. Any fucking horse shit nonsense. You're just pressing the button. And the and the charge even lasts a long time. So you're not going to be holding it on the charger a bunch. It's, it's high quality all around. The DabX Go. And you can get that 20% off. Uh, pka20 at ferrodistro.com check out the edibles check out the smokables and check out the holistic wellness mushroom products if you are interested in that ferrodistro.com pka20 enter yourself in hopefully you win a nice dab x go this episode also brought to you by freeze pipe freeze pipe this episode is brought to you by freeze pipe our friends at freeze pipe just launched a bunch of new products that are taking the cannabis market by storm for the smoothest and coldest way to smoke cannabis, you got to try a freezable pipe, bubbler, or bong from Freeze Pipe. Their newly released mini bong and tornado bong are priced very affordably and punch well above their weight class. And for those who prefer smoking oh, yeah, joints, blunts, here. and vapes, Freeze Pipe's new joint chiller brings much needed icy glycerin coldness when smoking any kind of joint, blunt, or vape. That's this fella right here. You throw that in the freezer. They sent me multiple. And so I've got a couple in my freezer and I've got this guy who's just the hold up for the show version. So check it out. <laughs> uh, and for those who prefer smoking joints, blunts and vapes, freeze pipes, new joint chiller brings much needed icy glycerin coldness when smoking any kind of joint blunt or vape. Say goodbye to harsh smoke and coughing attacks by shopping for the coldest pipes, bubblers, bongs, and dab rigs at thefreezepipe.com and use code PKA for 10% off your entire order. That's thefreezepipe.com. Code PKA for 10% off your order. Listen, the bubblers, the pieces, all of that, extremely high quality, thick glass, very quality stuff. Go for the big boy. The big boy on their website is the biggest bong they offer. It's got a freezable chamber about yay tall. Mm. Throw that in the freezer for a few Ice hours. Cold. It gets nice and cold, and it's the most effective way to take those big old rips and keep it comfortable. Because you know how uncomfortable it can be taking a rip from a big old bong when there's no mm -hmm. ice in there, when there's nothing cold. And it's also no annoying as shit to put ice in a bong because then it melts, and now the water level isn't correct. And, oh, no, I'm stoned. I don't want to deal with this. But You're choking on the this water. Is what you want to do. You want you choking on the water? That'd be like the infomercial version. It's like tired of almost drowning when you're trying to get high and you'd be up and that's what happens. Your... The ice melts, and then the next time you take a hit, unbeknownst to you, the water level has gone up by three fucking inches or some shit. You, you like suck in that dirty bong water. Yeah, and it, you don't want that last night. No, you you yeah. use this. You could die. Yeah. You could I mean you could die with water in your in your mouth that you don't want there. You suck it into your lungs, it gives you pneumonia, a slow death. They take you Mom to the hospital. You they put you drowned, drowned, drowned on bong water. Yeah. Anyway, thefreezepipe.com. Check it out. Uh, definitely get the big boy. I love the big boy bong they have there. It's the most, it's the, my brain looks at all of them and says that one has the most frozen part. That's well, the rhythm. best. one, And it's far and away the biggest. It's probably a foot and a half tall, big boy. So, I say, yeah, that's the freezable chamber for one of the smaller ones, which has this yeah, like this, cool cyclone uh, percolator. Goo chamber here. You want to freeze that goo chamber up. I keep it next to my my Jimmy Dean sausages in the freezer. Yep. Yeah, I put it on top of my frozen meats. I use it them together. Great. So check it out. Thefreezepipe.com. Get 10% off and uh, go for the big boy. You can go for the smaller ones, but I recommend the big boy. And of course, this episode is brought to you by Lock and Load, the premium cream oh. ejaculation increasing supplement taking the world by storm. Why You're tired so of, oh my God, I, <laughs> I, I just came, but like the girl didn't even know because I was just eking out little tiddly winks of cum. No longer, folks, no longer. You're going to be busting. It's going to be like an attack on her vagina with how much <laughs> you have ejaculated. Huge amounts, not just- She's not and just a girlfriend. She's like a water balloon at this point. Like a fucking water balloon, all <laughs> slick. And it's not just going to be some big watery load. It's going to be pearl. It's going to be pearlescent. 
pearlescent, nice and white, nice and creamy. Code PKA, code jizz, get 10% off. It's going to be just like that. Woo! Yeah, like that water, white water <laughs> wrapper. Lock and load, code PKA, code jizz, 10% off. Also, get your protein powder, energy drinks, weight loss supplements, dream supplements, any and everything mm. you need efficaciously dosed over at gorillamind.com, code PKA. That's it. Ed, sorry about that. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for joining us. <laughs> All good. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Glad to be here. You're solid. You're solid. Oh, man. What's new in your world? In the world of Oh, cars? I'm just curious how the supplement business is going. That was a lot of plugs there. It is. Yeah, it's 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 a booming. It's mm -hmm. it, it's coming. And we we like it. Yeah, it's it's I'm probably sure it the is. most impressive coming, project that we've ever it's worked on. It's coming right along. Yeah, coming right along. Uh the the reason that it's like still selling now instead of being like a jokey meme product is because you really do come more like you get on. If I, if I broke into your house and snuck this into your food, you're sleeping and I'm dropping pills and pouring water in whatever it takes to get all nine pills a day, nine pills a day. And you Couple would, you, you would come <laughs> and you would, that. you'd be like, something's up. <laughs> like I, I'm coming a lot after like three weeks of me breaking into your home and doing this, you would really notice a hundred percent. Like you, it would not be something that you, you could not take this and not notice a difference. A hundred pills. By the time I take a hundred to 300 pills of this, I will have an appreciable <laughs> change in my life is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. That's great. <laughs> it's more like a hundred wow. pills. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's 180 pills. That's not like 300. Come on. Right. No, understood. Yeah. It's 270 That's... capsules per container. So he, Ed was right now because of the other 300. <laughs> but yeah, you wow. get a couple of weeks in and and you oh, would wow. uh, you'd be noticing because other way like, we we knew it had to work. Otherwise, it was going to be like a one off gag gift thing. But we got a lot of people who enjoy coming like like men. Although also like the holidays are coming up. It makes a really good gag gift for like a grandpa. Like you give your grandpa this stuff, everybody's gonna be slapping your back, son. You're getting in the you're gonna be uh, getting a bigger slice of the inheritance, I think. Grandpa likes a sense of humor. Yeah, your grandma's, grandma's gonna, gonna hate up. it. Oh, that's you've improved our love life so much, grandson. He's coming like it's 1931. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's gonna say. He's greasing me up like I haven't felt since the Fuhrer was on the news on the radio. Like. <laughs> Just getting absolutely juiced up by your grandpa. So do that. Good. Well, uh, we ran out of stock on all the success. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. It's 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 absurd. It's humbling. How's, uh, it's it's humbling. <laughs> How's uh how is the car business? You know, the car business is great. It's been a good year on uh, all the media fronts. And certainly this year has been the pressure to deploy to all the different platforms more than just the YouTube focus, which has been our traditional uh effort mm -hmm. but it's been uh, it's been great lots of fun projects lots of fun road trips and uh lived to tell about it and most of the cars did too have you seen the cyber truck in person not in person no mm -hmm. i was actually talking to air rack who uh is a big you know lifestyle youtuber he was texting me to see if i could find him one on short notice because he started his youtube channel by building a fake cyber truck using silver spray painted <laughs> cardboard <laughs> and uh it you looks know, 10 good. million sub subscribers what? yeah it well, looks incredible so, <laughs> What's it, his name? so i i was at our local apple store getting a computer fixed and he pulls up right next to me long before anybody knows who this guy is and i just post a picture of the car on instagram and he literally rented a single cab f-150 and duct tape and spray painted uh like plywood and cardboard on the side of it and went in like he was trying to trade in a cyber truck on another tesla model <laughs> and so this was going to be his first big video trying to emulate kind of this mr beast hype you know whatever mm -hmm. and uh i didn't mean to like ruin it for him but it got a lot more play from my post than his at that time now he's huge you know it's all worked out but he yeah. said he wanted to kind of like have the bookend of the cyber truck experience but i haven't seen one in person but it is, I mean, such a, a meme of a thing just in itself. I, I it's who knows what where, where it's gonna go. Yeah, not me. It's I was on board for a long time, longer than most. Mm -hmm. I liked because I saw it as a novelty. I saw it the same way I look as a a two-door like sports car. It's like 
don't look at it as a truck because it doesn't win that competition in any regard other than like maybe a zero to 60, right? right? I think it's a cool thing to look at and sit in and drive around. But now that I've kind of seen them from like the ugly angles we were saying earlier, it's like, ooh, that looks like shit. And the more I hear, I don't like the idea of body panels not lining up. Like when we would restore a car, that's one we'll spend all day get hanging this door if we need to. But bitch is going to be straight. Like if it takes uh, or a hood or something like that, like you can't have these these body panels not lining up right. Like, like you can't. And the idea that you pay a hundred grand and get less range, less power, less everything than you were promised and paying 40,000 more for it. And it's like, fuck this, dude. Why don't I get a, I, I was saying earlier, used like Ford Lightning or whatever. Like, why would I? Or a new this? Ford Lightning. They're discounting them like crazy. And, <laughs> and that's been a, a new problem really in the last few months is that the, the depreciation of barely used high-end electric cars is utter insanity. Uh, I mean, like uh, a Lucid is depreciating 4% a month right now. And so you think about that, like 50, 55% residual values in a year. And we're used to cars depreciating a lot when you drive them off a lot, but not like that. And it's because they're so heavily supplemented by all these tax incentives and these other incentives to, to buy other than it's exactly the car that I want. And especially at a time where there were new inventory shortages for the last 24 months, people were buying the higher trim packages, they were paying more, and all of that value is just evaporating really, really fast. And Tesla's the worst, but that's primarily because they've cut prices so aggressively to fit into these different price levels to qualify for different incentives and things like that, and to squeeze everybody else out because they're recognizing that since most of what they care about is their stock price, they they don't really worry about profitability. So what they wor- well, want to make sure is that they limit competition. And so every all the other manufacturers are like, we have too many of these things. Nobody's buying them. Audi e-trons have like $50,000 in manufacturer lease incentives right now. And so and when you think about that, it eats up like most of the lease. Uh, the same way we had with like Nissan Leafs and BMW i3s back in 08, 09, when everybody's was getting them for thirty dollars a month or for free, um, but if uh, you know, think about that. If a if you can lease a new car for nothing or a hundred dollars a month, what's a used one worth? Yeah, nothing. It's it, I it, saw, it, I saw a YouTuber. Hmm. I think he owned his own car lot. It was one of those, and he was talking about the, <laughs> the Ford Lightnings in particular <laughs> and the amount of value they were losing. And he had so many there. I I keep mentioning uh, three thousand miles. To 300 miles like those cars and it's like what the fuck these people bit off these 1400 dollars a month car payments ate it for three months turns out this thing isn't what i like and i can't even afford it anyway and now the lot's full of them and i i can't remember what they were looking to do they were trying to find a way to just turn the financing over to someone just turn it turn it over to someone else i think is is what what everyone was trying to do and nobody right. wanted them well nobody wants them you're so upside down well, and if you assume the lease, you're not going to get any of the tax rebates and incentives. And so it's just going to make your cost preposterous because whenever they quote them in the advertisements and things like that, there it's the effective payment. You're paying more, but you're getting some back. And so it's kind of less. And so it's, uh, it's a strange phenomenon. But, you know, obviously most of our audience and most of our content at VinWiki is about, you know, more modern, or, well, not necessarily modern, but, not, you know, these 20 to 15, 10 year old exotic cars, um, mm-hmm. you know, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, everything like that is what our enthusiast audience really enjoys. And those have done really, really well in value and sustained most of it. You know, we we're finding that rarity wins and uniqueness wins. And generally, as cars turn 10, 15, 20, 30 years old, that's when the enthusiast audience that grew up with them as posters start to be able to afford them. Mm. I can really. Oh, that makes that. a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm like, Porsche 959 is my, if I could have anything. And that, you can imagine I was probably right around 17 or so when they became a thing. Hmm. Yeah, nothing the can market. ever be as cool as the coolest car on earth when you're 17 years old. Well phrased, yeah. It is It is just, because uh, I was 16 years old when the Murcielago came out, and I, I can't love cars more than I love that one. And so... That's why there's three of them downstairs and, you know, they're all terrible, <laughs> but they all, you know, one of them at least at a time works well enough to take somewhere. What car is it? 
Which car? A Lam- Lamborghini Murcielago. So the V12 car they made after the Diablo from 2001 to 2010. Woody's in the market for a new car. His uh, oh, yeah? his wife's car was struck by lightning. Literal act of God. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess they totaled it out and he made out like a bandit on the insurance. Yes. It is a good time to sell a car to an insurance company. Absolutely. I got lucky. Yeah, I think we paid forty eight for it like two years ago, forty eight thousand, and we got forty four back. <laughs> That's right. unheard of ownership cost. That's perfect. Yeah, but uh, she does need a car. We're dragging her feet. That was like October, maybe, <laughs> and she still has no car. But we, she doesn't. She uses mine, and I have. Right. I don't know how many motorcycles I have. Eight or nine. So um, I'm not stuck at home when she uses it which isn't very often bottom line. She wants an SUV. She had a Toyota Highlander and Mm -hmm. while it did its job like a reliable sewing machine, it didn't bring her any joy. So this time around, we're trying to sort of learn from that and get something she likes. I looked at Ford Broncos. They didn't light her fire. Um, Kyle says no. Okay. I hate that chassis. I, I wanted it to be on an F one fifty chassis. Like I wanted a real fucking. Bro- Never mind. I'm getting in the. There's two here. Broncos. Are neither of them yes. on good chassis? One's on a very bad chassis, and one's on a. We wish it was a little better, but most can tolerate it chassis. Is so the, the cool one looking like one is the okay? Bigger one? The bigger yeah. one's okay. Yeah, yeah, the sport or whatever they call it, you you wouldn't want to mess with at all. Um, and you know, it's good for residual value. There's a lot of customization that can be done, but at the end of the day, it's it's not what a lot of the uh, you know more excited people were. You know, the people that were more passionate about the brand wanted it to go in a little bit of a different direction. I'm a if Porsche Cayenne that, fan. The OJ oh. model would have. Oh, yeah. I would have. I would have partnered with OJ, <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be like it'd be like the juice model or whatever. Oh, like yeah. it would oh, say God, juice and good. cursive on the side, and like. I'm telling you, you charge 25 grand over retail over over the sticker, they will yeah. fly off the off the fucking. Here at Kyle's Auto, we're decapitating the competition. <laughs> 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 I'd do a little dance. You do a little I'd, dance. I'd probably get a four. Yeah, Yosemite Not Sam kind of like Yee-haw! the Toyota uh, FJ have a hat. I thought was cool, but they don't make them anymore. Right. Um, Does she need something new? I yeah, guess we were getting new just out of momentum. Doesn't need something new. I the FJ Cruiser is like an enthusiast market propping up its used value. I don't want to get into that. Show us the electric Honda CRV, not the electric with the hybrid one. That Bronco that, that was just on the screen for a couple seconds looks ten times cooler to me than the Cybertruck. Oh yeah, yes. I, it it's like, a it little, looks good. I always thought it remind it looked like a girl's truck. It looked like something that. I don't know. It maybe I'm the Bronco. Like a, a, yeah, like that one. The the new Broncos. I don't know. They look a little bit too small. This she is the like electric that. CRV. It kind of fits. So when I buy a motorcycle or a car or whatever, I look at what I have and I look at what hole we might need to plug. I wouldn't want if I had a Toyota Camry. I wouldn't be looking at a Honda Accord. They kind of serve the same role. If I have a Camry, mm. I might want an F-150 or a Corvette, something that's different than a Camry. So we have an F-150 now, which would have made the Bronco kind of, it, it feels too similar a slot. Mm-hmm. But um, that CRV might be good. I don't know. See if she likes it. But all nine of your motorcycle holes are filled properly. Not yet. No. What not, you you only he has thirty seven motorcycle holes I'll have you know he's a grown man all right he doesn't have any like Italian racing bikes from from the from the late seventies early eighties that's true he brings Big up gap. a strong point yeah I, I don't even know how I made it this far I see that gaping hole in your life there mm. that one he doesn't yeah. have that Jay Leno bike that's sitting on like a Dodge ten cylinder out of a Viper or whatever. <laughs> there you go. I don't have there a cruiser go. or a real go fast kill yourself bike. Um, mm. you I probably, see that with you, you being all know, alive and stuff. You probably know a ton of people that collect like different cars, like the FJ Cruiser. Or they like they like this one specific thing, so they have ten of them. Do you know anybody who collects something just really fucking dumb? And you have to be like, oh, that's neat. That's a great Ford Pinto collection you have. <laughs> like, you know, like that, well, you know? for from content creation perspective, that can work remarkably well because there's people out there looking for Treblant videos and Yugo videos and all of these like Eastern Bloc 
terrible cars because you know when you see someone trying to live with a car like that uh in the regular world where the people go the speed limit you know yeah. it's it's really wild and so that i do know some people who have those kinds of obsessions but they're you know there's an owner's group of everything out there and and they're all passionate and that's you know, as weird as it might be and as different than our tastes as it might be, it's cool that they're able to find their people and their tribe of weirdos or whatever you want to call them that love the same things. Because you know, th- there's plenty of people that would say that about my obsession with old, unreliable, expensive to maintain Lamborghinis. But uh, yeah. even within that, there's weirdness. I just bought a 1997 Diablo SV out of Japan. And they're, you know, you can import these cars once they're 25 years old with no issues at all. And most of the time, there's a pretty strong arbitrage there. So you can buy a car overseas, especially if it's been kind of neglected and not used for a few years. You know, so I paid like 25% of what this car would have brought in the U.S. Mm-hmm. I bring it over. It costs right now like four grand to float a car across uh, the Pacific. And uh, the car's awesome. But for a long time, it was sort of modified in the traditional Japanese trendy way to change a Lamborghini. And so it had neon lights everywhere. It had the, this exhaust that sticks out like crazy and shoots fireballs. <laughs> it had seven television screens in it. It had <laughs> rhinestones and Hello Kitty figurines stuck to the gauges and the steering wheel. Uh, dope. Tell me you've got pictures. I have tons. Yeah. I don't know the uh-huh. best way to show them, but it, there's a, if you go to my Instagram, it's that car. So what they did was they took most of it off to make it advertisable, but that was what it was like all lit up everywhere. There's switches for everything. And it is, uh, it is a real train wreck of a thing, but I, um, you know, that, that is a huge trend of, you know, sometimes it's ex Yakuza gangsters. Sometimes it's just Mm -hmm. people that love going slow and pull up in car meets and things like that. But I mean, this is an SV. This is the highest performance variant of a Diablo. And so I, uh, you know, I don't really care about a car being perfect. I just care about it being drivable and comfortable. And so like, Mm -hmm. I, uh, we just wrapped it a more respectable, more, you know, traditional Lamborghini color, took most of the lights off, put the right wheels and wing and stickers on it. And it, you know, it's a car again. Um, but it's fun to see how differently the cars are treated around the world, even when you're talking about allegiance or love for the same type of car. Have you ever driven an F1 car? No, I have not. I've driven some open wheel cars, lower horsepower stuff, but nothing mm-hmm. like that. Um, we, uh, actually one of our most successful videos ever is a guy who did a press event driving an old infinity F1 car, probably from the early two thousands, they did a press drive where they kind of like had some people that had enough experience to probably not die. And they, they talk about ramping up towards, you know, you do a formula three car to one and it's, uh, it's, it's wild. I mean, the, they, the, you'll hear people talk about how difficult it is because, You can't go fast enough. You can't think fast enough to go fast enough to break hard enough to use the downforce enough to make it through any of the turns. And so if if any of the variables don't work, then none of them work. And uh, it's pretty wild. It's like flying a plane. Uh, It's more like flying a plane than driving a car. The challenge is you need to drive the car hard and fast. (laughs) It is harder. (laughs) To warm up the tires and brakes. But you can't drive the car hard and fast unless the tires and brakes are warm. So it takes an expert to make this thing have warm tires and brakes before they're warm. And I, I guess I, you, know, you get and it, the right? And downforce sort of... as well. You got you to be moving fast enough to have the downforce. For... That's a, I never thought of it that way. I was going to ask you if it's like a James Bond scenario where we've got to catch the bad guy. And can I, and I just pull the guy out of the F1 car and I jump <laughs> in. But on the way, on the, on the plane ride over here, like, there was an F1 driver and he was whispering in my ear, like, like how to drive an F1 car. I have that amount of cursory knowledge. What happens? Oh, like, do I immediately hit a wall? Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you get it to move. can't make it move. Yeah. So really? Kyle can drive a stick. I can too. I have the same question about myself. I have uh, sure. decades of driving a stick, so right. I'm not a good driver. Like, like, I don't pretend that if you put me on a racetrack, I'd do better than most. I'd do worse than most. But I am competent at driving a stick shift. I've done it forever. Why can't we make it move? 
the different generations of cars use electronically operated clutches and things like that. So actually the procedure is not exactly like you can't feather it out. It's going to use an electronic throttle in order to uh, overcome how small the clutch is. Uh, and so you might have a foot operated clutch, but the way that would engage would be entirely different. There would be no bite point. It would just be a, as much an electronic switch as anything else. On off. Yeah. The and so it's important or I'd stall the car can't stall though. Like what, what would it do? Uh, it has an anti-stall, but if the yeah. anti-stall kicks in, then it just doesn't move, but it also doesn't die. It I jerks. Just going, it like presses the clutch in. I saw Richard Hammond. Uh, I think he was feigning incompetence in a video uh, to an extent, yes. But and yeah. and the car was like go like stutters to go 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 go, go stop go stop yeah thank you man and uh, an expert did this sort of like my reaction to Richard Hammond's video and he explained that the car has anti stall and he's like leaning on the he's almost trying to stall it leaning on the anti stall putting on the typical what i frustrate about top gear with uh you know pretending that he's encountering more trouble than he really is by trying to stall it and it won't stall i'm like just press the gas if it won't stall won't it go i don't know yeah you you could if you had someone sitting there with you explaining it you'd figure if you had a general understanding of how cars work and how a, a clutch works then you could figure it out and you could make it move and the I believe, not having done it, that the, the ability for someone to make it around a track is greater than most people. The ability to try to go fast around a track, that's when you go. I think you could make it navigate, but if the, the second you started trying to hold some speed or doing it, it'd just be spin. Yeah, I got to catch that villain. He's got the briefcase with the jewels yeah, in it. Yeah, you wouldn't get the briefcase. <laughs> I bet he, but he's not trained either. <laughs> Well, you know, there's this thought that when he's running, he knows running. that too. Oh, he spoke to me as a runner. I'm cutting him off at the shins. I don't know. Yeah, that, it, we all have that the rock chase fantasy where you steal the 355 out of the valet and chase him in the Humvee through the windows and all that. <laughs> uh, but you know, there's this thought seconds. that in, oh yeah, yeah, Gone that's in the 60, chase. That is the chase, but the jump is just tough. I mean, I love going in 60 seconds. So the second. But, uh, Blues you know, Brothers we have that thought that jump. just money buys your way into F1 and drive to survive and things like that make it seem that way. And for a long time, one of the stories that I've been looking for the right storyteller to tell on Benwicky is the economics of racing. Right. Because it's yes, you have to be good. But much more importantly than being good at every level of racing is being rich or knowing the right rich people. Mm -hmm. And the to kind of see behind that curtain because, you know, at least half the NASCAR field is paying to be there. And clearly some of the F1 field is just paying to be there. And almost all of them were paying to be there at some point. And he said that if you started, if you were entering formula one today, so if you just won a formula two championship, your family or whomever's investment into your career would be at a minimum $20 million today in order to have been able to prove that you could win at all these things. And that's assuming like a perfect ascension. So every mm -hmm. year from carding on, you're winning a championship. And again, that makes it sound like you could just pay your way in. But he said at every level, every person in that field has the money too. And so you have to have the money and the skill is effectively the moral yeah. of the story. Wow. Formula One drivers are an interest. So I watch Drive to Survive, never miss it. And uh, I just gather these little vibes from the driver on how wealthy they are. Like I watched mm -hmm. Carlos Sainz and he's sitting at a table in some sort of paradise, right? So picture like an outdoor, I don't know how to describe a really, really high-end picnic table on a balcony with lights, you know, maybe overlooking the Monaco seascape or something. If I'm there, yeah. <laughs> if I'm there and I wasn't raised poor, I'm like, oh my God, can you believe this? Can you believe this view? Can you believe where I'm standing? This is an event. They are so casual and nonchalant about what their life is. It's crazy. Same thing, back of a yacht. They don't blink. This isn't even a special day to them. I watch them play tennis and they're in the all tennis whites, the short shorts, whatever. I would feel like I'm wearing a costume. Carlos Sainz, this is just his off time to him. To, to see 
I don't know, something about the attitude and comfort and non-specialness of really special, wealthy situations. I was like, damn, these guys have been rich since they've had memories. Yeah. And but they still can drive. And, you know, even and the, the differences in the cars obviously are huge. But I, uh, I think it's and it's amazing what Netflix has done to transform at least the American audience perception of the sport. And I, I think that's kicked off there. I lost you for a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like yeah. F1. It, it, I'm a Formula. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a Drive to Survive fan. I'm one of those new ones. But uh, uh, it's it's neat to see. At first, I loved how unfair it was. I thought it was neat that like, yeah, my car is faster than yours. Fuck you. I this team wanted me instead of you, so I'm better than you. I'm like, no, you're not better than me. You just have a better car. <laughs> If I wasn't better than you, you'd be driving this car. And and I just kind of enjoyed this like unfair fight. But I enjoyed this unfair fight when there were like three cars on any given week, three teams that could win. This year, I think there's 23 races. If that's not right, it's very close. Red Bull won 22 times. And right. R- Red Bull has one driver that's faster than the other. He won 20 of them. And it's just like, it, it's fucking ridiculous. He won it. Taking bake. Oh, my God. Yeah, he let yeah. he let the other guy win one. <laughs> <laughs> so the other Red Bull driver won two. So the first four, yeah. each of them won two races, and then he just ran away with it. Right. And Ferrari wow. got one win. Yeah. Well, is that other guy like running as a blocking car for the winner? The other guy sucks dick. He is a cocksucker. He's an asshole. He blames other people every time he loses, but he thinks he's the best driver. Uh, he did get two wins, so it's not like he's bad. Like he's I'm a saying, pretty good driver, then, right? Yeah, he's consistently, he's in the, he's in by far the best car. This car won like 22 out of 23 races, and fuck shit, Checo is always finishing like ninth, eleventh, thirteenth. You know, he can't get out of the first round of qualifying like six races in a row. He's getting beat by cars that are so much worse than his. I love to hate him. I follow every week. I watch and hope that Checo does poorly. But it's you know, <laughs> one way of being a fan. I'm glad you're having fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. it now, now, when you say you watch, do you, do you do you watch the races? Or I know you're a stats and stories fan to some extent. Mostly, I stats and stories F1. Also, uh, sometimes I live watch the results. Like I literally just watch the stats as they yeah. change in real time. Like ah, Max is in first. It's as it should be. I don't but, know how uh, you watch sports like that. Like, I've got to watch, watch the like, game. <laughs> I literally watch Google like search results and they just update like as the race progresses. And that's that's how I enjoy F1 that's sometimes. So funny. Yeah. I really uh I gotta watch mo- I watch most UFC events. I'm definitely watching uh, the next one. It's wild. So many fun storylines and everything. Um that's the only thing I really watch. I, I I watch some college football and I can be drug into watching NFL, especially if like my friends are watching it and we're going back and forth about it but that's about it like like i already told you i'm, I'm no longer a baseball fan i've i've given up on the sport as a whole the, mm-hmm. the braves did that to me this year I, I swear to god i'll never mention baseball again you'll see i mean it they I'm won done. the 2021 world series and he's done with them with the sport <laughs> i'm done with the sport as a whole like that's like, how you, i you felt get, about college over. football for a minute when falcons Georgia also didn't... you lose that super bowl that's it Never again. When Georgia mm-hmm. got screwed over, in my opinion, and Florida got screwed over, in everybody's opinion, simply because of money. This is this is stupid. Make the playoffs eight, and I'll come back. Do you follow any sports other than racing, Ed? No, I mean, you know, they, fortunately, they are making it bigger next year. So I don't know why it's going. to – What is it? Is it twelve or some awkward number for the football I think it's playoffs? Twelve. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so there's shit. like a, I didn't know. The f- the top four teams will just get a buy next year, and then the other eight play, and then they all start. Which I don't know why you don't make it sixteen or some very logical tournament structure. But yeah. I uh, it this one was a bad and but you know it's it's almost makes you wish it was just one game again because you could justify the top two so easily. Mm. Uh, but when you try to make it four, then it gets too hard. So. I, I enjoy college football, but I I struggle to invest a lot of my happiness in the actions of other people, and so it makes me a bad sports viewer. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, I I can I, I many times envy those that can make it that kind of a hobby level interest things like that. 
Yeah. I, I can't follow professional sports because of the um like the sell sword nature of it, you know? Like if if you had homegrown talent and was like, yeah, this is Bobby. He went to high school in Georgia and college at UGA and he plays for the Falcons and he took less money to do it. He said he he signed a 30 year contract. Like, 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 all right, holy shit, Bobby don't give a fuck. He's a Georgia boy. Like, you could follow a team that was made up of 30 players like that. But when it's like, I mean, look, LeBron James is a perfect example, right? When when you bounce around to like be the when it's all about you, how can I ever give a shit about you? When I watch UFC, I always go he back. He did go back to, well, to Cleveland. He's not your perfect example. Yeah. But, he won a title for him. Fair enough. But when I look at UFC, like if if I'm a Sean Strickland fan, then he can't really lose me because I like him. And when he wins, it's about him winning. And he can't sell out. He can just fit, find new sponsors. And I'm happy for him when he does so. You know what I mean? Oh, mm-hmm. Budweiser's going to pay you? Drink it up, tranny boy. Like, like I'm down. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I, That's a guy I really like. I don't know if you saw the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. This is a bit of a segue, but... It looks a lot like Sean Strickland is the, one of the main characters of that game. Is he? <laughs> I don't no. Know. Oh, he's yeah. not. I, like did, a voice. I didn't watch it yet. It was, but it was like the most successful YouTube video ever, or something like uh-huh. in the first, like views in the first twelve hours, like seventy million or something like that. I don't um, doubt it. It's. It, I mean, the, the following is huge. Everybody has been waiting for thirteen years for the new GTA, right? The twelve or thirteen years. It's. Like probably the most anticipated game of That's not in recent angle. memory. And the, Do you the, think that the, looks the like tra- Sean Strickland? Not at all. Um, okay. but, uh, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but in the in the tra- you but the guys like mine. Tra- like which but, one? But in the Danny McBride like is John Rocker <laughs> sense, you know. Yeah. That, it looks more like Luke Rockhold than anything. But in the uh, mm-hmm. in the trailer when he's moving around, especially, especially from certain angles. And uh, to be fair, that lady on the left looks. A lot like uh, there's this MMA journalist named Nina. Pull her up, Zach. Like, there you go. Thank you. This is what he looks like from the side. Now show me Sean Strickland from the <laughs> side. And it's like, it's the same fucking guy. I mean, I'm going to get this game when it comes out and play it. I think you know what everyone... you're playing as? You know what the protagonist is? You, I think you go back and forth, I was told, between that Mexican lady and and this white gentleman. And, um, and, and you have like dual protagonist so you you go back and forth uh-huh. but so you I get to play notice. two story modes basically maybe uh I, it's probably I, the I same no story idea. mode yeah probably probably so or, or very similar or maybe switch back and forth it's like in a uh, halo yeah i don't really give a sh- like are, are are people really mad about playing as Nobody, a hispanic lady no it was a black guy like like last game i'm i'm, I'm happy that we're moving in the right direction slowly but surely <laughs> 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 the next no. next uh, GTA Seven coming twenty thirty five. The North, like, like they're in Sweden, they're in Norway. They're all just Swedes right. in Kyle's Yeah, world. they're all Swedes. Just Vikings. Um, no, I'm Germans, excited maybe. for it. I don't I don't play much uh, GTA, but I know the amount of money that's invested in creating a GTA title is almost like nothing else in entertainment. I don't know what else is more expensive to make than a GTA game. And I don't know what else makes more money, frankly. It's why, like a Taylor it, Swift tour. Why is it so expensive? <laughs> um, well, they they released, and, and I'm not an expert, but they released like the base game, I don't know, 13 years ago or whatever, and it was a GTA game. But now it's this whole online experience, and it's they're at, they've been adding more content and staying with the game and maintaining a massive player base for over a decade. So... Uh, oh, I thought you meant like it, it was. Kind of it was I think there's a make. Then I think like, hundreds of millions me that, of a Marvel movie. In that, like, you know what? There isn't another movie where we'll spend two hundred and fifty million dollars to make it. But it's kind of a lock that we get a billion in revenue, so it mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, and those oh, are old numbers. I think those are like basically the the that, those are like the opening numbers, right? Like, I think they made that game for about two fit two hundred fifty million initially. And then it sold like for a billion, like it sold a billion worth of copies or whatever. Pretty quickly, in a very short yeah. succession. And again, wow. that's 13 years ago or whatever. So they've been milking it ever since. New content, all the online multiplayer stuff. Again, not a game that I play or I'm super interested in, but uh, it's going to be a marvel. I think 2025 release. I had never played GTA 5 or really any of the GTAs until like three years ago that I streamed it and played it there. And like, just I would hop on like not on stream and occasionally play and like 
do in, intentionally nothing. Just be like, how many crimes can I commit? <laughs> and like, how much mayhem can I, you know, deploy onto these poor NPCs? And how, what do I have to do before I get the, the coveted five star rating? And it turns out like more than you would think to get up there. <laughs> like you can, you can be a serial, a spree killer, like oh, hundreds man. dead. And oh. they're like, this is a three star guy. And it's like, this is kind of, I'm a five star man. Like, like so, so it's harder than you think. And then once the helicopters come out, I wasn't good enough to to shoot those down all the time. It's a fun game just to futz around. I uh, I have a video here of a five star man. So I think this happened in uh, Virginia, maybe Arlington, Virginia. Uh, they were serving a search warrant on this fellow's house, and he detonated his house like the Gaza Strip when they came up the drive. And when I say his house exploded. I don't mean that Nancy Pantsy shit. I mean movie style. His house exploded into a fireball of shrapnel and sparkly things that I can't quite identify. Maybe he just had like a 20 million page manifesto in the in there and those are pages of paper floating in the wind. I can't mm. really tell from the fuzzy footage. Was it like he, a gas leak? Like what was it? He, I don't know. What, I can't identify that. That looks like explosives to me. You're the explosive um, expert. It might I don't know what it was either. It looked like maybe he I'll had to bottles do some testing. of um, acetylene or something in the house. Acetylene in the house, bro. There's no way of knowing what what what's happened here. Like like this could be it's an ammonium nitrate fertilizer bomb. This could be TNT. Mm -hmm. It could be right. gas, like you said. He blew his house up like nothing. Up. The only time I've seen explosions like this are to like Taylor said, gas explosions. But this is someone who blew their house up on purpose. And clearly they had a way oh. to initiate. Look at look outside. Both the authorities got there first. Then the house exploded. They were serving mm -hmm. a warrant. Three stars. Well, well <laughs> did the authorities like <laughs> do anything up to that point? Like they had just showed up and then it blew, or like did they do anything in the house that maybe would they, set off a gas? They exploded? shot some bottle rockets at him, like like first <laughs> thing, but but they don't think all right, connected. men, we're going in. Light your matches. <laughs> March in this there. article's great. The explosion happened while the suspect was still inside. What happened to the suspect is unclear. <laughs> yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you three guesses. Yeah, someone's fucking <laughs> someone's sunroom yeah. is destroyed. Uh, six blocks down. He was cremated. Yeah. He was mm. he was flash cremated <laughs> just immediately. <laughs> Damn, that's a big explosion. Well, I, I wouldn't explosion. like there there are probably other hurt <laughs> I love those. Yeah, if he was shooting dead, a flare gun at the police. That sounds <laughs> suicidal. I bet it was gas. I bet it was gas yes. too. Here in the it, flare gun, but it wasn't he was an instantaneous, you know, combustion. It was like a blast and then fire. So it was uh, that was an interesting accelerant. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. He was shooting uh, a we flare tried gun at the cops, and maybe <laughs> him, maybe him shooting it from his There's house this. is what set it off. But like, how would you not smell that amount of gas in your house? I'm, I bet he knew it he was there. He knew about it. <laughs> was, he was trying to kill himself, I guess, then. Yeah, I don't think his first thought was, huh? Yeah. When that... What? <laughs> Man, it stinks in here. I can't wait till the cops leave and I can get to the bottom of this. <laughs> fire, oh they fire a warning shot across their bow. Yeah. Taylor's I like people powers who... of deduction are Elmer Fudd like right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I guess One of my favorite Evans. internet videos He's is. Yeah. I, I linked it in the side thing. They were, can't play it because it's fucking music or whatever. But <laughs> this guy, uh, this black guy is kind of surrounded by police at his house. And they're like, come on, come with us. And he starts doing his kata. He's fucking getting charged up like he's fucking kung fu out there. And then he charges right at him. <laughs> and he's fucking swinging kung fu chops the whole way. And he holds his own against like a lot of cops for way longer than you'd think. That's what I'll say. And they didn't comical. just shoot him right away. They With all the confidence they did. of you jumping in a Formula One car to chase a bad guy. I think it tased it. <laughs> same same headspace oh. right there. I can do this. I can do I it. Think... Tell me I can't. Kyle, have you watched this video recently? I, I don't think they'd change it, but but no. I, let, let, I'll go back. I don't I don't think they shot him. I thought they tased him. Tell me when you get to shit. I'm coming up on it. Oh, there's a lot of smoke, but now I'm looking. I think they're shooting less than lethal rounds at him and yeah. they're creating some sort of smoke. 
I yeah, interpreted yeah. that as gun smoke. At, but at but the, but like <laughs> the the fight goes way longer than you would ever think. Uh, a one on fifteen when one of the guys <laughs> is a, is a skinny crackhead doing kung fu moves would ever go. It's like. <sighs> He's going to make it through the first round, I think. The video <laughs> ends with cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> I like when cops are cool like that. Like, there's no reason to shoot him. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like no, he's just like, a let's silly guy. I'm like, hang on, guys. Put your... Let's whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all doing? Come on. <laughs> it's a short so story fun. or a long story. And we're going to make it a longer story. It's like, mm. I'm a coward. I don't want to get in a one-on-one -on -one fight. That sounds scary. But if, like, the three or four of us could jump on one guy, like, and he's down, all right. Let him oh, play he knows kung fu. He's making, like, right. sound effects that's, with his mouth. See, that's really <laughs> enticing me. The fact that he's kung fu chopping re really makes me want to be part of this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think he really studied kung fu. <laughs> I don't think he did either. <laughs> I mean, maybe the movie. But but not like at a at a ninjutsu dojo or anything like that. I don't know that that would help either. That fake martial arts is always one of my fa favorite rabbit holes to go down on YouTube because you've got like the pretenders and the believers and then the scam artists and it's almost like it can be cult like at, at times with the self belief and and because they're these guys they're the the real all stars of the fake martial arts. These guys are so full of their own shit that they step into actual combat like like or they'll, they'll step into MMA cages or um like open combat style like a prove yourself kind of dojo matches against like an MMA competitor and straight up get their shit pushed in and mm -hmm. and they'll have this look of utter sh utter shock what the fuck my force powers didn't activate this time <laughs> they don't understand. my bubble shield was down he just clobbered me were you guys all focusing Dude, there was. Did I ever like, tell you about guys. my instructor that did that? Oh no, no, I yeah. don't think so. So I was probably like twenty six or twenty seven or something, working at Cisco, and I won some trivia competition, which entitled me to a couple of months of kung fu training. And uh, <laughs> everyone was really excited that I won it because they knew I'd go. So sure enough, you know, like they came to the office a couple times a week. We pushed all the tables and chairs out of this big conference room and studied Kung Fu. Kung Fu got my Sifu rolls in with all these pads and shit. And it's me. There are like, I don't know, 47 year old women who have like a higher rank than me socially mm -hmm. in this. And, you know, they're like, oh, you'll get used to it. And it's like, you know, I can kick your ass. Now, right? <laughs> like, like I, I'm 26 years old. I'm one of the toughest guys in all of IT, really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but but she's talking to me like I'm some sort of child chump. Like, you know, it's poker in the eye, like a stigma male you are. <laughs> and he would teach us these moves that like you almost fool yourself into thinking it would work. Like, hey. If anyone takes their hand, puts it on your chest like that, you just grab their fingers and pull them spread. Whoever presents their hand five fingers flat on your chest as part of a fighting move. Maybe a shirt grab like this, but my move wouldn't work on that. You know, yeah. I, I need to be the able idea, to. And now you have two hands on their one hand. The idea that you can grab my hand like that without me pulling it away real quick is a real. You're not trained as well. The, like, 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 like the if idea you ever try to I'd get like hand you know, fighting in general. Finger, or, uh, your ring and pinky in one and your index and middle in the other and spread them too wide. I'd have I, to let you though. I you'd have to grab. let me. But when you're in a room and 30 people are all buying this, <laughs> I halfway bought it too, you know, like it, <laughs> and it, we're doing like striking drills and stuff. And it was totally like, I let you hit me. Then you let me hit you. And we would like take turns almost. And uh, my instructor, my Sifu, said that um he had fought in the ufc now i was a, a ufc fan already and i was begging for like i want to see this footage i want to see how he did i wouldn't have even thought less of him if he lost mm -hmm. i thought i was impressed one that they let him fight and two that he had the courage to get in there and and you know see where he ranked but he was always really coy about giving me any information that would let me hunt down his fight and see the footage of it. And I never mm -hmm. did find it. And now I don't even know if I believe it. I, he might've yeah. just completely fabricated his UFC experience, yeah. but um, 
Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I once did a McDojo thing for a while for free. I saw like tangentially create uh, connected is you know the pistol disarm guys, the guy you know you yes. point the yeah. and they I'll take it away from you. So the guy who's got like the world record for that, I wish I could remember his name, but he was talking about how he got so good at it. He said it's so fucking dark. He's like when I was a kid, my father would put a gun to my head and he'd say, "You fuck up, you do this, you do that, I'll kill you." I'll kill you and I'll tell them you play with my gun and they'll believe me. Nothing will ever happen. And he, and he said, so I just grew up thinking someday I'll be able to take that gun away. <laughs> and so he said, when he does it, it's like, all right, dude, you, that's pretty fast. You you wouldn't want to get within arm's reach of this guy with your gun. Like, I'll shoot you from across the room, buddy, for sure. <laughs> what, a bizarre, what a bizarre origin story for that. But is it true? Out. No, I, there's no way chose, his dad was I holding a gun to it. his head every night. I, not every night, not every night, but he said it occurred. It's when Wednesday, was... son. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to scar you emotionally and turn you into a fucking weirdo as an adult. You're going to struggle to make relationships Judge my parenting. <laughs> I'm sorry, call... dad. I'll study harder. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, and you just don't no. tell anyone that for years? He said, if you tell anybody, I'll do it. That's re He's already holding a gun. This is so made up. <laughs> Everybody will believe I'm me. not going to call the disarm, the pistol disarmament champion a liar. I'm, I'm going to let you know that right now. I'll, I'll come at him with a sword. But he doesn't know champion, how to do that. Like, there's competitions. <laughs> I, I yeah, there must be competitions something. for disarming. It's probably it's named good. after him. It's a celebration <laughs> of his own excellence and everybody else's yeah. mediocrity. He's at, a 20-time uh, champion. The Every acceptance speech is the same. You see, Dad? No, all right, so I, I am not pathetic. a huge consumer of, like, fighting stuff, right? Boxing, okay. UFC, anything. But you seem to be. So who's on the hierarchy of toughness? Like, if there's no rules... And you put the best of all the disciplines together. Who runs away with it? All right. So, so the mm. idea suggests that there's like a wrestling champion that we would go to who who doesn't really know much about boxing, and then that we go get the heavyweight boxing champion who probably doesn't know much about wrestling or jujitsu. Mm -hmm. But the reality nowadays is that the the people who have risen to the top, and not just like the tippy top, but the top 10, top 20 guys in each weight division, even, and we're talking when we're talking men, they can mix it all quite well. There will be guys who come over from other, other disciplines, like Alex Perea is a good example. He's, a, I think, a kickboxing champion, and he's learned the, the other parts of the game and been able to transition right in because he's so good at kickboxing that he's laying people the fuck out. But so, so matchups are very important in the UFC. There are guys who are almost still one dimensional the way they were in the early nineties where it's like, Oh, take him down and whip his ass. Like, like you could go to a jujitsu gym or a wrestling like gym and like find a guy who could whip this guy's ass because he's, he's not well-rounded at all, but most of the best and most of the top 10 for sure are well-rounded guys in every discipline. And the roundedness is usually boxing and striking mixed together, you know, maybe 60, 40, 50, 50, something like that. You said boxing and striking, but Stri I, I Striking yeah. wrestling is what I meant to say. Yeah. So, so I agree with everything Kyle said. I also watch a lot of this. Um, but I feel like there is an answer, and it was answered in the 90s. Uh, before everyone became so well-rounded, people would go in there, and one guy was just a boxer. He was a boxer. He doesn't like, know like what the fuck to do. Suddenly, there's grappling. So he goes in there with one boxing glove so he can hit the, hard guy, hit the guy hard as he wants it, and one bare hand. So he can what hit him not as hard, maybe grab him and grapple. stuff. Because grapple, like people were going in there with um, a, it's called a gi. It's the karate pajamas mm -hmm. that you surely see. Um, some guys would go in there with a full gi because that's how they train and that's what Shoes. they do. Uh, now, I think a gi is legal, but nobody would wear them. It Shamrock wore his shoes. Yeah, yeah. Some guys wore some guys wore shoes. You could mm -hmm. wear shoes, but you couldn't yeah. kick if you had shoes. They didn't on. let Ken wear his. It's a whole oh. fucking debacle about how that yeah. whole thing was fixed. Oh, yeah, some lore mm -hmm. I think I didn't know. But um, uh, some guys would wear their karate pajamas. Some guys would just wear shorts. Um, board shorts were the old school thing, and then other guys moved to like tighter latex shorts, even fewer grips for your opponent to control you. But the answer is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu won back in the nineties. The BJJ guys beat everybody. If you didn't know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you didn't realize that you were giving your arms, your neck, your legs, and they would just bend a joint the wrong way or choke you and get the win. 
Uh, boxers, who I would have thought won, were like the lowest form of fighting. They were just completely unprepared well, happened, to defend themselves. They didn't understand the trap they were stepping into. Like what he said, you know, well we would phrased. we would yeah. close, and you would th- you would be this big guy who likes to punch people. And your dream is that I I trip maybe and fall on my back so you can get on top of me and really lay into me. That's your goal, really, is the ground and pound. To hit me, dizzy me, push me down, get on top and go to town. That's where I want you anyway. I want you right on top of me so I can put you in an arm bar or put you in a choke. And you're, go- you're going to be like, whoa, I'm feeling more pain in my elbow right now than I ever felt in my life. <laughs> and, he's, and, he's, and he's just starting. He's going to snap my arm in half unless I give up right now. And sometimes they... I've seen them break the arm and it's not like in the movies where it's like pow and everybody's like ah it's more like pop and you bet and nobody notices and the fight keeps going Sometimes. and the arms the arms wiggling around oh, yes. and, it, and and the and these guys are so tough dude's trying to fake like it ain't broke like it like his like his arm still works he's like yeah my shit's good fuck you let's go come on put put it in a sling i got what i got night. this one who's That's the 205 pound are. champ who won tough early on I have uh, Ken. It's not Ken Griffin. Well, What's his name? He's a white guy. Go- he beat Stephen Bonner. Uh, uh-uh. I can't. I don't know this lore. Ken Shamrock. Uh, <laughs> Forrest, Forrest Griffin. Down. Forrest Griffin. Uh, he before he was on tough. Some dude kicked his arm, like right in the bicep area, broke his bone, and uh, he just played it off like it wasn't broken and won the fight. Yeah. Oof. They're they're they're, they're, what they're made, the toughest uh, athletes. Uh, I believe that they are genuinely the toughest athletes because they are given um, more opportunities to be the toughest athletes. In the NFL, if you take a hit, they're not leaving that thoroughbred out, out there with any kind of a fucking contusion. Any other sport, your pitcher gets a callus or a blister. They're, oh, shit, what are we going to do? They will be out there with hematomas and broken bones. They'll let their corner know, my hands are broken. My, my left hand's broken. They're like, use your right, circle to the left. You know, <laughs> I, I, be like, I remember like my um, teeth are falling out. GSP was in me. the corner. He's like, I pulled my groin. And his coach was like, what? Who gives a fuck? Hit him with your groin. And I'm like, wait, you can't do that. But Pump okay. him. <laughs> Pump him into submission. And Kyle's right. Uh, to add to what Kyle said, um, I can't think of another sport that allows you to quit so easily. Like, like if you're playing football, baseball, I don't know, track, maybe track sounds a good example, but it's so easy to accept a loss, right? Anytime I want to, I can give you my back and you'll choke me out. It's right there. And uh, fighters do it without admitting they did it. But the like, Chael Sonnen has this thing about it. He's like, he's a fighter. Losing, they say losing is not an option. He's like, losing is always an option. It's right there. It's asking you to choose it. It's asking you to quit. Losing, quitting, these things are always just a heartbeat away you can do it anytime you want to it's up to you to decide not to lose and something about fighting mma like it's so easy to get out of there and to avoid what's happening and you know one round in two rounds in you probably know it's not your day that you're gonna lose this thing you're going out there for the third round and it's fucking awful you know i coming into this i thought i was gonna win 10 minutes later, it's clear that I'm not. Yet here we are for round three. I'm going to give it my best. And if you finish that fight, like you decided not to take the easy way out the whole way, it's the heart. It's why I like the sport more than anything else. But the bad side of that is what happened last week to Bobby Green. We had a bad (laughs) ref. And Bobby Green got KO'd three times in the matter of eight seconds. Like, like, he caught this real awkward fucking punch that knocked him out on his feet and he's dizzy and he hits the ground and the dude comes on top of him. Bang, 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 bang. You see him go wobbly, unconscious, fully this time, all the way knocked out. Bang, 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 bang. And you're and everyone who's the 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 commentators of ringside, the if you watch a streamer who watches this live, they're screaming, stop, stop. It's oh, like no. Rocky. It's like the the. It's like Rocky three when Apollo Creed's been being being beaten to death. And like like I said, <laughs> I put a link there. You can watch it and and like from from five different angles and various speeds. It's all the same like interaction that happened in the course of ten seconds. He lost years on his career. This is a thirty seven year old man, you know, trailing toward the end of his career. Who's been like a real good guy, like a tough fighter, a, a guy who always works for the company, and he got brained out there. 
brains. Dude, this ref was oh not on goodness. the ball. Any minute now, he'll stop it, Taylor. We're waiting. It's been three days. But I have a feeling he's going to stop it soon. I understand why Sean is not... Go ahead. Is that not an automatic? Like you stop someone from punching a man in the back of the head repeatedly? Is that not I, so in an ideal heads, world? So the strikes to the back of the head are technically illegal. He's hitting him in the ear, which is legal. the The verbiage is that uh, the ref is supposed to stop the fight if he if he sees that the man getting beaten is not um, intelligently, intelligently defending, defending himself. himself. Which is which is like some of this. You know, I'm shifting my head. I'm moving my hands. I'm letting you know that like. Dude, I'm in a fight right now. It ain't going well, but I'm in a fight. You know, then there's bang, 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 you know, which is what we're seeing there. And there's no excuse for that. Uh, that's that, that's awful. Wasn't it's Bobby sickening. Green being a total dick to somebody before in the lead up to the fight? The opposite of that. It, what oh, happened? Am he, I wrong? he got the art. Okay. Yes. He got the um, um, Artem Loboff treatment where a guy who's not even in his weight class showed up with a bunch of his Muslim goons and like, pushed him up against the wall and tried to pick a fight with him. And Bobby's like, why are there so many of you? What are y'all doing? And they jumped him and then like made fun of him on social media for running. And then Bobby Green shows up with his ninjas, quote unquote, and like popped one of the guys like buddies and like ran them off. Like Bobby Green's the cool dude in the room and getting treated like shit left and right. And that was hard to watch. I felt bad for him. He's not like one of my favorite fighters or anything, but he didn't deserve all that. Yeah, it's if you talk. So it's in the fight game. People use harsh words with each other. It's very normal. And uh, there are these like Muslim guys in Dagestan. They don't drink. Oftentimes they like still live with their parents and they don't say mean things. Like they're, they're outside of that culture. They treat each other with respect and they treat you with respect. So when you use mean words against them and then they see Bobby you said in the he was hotel boring. lobby, he said he was Bobby boring. Bobby tweeted about his fight, I think, and said it was a boring fight. And so yeah. that guy attacked him with a group of his friends. I, I've seen it with like a couple. That, these guys, they're like they're every bit as willing to fight as like the Nate Diaz crew, which probably means nothing to you, but they're they they're just like self styled gangsters from Southern California. Nate Diaz is so fucking rich. His kids got blonde fucking hair. He's pretending. <laughs> 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 you ever see a picture show me a picture of nate diaz is wannabe gangster ass with this please don't beat me up nate i know you're hard please show me <laughs> nate and his family nate nate's so real he would like beat me up saying that nate kyle in private says he can take you <laughs> i saw nate choke a guy out in mardi gras for like barely a reason right yeah he, he guillotined this motherfucker and like dropped him like it was hot like you can let people down from those and like put yeah, him asleep, yeah. like a baby he, he he put him in like a imagine like an upside down kind of headlock thing, lifted him up, and you're unconscious. From here, you hit the floor, just like dropped him. Like it, I, I want to see, see him his and his family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a he's got a wife, beautiful young lady, and uh, and two, uh, two two pretty children. I like that and, guy. He and millions. I was going to say he has a wife, oh, two yeah. kids, and millions. Yeah, yeah. No, but I hope he like, got paid it, well for it, the it, boxing. In football today, you know, we're kind of in this like post concussion era, like we're mm -hmm. trying to say football's safe and it's okay for middle school kids to play and all this stuff. But like, th we're finding that, you know, uh, you know, mental issues, suicide, all these things are huge, huge risks from a long term career playing football. What is the expectation of late life for a UFC fighter? It depends. Um, We've seen some guys at the end of their career really go into alcoholism. It, it seems like those things go hand in hand, like something about the, the trauma of CTE and that, and that syndrome or whatever it technically is really feeds into alcoholism. Guys like BJ Penn, who many people would consider him like the GOAT. He's like this pioneer at the lightweight division before there was a fucking lightweight division. Um, and just, just a Hawaiian hero. And uh, you know, as of late, he's a drunk who gets choked out and a conspiracy theorist who says that CTE and concussions are fake, just like the vaccine, y'all. You know, <laughs> it's a big conspiracy to keep you down. Like, I'm coming back to be the champion. And it's like, bro, you're 44 or something, man. Like, like you got beat up outside a bar not too long ago. You need to chill. You know, you, and you see a guy like Tony Ferguson, who's who's been... Chuck Liddell. Oh, Chuck Liddell. Again, alcoholism and cocaine use with him. It, it's so funny. They catch him on camera at the event. You know, they put the camera around to celebrities, and there's Chuck... <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking getting cocaine off his fucking nose. Like he just took a bump. Uh, <laughs> it's so, and, and he's like, oh, it's fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck Liddell <laughs> up on the big jumbo tron with his coke oh nose. Uh, yeah, it's the answer. So, I would say, in my opinion, is that we're going to see a lot of our heroes really fall in the next 25, 30 years. When maybe Peyton, Ma what if Peyton Manning all of a sudden, you know, like, like got some sort of aphasia or something like that? Like, like somebody who's out there in the forefront that everybody loves got to get his own show with his brother. What if, like, because I, I don't think it takes that career of necessarily concussion, concussion, concussion. I think those little hits pile up over time. Yeah. From all the that practice squad shit you did when you were fourteen, when you when you didn't drink water and you went hard and hit those pads so hard that day. Brett Favre. I think all that adds up cumulatively. Maybe and that's the guys. reason Brett Favre did that to those kids. Because don't you so cut Favre no slack. He did that to those so, kids of, of his of his own free mind and free MMA will. guys would tell mind. you. That Team their CTE farm. issues are not as bad. And their reasoning okay. goes like this. In boxing, they have bigger, thicker gloves, and they have lots of stoppages, right? Like it, it, There's a lot of ways to take a break in a boxing match, which means that you can take some damage, bounce back a little, take some damage, bounce back a little. And you do that literally like 100 times in a fight. In MMA, there's no recovery. Like it, it, they even do shark in the water drills. If, if you're a little bit doozy or woozy, I should say, they follow you down and they, you know, they just beat you senseless, even though they're tired. This is what they practice. So while it's brutal, and we just saw how brutal it was privately, MMA guys would tell you that you know what? It only happens once. We we don't go to the edge and recover a hundred times in a night like a boxer does. We get knocked out one time and then the fight ends. I don't know if they're on to something or not. I, yeah, I think they are to some extent, but I, you know, I, it's it's not like it's safe. It's not. It, this is the safe <laughs> way to get punched in the skull. That, like, right. like you see enough. Uh, go back and watch Leon Edwards uh, kicking uh, Usman in the head, and his head turning, looking like it was heading toward the moon. Go back and look at Tony Ferguson getting head kicked by Michael Chandler, and you can visualize the G forces being exerted on his facial tissue. He's like, like he's in a fucking uh, G force machine in the Air Force. That's the kind of shit that makes you so you don't know where your keys are in the next ten years. That's some crazy brain damage. Hmm. That's and my... all those NFL guys are eating it, but at least they're eating it for like lifetime generational money. He's got there's some guys doing it for 15 grand a show and 15 more if you win. My box is like coach, a, there's we a lot only of instances did... of the of former NHL enforcers like having issues with that later in life, like substance abuse, suicide, like. It, it checks out like they're not getting hit in the head nearly as much as those other guys. I mean, they're hitting their head with hits and everything, but yeah, CTE's got to fucking suck. And BJ Penn's wrong. It's definitely real. I'd argue with him on that. And You'd win. like, you got to think of the perfect storm. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's bad at debating. <laughs> I would, I'd have to argue with him online because he'd kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you might outrun him at this point. He's... <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> no, I changed my mind. I won't say it. All right. Trivia I time, trust too? your instincts. No, I was going to tell you, you'd look like Omni-Man if you shaved the beard and just had the mustache. I even posted a picture of Omni-Man earlier because I know you got that. You got the thing real tight on the side, got a little gray over there. That's the Omni-Man look. Is it? Mustache, same, yeah, with that haircut, yeah. And do do just a mustache? Just yeah, the but mustache. this is doing so much of the heavy lifting in <laughs> in in making me less ugly. Like That's, <laughs> that's really what you need. That's right. I want to do Woody's trivia to answer your questions. That whenever we get to it, I, I'm 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 just. I think you're overhyping it. I, if, if the questions are that get hyped, everybody. Woody has been spending all week working on Woody's. <laughs> well, hold on. Is this trivia is, uh, extravaganza? Is the is the Woody trivia <laughs> trivia we'd want to do with Ed, or do we want to do the regular trivia with Ed? Oh, I'm not we'll sure do, if they. I want Ed'll do fine. There's nothing. Okay. I, yeah. I wasn't sure. All right, Ed. Do you have a a piece of paper that you could write answers on? Or a whiteboard yes. or something. Or a whiteboard. We don't that, want your I don't know that I've got a previous mind changing answers afterwards. Yes, we have a very good system where it's please <laughs> don't erase it and write something else <laughs> when we're doing the answers. What are you doing? Ed, Kyle, use your whiteboard. Ed, can you currently hear me? I genuinely can't find it. You lost it? Where'd you I've put it other than in that room? The dog picks my things up and hides them, and I'm not even kidding. I've gone through so I I have I had expensive <laughs> flip flops. Like, like I, and, and they're all gone. Like I have one of each, and he always—I know he doesn't do it on purpose, but just flip a coin. He ticked all the left ones. 
So like, <laughs> <laughs> he took all the left ones. And I don't know what he does with them. I think he takes them way off in the woods. Toby, got, it's like, Toby that's doing this. Yes, Toby's a motherfucker. I that's the coolest dog I've ever had. Very good. Yeah. Boom, looking fantastic. So, uh, love- which trivia are we doing first? Uh, I think right. we're gonna do. Hey, Chiz, I think we're doing. Are we doing Woody's trivia first? I think let Woody's me, trivia is pretty short. Let me yeah. run to the bathroom because I feel like this is gonna. Once we kick into trivia, I don't want to be like stepping away. That's fair. That would ruin just- the integrity of the game. You'd be stepping away. I'd say he's googling. He's googling, and then. People would, he'd say, there's no way I could have known the questions to Google, but I would never let it go, and the comments would also get wow. onto them. <laughs> Check out my badass board here. Ready? Oh, wow. Uh, now, that doesn't have internet access, does it? Is it's that a, a Zoom? What is that? It's a boogie board. Uh, it's like a, yeah, my kids have them now. They love them. It's like this little scribble pad. It's, uh, it's a great thing yeah. for the car. My son, it, even though he's technically not homeschooled anymore because he's 20, I have a special needs son. He still does, like, he meets with tutors, he has a reading coat, stuff like that, and he uses the boogie board. But tonight, I do. Now it's your boogie board. Excellent. Time to fill it up with correct answers. Now, I'm not much for trivia, I'll be honest. I'm a used car salesman. I just talk the wrong answer into being right. That's kind of my thing. So I have modified some of this week's game to accommodate someone with your knowledge base, Ed. <laughs> no, that's bad for me. <laughs> that raises the stakes even higher. <laughs> I mean, there was a big I'm what am I? I'm I'm like Georgia right now. I'm two and oh, and I'm looking for a dynasty. But will I be eliminated by the treacherous Alabama in the form of one of you? We'll see. Tune in to find out. A lot of the, I mean, a lot of the questions are silly in that I think I really stormed away with last time's <clears throat> trivia because I happened to know some characters in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a flaw in that <laughs> that I'm not making. Like I have a question that says name as many X as you can. One point for whoever gets the most. Okay. There's, yeah, it's not going to be a 13 point question. Uh, just to be clear, you didn't win the last one. You misspelled the name of the of the final question. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's in the record books, isn't it? It's already. I'm pretty sure I protest. It's one. already signed, sealed, and delivered. You just won a loser. This is like one of those loser. PayPal transactions. You're going to pay a thirty. Look at him. They call him. They call him Loser Kyle. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he doesn't know the answers. He's bitter at his friend. Is I knew the Taylor. answer. I mis- I spelled it correctly. Salvador Dali, not Salvatore Dali. He can't even be happy. Salvatore Dali. If, you think Alex Trebek, God rest his great Canadian soul, would have allowed you to get right past him? Spelling does not Dali. matter in Final Jeopardy. Doesn't, that actually ah! is ruling. Yes, that's the commission. Okay, Excellent well, job, congratulations, Kamish. you won. Hmm. All right. All right. The category is the same for every question. Shit really <laughs> wouldn't know. So, are you smarter than a gamer tag? These are all things that I know. Okay. Convert 200 liters to gallons. Go ahead. Let's oh, go. Shit. oh, okay. It's at is least it, is it, 10. Do we get credit uh, if we're close? Like, like, is it close? Yeah, I'm actually going to give a point to whoever comes closest. Okay. If this is where we're starting, I, I, I don't like this. <laughs> Are you playing Chiz? Uh, I'll type some answers, but for this one, I don't want any accusations, okay. so I'm not going to partake uh, in this. I'm I'm worried this is gonna be a really dumb answer. Do we all have our answers? Yeah. I said what'd you get? 80? Oh, I put 25. (laughs) It's 52. So Ed has the first point. Zach, can you do the scorekeeping? For the record, my guess would have been 400. I went in the opposite direction. (laughs) 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 Thank you. Thanks for bailing me out on that. There's only (laughs) 10 questions. (laughs) Let's go to the next one. What is the name of the old dude in Walking Dead that had the RV season one? Holy oh. shit. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm glad you like it. They're yeah. All things I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The old, the old dude in Walking Dead. This is like I the rat- ratchety looking I, guy, right? I mm-hmm. feel strongly that it's that it's um um it's like pete or like dave it's like a one syllable thing it's not like jonathan or something like that you know what i mean like i feel strong you know it, it's like no but no, okay if it's something like I'm that gonna... i'm on the right track with my like they... old man name all right i'm I, I, i'm done uh, they all right, all right, go in georgia you should know this is I it know. ed Doctor, D- it's Dale. None of you get any points. Oh, Dale. Dale was close. That's better. Taylor got the first letter. 
I, I what does this formula I'll take do? The eighth of a point. Uh, confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it does. All right. Four pi r squared. I have a guess on this. Okay. I'm done. Is everybody done? Yeah. No, oh, I'm sorry. No. It's me. okay. Okay. I don't want to lose any points. It's four times the area of a circle. But what? Four times the area of a circle. Okay. Uh, I said the volume of a sphere. I said a volume of a sphere. You're all wrong. It's the area of a sphere. Oh, well, that's what I thought because the formula is just pi r squared. So, <laughs> all Damn. right. All right, next. next. <laughs> We're not doing good. I love this. No, Dude, anymore. I would kill at this thing. <laughs> Give me the full name of as many senators as you can. Yeah, I actually wrote spelling as judges call. Because well, you're the judge, and you came up with the question. Well, but but Zach wrote spelling counts. So I, oh, okay. You know, like if you spelled a, an S instead of a Z or something, I, I'd let it slide. It just needs to be recognizable. All right, who's the fucking uh, who's the eye patch guy? <laughs> oh wait, I remember his I think name. He's a- isn't he in the house anyway? I wasn't going to give him that hint, but yeah, that's Dan. I'm trying. I got I to I pad these numbers a bit. <laughs> so he's yeah. going on the there. list. I think um, I'm at four in my head. So okay, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm there, Kyle. Uh, I think we'll do maybe as many senators as you can in a minute, something like that. I'll do give you guys a minute from now. Okay. Now give us thirty seconds. Put us to the to the grindstone. Mm-hmm. Kyle, I'll trade you one for one. You know any? Oh shit! One of mine died just recently. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh this is hers. We should ask that. Would he, this is the question? Senators. Period. Because it doesn't say current senators. It, yeah, it's current I'm, senators. It, okay, I'm with Kyle. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just looking for senators. clarification. I wasn't the one thinking that way. I, I thought. Someone else might be dubious in that way. And to be clear, the winner gets a point. This isn't going to be an opportunity <laughs> for someone to get. Oh, well, points. then I have three. Okay. And I, I, I said AOC, Warren Hatch, and Lindsey Graham, and I'm not confident in any of those being good. Wow. <laughs> uh, is Warren Hatch a senator? Probably not. Warren Elizabeth Hatch. Warren. Very senatorial name. That's a good guess. Yeah, it sounds like a guy who knows his uh, business. Oh, also one of the Kennedys in AOC. I, this is not my game. <laughs> wow, I don't know who who. Oh, Jesus, these, Taylor. Who are. Okay, C Span, let's go. Wait, is it, is it, <laughs> tell me who of these are not senators? Lindsey Graham, uh-huh. Dan Crenshaw, Chuck Taylor Schumer, gets the point. Pelosi. Pelosi. Yes. Pelosi's, Pelosi's not, not a senator. Fine. Yeah, she's, she's not a senator anymore. How did nobody get Bernie Sanders? Eight. Yeah, I know. He has one, two, three. And Tom Cotton, I need to look that one up. I may have made that up. I don't know. I, I may have made well, Tom to Charles Cotton. Cotton's the senator. Oh, boom. Yeah, where's he from? Arkansas, looks like. Not feeling so foolish about 25 gallons anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. All right, all right. So that one was, was that one Taylor's? Did Taylor get it? Yeah. Okay. All right, what's this? Amps exactly. times volts equals power. It's dangerous. All right. I think I, my guess is it. All right. What do you guys got? I got wattage. Right. I put watts. Hertz. Watts. I'm going to count. I don't, is wattage the same thing as watts? I think it might be a synonym. Watts is I'm going to count unit. wattage. That'll work. Watts is um, the unit for current, is what Ed just said. I trust him. I believe that's right. But I, I, I think it might be right, too. I just don't. Amps times volts equals current. All right, Lifeline. Or Woody's watts. brother. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Woody's brother, the electrician. Get, definitely get one point now. All right. The we're current all... equals watts divided by voltage. So I'm going to say current's wrong based on what I Googled. Um, um, I'll accept being wrong on that. <laughs> what is the Minecraft recipe for diamond? Sword? Oh, here we go, baby. I knew I just had to wait. <laughs> yeah, Cheese will know this. I don't know. Uh, you guys have you guys have nothing, right? 
I've never played the game. Except I played with you a couple times when you, uh, know, you were doing like events or whatever. Thank but you. That was PvP to like hop around lily pads and stuff and sword fight with Colin. So I don't know what I and, and I I know I had a diamond sword. I remember that. <laughs> Is it colon fire diamond cube times three stick? And Kyle, you have nothing. All right, no one gets any points for this. <laughs> Friendship with Woody. <laughs> 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 it's okay. How many felony felony counts are currently pending against Trump? Uh, what he did make this game. game. Of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, every question is <laughs> I know. Is this closest wins? Uh, yeah. Price is right. <laughs> 25. Kyle has 32. Is that what that says? It is. I'm going with 73. 35. The answer is 91. So take yes. Holy oh. fucking oh. shit. <laughs> He's going to beat it. Big. He gets yeah. steak knives at 100. <laughs> <laughs> I may be, I may be going. I Hey, they just make him the president after around 100. To, uh, <laughs> yeah. When is the last time a Republican face. president got more votes? Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, Ooh, I think Kyle, Kyle's confidence is encouraging. It's I guess. more than 20. The answer I'm looking for is it'll be a year. Yeah. Oh, the year? Can I shout I mine out? say when. I, I mean, Can I just say the the the, the president? No, because the year matters. Oh, does it? I don't fucking know. Do you, you see the clue that that was just provided to you, though, right? It's 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 got to be someone who served twice. Yeah, well, then I'm erasing HW. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going old Ronnie. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna stick with mine. I also said Reagan. I'm going. I drew, a, I drew a line through it, but I'm like writing it again right below it. I, I'm going mm -hmm. as well. 2004. Ed, Sorry, Ed. What was your guess? It was 92. Was right. No. It's 04. Yeah. W got yes. more votes on re-election versus Kerry. Oh no, yeah. Nice. Nobody liked Kerry. That was my second guess because I yeah. was just riding high from that 9/11 fever, baby. Gotcha. I guess that yeah, would have been my yeah. third guess because HW was. That's where we ruled it. Who out. is the back-to-back -back NBA scoring leader? I've said it like seven times on this show. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, is he is he white, ish? Be serious. He's the NBA <laughs> scoring leader. <laughs> oh, well, I, was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna put that Jokic. That I was you gonna got put that Jokic, Jokic guy or whatever the fuck. Like, like, bad he's the, the goat right now, but I'm not. I mean, all right, well, I'm not. How about a decade? How about so oh, current? The current back to back. Um, oh, it? current active. It's not LeBron James. He's like forty. But I said. He, uh, problem is, I don't I know. I said Embiid, and that's just me sounding out a name that I've heard from basketball. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Well, they usually spell phonetically, so it's not hard. You wrote curry? Okay. Doesn't it have like two I's and a D in it? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it's a D at the end. Is that All right? right? I, I'm going to give it to Kyle and Taylor, but I'm impressed that Taylor got both eyes. You know what? Was it's it really? Taylor. Of course he did. Oh, well, yeah, he nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. All right. This is my last question. What is the most popular porn search term? Stuck washing machine. Oh, <laughs> just stuck <laughs> washing machine. Sorry. Uh, okay. The most popular porn. Kyle, what does that say? That's amateur. backwards. You say manager? I say amateur. Amateur. Okay. Oh. Amateur. That would really? be my guess. Ed, what's your guess? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Threesome. How about that? It's gotta be like stepmom or something, right? I was incest was my second answer. No, you know, I would have guessed incest because oh my god, it's everywhere. But it is oh, lesbian. It's the most oh, those people are from the 90s. Oh. It's from 2022. This no, year's I'm results just... are not in, but god yeah. damn you, India. I'm just it's saying they just go more flavorful. <laughs> god damn more you, India. They <laughs> ruined it <laughs> perf. Oh, you I am so very excited to beat off to sexy women. <laughs> fucking boob and vagine is fucking second oh, most popular search. Damn I am it, right. oh, oh wow. Every they, time I see I, Indian. None of us are smarter it's, than you, Woody. It's like not at my questions, though. No. <laughs> All right. That was honestly some of the toughest trivia I've ever seen. That was that, hard. You, that was that was a good game. Was I that? Did I, get three, 
I think I got three by the end, right? Yeah, I'm being dead serious. I knew NBA scoring leader in Minecraft sword. I feel like a retard right now. <laughs> you won the Woody Cup, Taylor. I won the Woody Cup. I can't uh. be stopped. I can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good at trivia. Even shit only what he knows. Yeah, that's what did, he, what did he get? Oh, it was the senators that I, I just didn't have time for that. I'm that was I just question. listed all the pol- political names I was thinking of. I can't believe yeah. I only have Bernie. Oh, I'm is he? Just, he's alive, yeah. isn't he? Good for him. Bernie Sanders, yeah, he's a yeah. Feinstein leader. died. Still there, still cold. Yeah. I would have accepted Pocahontas, but no one wrote it. Yeah, I said Elizabeth Warren too. Those are <laughs> the only two I can name. Oh shit, she's still about. Yes, she mm-hmm. is. All right, good warm up trivia. Good little warm up win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know if this is your week, Taylor. Uh, <laughs> no, everybody. Uh, uh, log into the buzzer thing. I, th- I got uh, Zach. Uh, I got Ed, I, I got I, Woody. I, just just yeah. so the viewers know, this is set up. Like we we practiced this before the show. It's set up for Taylor to win. <laughs> we script these. It's rigged. Yeah. Where's the uh, Where's the link? Watch. Zach, can you uh, post it again and give them the oh, code? Buzzin. There it is. Sorry. I I, I would have to scroll up. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Uh, Ed, are you on the page of uh, the buzzing page? I have a yeah, button he's here. that says locked right now. Does that yeah. mean that it, he yep. unlocks it because I click it all the time? <laughs> no, so, Kyle uh, started that trend first. <laughs> um, you also I am I, an innovator. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks the rules, boys. All right, I think I got everybody. All right, so how this will work is uh, I will read the question, and when I complete reading the question, Anyone can buzz in, and then I will call on you, and you will give your answer. Okay? Very mm-hmm. simple. We'll do those questions. Then we'll go to the whiteboard questions or pen and paper questions at the end, Then there'll be a final question. Now, Woody, you brought this up in your game, and I had already brought it up a while. Things are out of whack. So the regular questions will be worth, for this week, two points for every question. So, Zach, keep track of that. When we get to the whiteboard multiple choice questions, those will be worth one point apiece you know, in the varying list or name these type things. Okay. So that way it should even out a little more so that somebody can't pull a, a tailor and just know Yu-Gi-Oh and wipe out all the history and and stuff. And absolutely storm through the village. Dominating with my Yu-Gi-Oh. Pillaging, um, raping. Yeah, I think the game was won and lost on the final question both both nights. So true. Well, if it's very competitive. Question, like, no, it was. I only won. If the you go into the final question with much. a big lead or something, then it, it, it's a big advantage because you choose how many points you bet. Oh, you bet on the last. Okay. It's like final. Yeah, Jeopardy. it's Jeopardy. Yeah, just, yeah, I bet um, all my points even though I was in the lead and lost them all the first time. Or at least maybe was maybe Woody was in the lead. Maybe he had like twenty two and I had twenty one or twenty or something. But, but and then the like, second time I knew it, but didn't risk any points. I I risked zero points and knew the answer. <laughs> All right, let's kick this off. This is a big deal. It's a huge deal. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I've never won, but in spirit, I won this shit. Would if I lose spirit. tonight, though, who cares? Yeah, you dominated. Right. So. Uh, Pay no attention to a lot of the naming conventions for some of these. Uh, shit didn't save. So just pick a pick a box, and we'll go with that. Uh, Ed Taylor, you have one back-to-back in Woody's Cup right now. So uh, go ahead and Film. kick it off. Let's, let's go. Film. All right, remember, I need to read the question. When I'm done, you can buzz in, okay? Okay. In Dr. No, Thunderball, and Goldeneye, not Casino Royale, funnily enough, James Bond likes to live dangerously. That includes playing this casino game. Woody. Baccarat. The answer is, in fact, Baccarat. Ah, I wouldn't have guessed that. I didn't know. I don't know what that is. Yes. It, and it was all Baccarat. Here? <laughs> and he'll wager everything. All right. Uh, Woody, <laughs> the board is yours. 90s tunes. No, we're not stuttering. We're just looking for the double talk name of the sister from Dexter's laboratory. Ed. Dee Dee? Oh. It is in fact Dee Dee and Ed. Our first guest is on the board. Devastating. Ed, you're bored. We'll just go next to more tunes. Who were, or what were, the fourth wall breaking Warner Brothers cartoon characters that, with the help of Steven Spielberg, brought adult comedy and child education to the masses? Taylor. Animaniacs. God damn it. 
The answer is Animaniacs. Yes. Do you like Animaniacs? I love Animaniacs. <laughs> I don't like Animaniacs. Uh, more, uh, Ditto great. 3. Hit us with Ditto 3. Ditto 3 it is. Sugar, spice, and everything nice makes for a hell of a cocktail, but accidentally spilling Chemical X into the mixture, you'll end up getting these badass bundles instead. Taylor. Powerpuff Girls. It is, in fact, the Powerpuff Girls. We have got some cartoons on the board. Yes. Mm. Big man. Big man. Who is the only person to have become and served as president of the United States without having ever won a general election for president or vice president? Woody. Is it Gerald Ford? I don't know, but it is, in fact, Gerald Ford. Oh. Yes, he took over for Nixon and then never won. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well, uh, we're just going to... <laughs> I'm going to clear the buzzers. Uh, well, how's there again? How do snakes smell? Yeah, well, they, they taste the air with their tongues, right? <sighs> yes, their tongues. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. I won the first click. I wanted that. Woody click. got the first one. And it was Kyle nice to win a click. I, won, I, won, the, the, the I click. won the click, and she was like, eh, let's start over. The reset. Well, I had to reset the buzzers for the fucked up. Excellent job, Commissioner. <laughs> this thing's so rigged again. Let's do cartoons while Woody was 27. In this category. <laughs> Woody, Woody, I wasn't shit either. Woody, I was in the 90s. An adult job. What is happening? I was an accountant in the 90s. I didn't watch how, Powerpuff Girls. How old were you when you watched One Punch Man? <laughs> 40 oh, it's a different. I, I didn't watch any of it. I don't know what Dexter's Lab is. I couldn't draw you a picture of Dexter. What? You're only five years older than us, and it's the 90s. I have time for cartoons. Who's busy hey, watching every kids movie. with hammers? All right, it's Kyle's board. We're going, to move. We're going. Uh, going to movie, movie lore. lore. Fuck. The Ents in the Lord of the Rings are a dying race, not able to reproduce because the female Ents and wives are not with them anymore. What happened to them? Jesus no one Christ. Knows. Uh, Taylor, you were first to buzz in. Yeah, they left. They wandered away, and now they don't know where they are. That's correct. They simply left the Ents. Oh, that's supposed to say got tired of them. They got yeah. They just left. They went to the Brownlands and disappeared. Well, they never said they were like mad Detroit. at Treebeard and his gang. Just that they left. Well, I mean, it's implied them. they left. You know, they they fucked off. Yeah. <laughs> Poor ends. Treebeard says they left them. They they lost them. Right. All right. Let's yeah, hit they, hit us with TV lore. Clicking so fast. All right. I am too. I'm clicking. Click, click, click. click. Fucking nonsense. I'm gonna get a new keyboard. Where can I find me some dilithium crystals, Woody? Star Trek. Can you the be a little space, more specific? They mine them. <laughs> Kyle knows. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. What do you will get it unless Kyle gives me a more specific answer? I'm looking for. Where specifically well, are they? The, what are they? Well, in the engine room, they, they they're they're what powered the ship. They're they're what they use to. to gonna need more than the work field. <laughs> what was that last part you said? Pilot. They're in the dilithium containment field. Like, like I, I don't know. There's a little. All right. Since these the are worth two points a piece, we're just going to split the point in half between Woody and Kyle. A point a piece. What, what did you want? The warp drive. Oh, oh. okay. Because you were saying so, engine room. So I, you know, and, uh, you know, they, they are I, using I it. I thought you were looking drive. for where they were I, found. Like, it's like, where do you find gasoline? Oh, in the gas tank. Well, you know, I did okay. say more. I, I gave you a right. You were Star Trek, but I did say more specifically where. And you would both get one point. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you prefer no points and Kyle get both of them? I mean, <laughs> you think you're that balls, would be more fair. I said the warp Solomon. I said, I said the bad thing. You didn't. Uh, I didn't I hear did. that. I heard engine room. Rewind it back. You'll see. You'll hear me say. Warp I did warp ask repeat. Warp I never heard warp drive on the second repeat. We anyway, we're this. going. I never we're going. It. We recorded it for a reason. The reigning <laughs> three time champ said he didn't hear it. So we're just going to go on to the category of what is labeled bad, bad movie. <laughs> Red, blue, green kryptonite all caused different things to happen to Superman. But introduced in 2003, yes, that recently, what does pink kryptonite do to Superman? Woody. Makes him horny. That is incorrect. Taylor, oh, you were next. I want that to be true. It makes him gay. Fuck! Oh, 
was clicking so fast. <laughs> yes, I've never I, watched I Superman. I should get a point for this. <laughs> yes. No, because oh. the correct answer is turns Kryptonians into homosexuals. Makes them gay. Pretty on Make target. Makes him go. Kyle, I'm sorry you were third on the bus. And it was, I, was, I was going, <laughs> me too. Oh I'm gonna use both fingers like a paintball gun. <laughs> yeah, you're just <laughs> rapid firing. Gommel. As you can see, Ed, this isn't relevant trivia. <laughs> this is right. yeah, save the world stuff hey, right here. <laughs> trivia yeah. is in the name. All right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it is true. Right. On to super, super we go. As things got mislabeled. What is the name of the spaceship you begin the first Halo game on? The one which escaped with Master Chief on board after the Covenant race attacked Planet Reach. Oh, oh this is the opposite of the it. last one. The first it's, uh, Kyle. It's it's the, the Warthog. It's the something dawn. It's the something dawn. It's it the is the morning. something something. Yeah, it's um I, I I that's my guess. The dawn. Woody. I'm going to piggyback on Kyle's answer and say something Dawn, because he did it to me. Okay, that's the wrong word, but I'll... <laughs> your hint is that a you season the mines. is... Here, here's the hint. A season is in the name of the ship. Spring Dawn. Autumn Mist. The winter... <laughs> Kyle, you want to do no, a one no, the, the autumn, the autumn, uh, the, autumn dawn. the autumn Dawn. The Autumn Dawn. Well, you got the right. Ed got the right word. It is, in fact, the pillar of autumn. There is no t- pillar no, of autumn. Taking the point. What? Taking the point. No, no, there will be no point. I'm just saying. <laughs> there will be no point. There will be no point. I've appropriated the point. <laughs> I agree. Throw a point on there, Fred. <laughs> you get a smiley face, and you'll be happy. Rando, with this. Or I guess I'd uh, uh, wear it. If uh, I no, we did, we just did gaming, right? We didn't do right. gaming. Who knows? Oh, I thought that was the Halo. They're mislabeled. <laughs> Uh-oh. If you don't stop and look both ways, you just might die. This actor famously killed a mother and daughter after having a head-on collision with them in Northern Ireland. Facing five years in prison, they got bumped down to careless driving at a $175 fee. Taylor. Yeah, Colin Farrell. That Matthew is Roderick. Uh, sir, you've spoken out of turn. You were next, but I will call upon you so there's not an incident. <laughs> Fucking no, game no, master. No, wait, 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 call on me. I think I know it. No, no, Kyle gets it. I'm just saying <laughs> you might have screwed. Wrong thing. I'm next in line. I said Matthew Broderick. Mueller. Oh, do you see? Point. Move on. Do you see that? Thing. I can't see <laughs> what you <laughs> see. Do you see that you're next in line on the yes. buzzer thing? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, okay yeah, then. Yeah, then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, then fuck that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. You said Colin Farrell. I don't. I just guessed. I thought he was Irish, and I thought. Yeah. I didn't know. It was a good guess. Yeah. No. Whatever the next thing is, I pick that. Yep. We these microscopic intelligent life forms were introduced to a pre existing film franchise, taking away the mystic magic that anyone could be special and instead showcasing you had to be born with this crap in your system to be one of these mystic monks. Fuck. Woody Mitochlorian, something close Give it to, to that. him, yeah. Well, Midichlorians. Get, Midichlorians, it is Midichlorians. <sighs> It's the one Star Wars trivia I would know. For people, it, it is Star Wars, yeah. It's yeah. what it takes to be a Jedi. Your midichlorian count in your blood. Uh, but not used anymore. To, like, early in the show, you, you could like study and become a Jedi, and then it became this, like, your midichlorian count is high. And that crushed my hope of ever becoming one. Yeah, they really did away with the whole magic part of, oh, I believe in the Force, and that's like, no, you need to have this in your blood. Yeah, <laughs> but if I take nine pills a day... <laughs> if you take nine pills, you can boost your midichlorian count. You're be uh, throwing midichlorian all over the place. All right. I, on to, I'll on to the Wii. Wii. Yes, good choice. <laughs> In this multiplayer game variant of Magic the Gathering, you pick a single hero slash legendary creature and build a deck around them. Their color and abilities using only 100 cards. Kyle. Commander. That is, in fact, correct. Kyle nails the MTG question while Taylor face palms very hard. Taylor, oh my god, stop. how did you get faster than me? Are you that's are what you, Kyle's been thinking this whole time? <laughs> I'm just clicking as fast as I can. I've been complaining the whole game. You lose one and you're like face palming. <laughs> yeah, because it's about I I'm set. Oh, it doesn't feel good to lose one that you that's the whole <laughs> <laughs> move along. Next fucking Didn't. one. You, next fucking one. Which UFC fighter has the most title fight wins? And I will say bonus guess. We'll do this as a second part of the question. First, I want the first part. Woody. It's got to be John Jones. He's been doing title fights for 10 years now. 
That is correct. It is John Jones. Now, Fuck. Woody, you are supposed to answer. That was so. Why did I say it like that? That was a slur. I'm having a stroke. Uh, bonus point. If you um, can guess the number, you, you get within one point. I'll give you. I'll throw 10 up there. Okay, Kyle. It's not 16, is it? Taylor. 12. And Ed. Eight. <laughs> I'll get it. It's 15. <laughs> it's, it's 15. So got oh, it within one. So Ed, we were so close. One point to Kyle, <laughs> and Woody gets the two for John Jones. All right. Damn. That's fair. That's a fair allegation. That's point. fair. Tough. I still have my fair. point for Autumn. Yeah, you, no, no, you no that was a smiley time. face. He'll take nope. it and accept it. Uh, continue <laughs> with the category, whoever's in charge of it. I, I'm sorry. I'm not. Save, I think. It's, it's, I think we're on Woody's. save. I think it's prop. No, it's yeah, Woody got it. What was the name of the first YouTube video ever? God damn it. All right. Damn well, the it, answer's I knew there. that one. The answer's there, so... Just gonna skip that. Uh, so so I'm no, I was clicking like crazy. I was so it was in yeah, the, the question. Was that was on Reddit <laughs> this week. I watched was it. it. Was me at the zoo. I watched it this week too. Oh, oh, really? it it did yeah. you yeah. guys know that though before being refreshed on it? I yeah. wonder yeah. about the name. Yeah. I would have. I, I would have said. I would have said at the zoo <laughs> would have been my answer. Okay. Or, yeah. Wow. You would have been wow. wrong. What a student of the craft we have here. Student of the craft. It's unfortunately me at the zoo. All right, let's see if there's any more fuck ups. <laughs> While he's not drown, wow, I'm having a stroke. While he's not down at the university, you can find this guy at your park's basketball court, like he did back in the day on the And One mixtape tour. Woody, the professor. Professor, it is in fact, the professor. I don't know I what that know is. I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> guess Shaq because I knew he got a business degree or something. I was <laughs> I was hoping it was uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce? Was that a basketball? Head, yeah. The machine. All Take right. us to the multiple choice. Let's go to Stu. Well, there is no multiple choice. Oh, you guys need to big brain it up. I thought these. Okay. While it may be stored in the gallbladder, please tell me which part of the body or organ actually produces bile. Taylor. Pancreas. That is incorrect. Woody. The appendix. The worthless part of the body that we cut out. That is incorrect. <laughs> No. no, the liver. I'm next. Oh. Yep, that is correct. Thanks. It is the liver. Yeah. So you and need to remember back to that X Files episode called <laughs> "Shy." I think it's "Shy Guy" or something like that, or "Too Shy," where he eats the livers and he creates that nest of bile and newspaper clippings. It's real good. Hmm. Bile. Mm. Damn. I'll continue the that category. Sounds good. Team yeah. Tables yeah. falling apart here. Uh, yeah. What is the unique winning chant popularized last year by a previously failing NBA organization that culminates in all nearby pilots needing to wear their aviators even while flying at night? Woody. Light the beam. <laughs> Light the beam! <laughs> oh. that's, that's, that's not cringy. That's actually pretty There has to be a I dumb thought, question gonna, in there for me. I thought it would be lame. <laughs> you thought it was pretty lame. All right. On to the next one. It's old now, but before YouTube existed, this particular Flash-based video slash game website featuring its prominent tank logo all over was top dog for some of the original internet hits. Taylor. New, Newgrounds. Nope. It is, in fact, Newgrounds. Oh, I thought it was coffeebreak.com or whatever. Remember that one? You mean break.com? It's just break. I think it was coffeebreak.com. I just want to play in that, that like, tank, that 2D t or 3D tank. Oh, I know what game wire. you're talking about. Yeah, no. This, yeah. I know what game you're talking about. Yeah, well. I don't know what Next up. Oh, that's some nostalgia. Next up is Save, I believe. Do we just do that? No. no. In 1928, this fella had a great year. He began construction on his New York City Art Deco building named after him and also acquired Dodge. Woody. Carnegie? That is incorrect. Mm. Kyle. Sears. That's in Chicago. That is also incorrect. It I is. thought this was Chicago. an easy one. We Taylor. On top of that building. Rockefeller. That Rockefeller building in New York. Ed, final one. I don't know. Oh, uh, Iacocca. No, it's not, but... Okay, I'm going to reread one part emphatically. Also acquired Dodge. Chrysler. Ed gets the point. 
Oh, the Chrysler oh. building. Yeah, the man's name's Chrysler. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Taylor, is that how you spell Chrysler? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. It's not how I spell it. <laughs> how, okay. not, I, I have a, a <laughs> disagreement with Mr. Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> it's only name. how the people that spell it correctly do. <laughs> Take it up with the man himself. <laughs> oh, we got flags. Those are all right. Got some flags. Ooh, Everybody get ready. Like mm -hmm. What country's flag is this? Norway. Kyle. That is incorrect. Woody. Sweden. That is also incorrect. Taylor. Mm. Netherlands. Incorrect. We're really narrowing <laughs> down that area of Europe. Uh, <laughs> they're yeah, white. Europe. We know they're white. Oh. <laughs> uh, Finland? Guess Switzerland. It, it, not a bad guess. That is incorrect. I think we only have one left. It is Denmark. Oh. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> well, you do what you can. You All do right. what you can. And it's time to name that flag. Ew. God damn, why did that happen? <laughs> why did that happen? I remember the topic. Don't I'll move them All right. Everybody, let's just get our whiteboards out. There was only okay. one more question left anyway. The last flag? The last flag? I don't know. Was really I don't even know why that happened, so let's just I go like here. I like flags anyway. Yeah. Well, if I don't uh, win this. Who yeah. got the last one? Oh, nobody got it. Oh, Ed, you got the Chrysler question, though, so you're going to go ahead and pick uh, which of these categories you would like to venture into. These are pen and paper categories. So there'll be lots of I'll writing drive, to do. Drive like a bat. I thought you'd All right. Good night. Solid. Let's hope it doesn't you. fucking break. List five car models that are named after animals. Fuck. <laughs> that is not an animal. <laughs> oh, jeez. Five of them? Right. I mean, there's a lot more than five. There's I, at I least limited two. <laughs> There's something and like the let's Dodge put Wolf. Zach, let's put like 30 more seconds on it. God damn it. I did say name five, so it shouldn't take that long if you know it. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on the end of our time here in a second. So, yep. All right, minutes ticked over. I think we're gonna have to go pens down, boys. Uh, Ed, oh let's. Uh, I was gonna say wait for you because you're the ringer here. We've got Mustang from Ed Viper Cougar. What's that one? Maria Lago. Means Lago. Or it's also a bull, and Mira is also a bull. Interesting. I did not think of Spanish names, nor did any reference I pulled up. Okay, um, let's go with Taylor Bronco. Viper, Panda, Panda? Uh, Fiat Panda, Panda. Fiat That's Panda, a... yeah, Firebird. Really? Did you know and that? Thunderbird. I knew okay. it from watching uh, Top Gear. Taylor, uh, or, Jeremy uh, Clarkson's uh, like Woody. Listen to Panda. Mustang, got, ooh, Pinto, nice. Raptor, Jaguar, and Viper. Okay, cool. And Kyle's yours are backwards, so you're gonna have to read them for us. Viper, oh. Mustang, Spider, uh, Stingray. Thunderbird, great, and Firebird. Firebird. Okay, I believe oh. Taylor. Can I see yours again? I don't think Firebird is technically a bird. I underline. <laughs> oh. yeah. it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a mythical there. creature. It's meant to be a phoenix. <laughs> there is no phoenix. Well, it's an animal. I though. just wrote down. Nobody right. got ram, which was shocking. Um, they didn't get cool that Woody got Pinto. So uh, Beetle's a good one. Yeah, yeah it's a Woody, I it's believe Woody gets on. five. I think Kyle gets five. And I'm going to give you doing three. And I give you five. three. You gave I Ed three? I, I didn't see he that. He got one. the first three are English. <laughs> okay. What did you you think he deserves five? Wait, they're English? Wait, they're, they can't be in English. We all wrote in English. Uh, no, Ed, Ed gave has, two. Like, <laughs> Lamborghini uses the names of bulls, breeds of bulls. As You're right. The <laughs> bull one I can confirm, so I'll give you four. The Murcielago, I, if that's true, I take out your word, you'll get five. 
Yeah. All right, Egg gets five. Yeah. So everybody gets five except right, let's not Taylor crazy. gets four. Taylor gets four. <laughs> what? 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 <clears throat> Firebird is not an animal. Kyle got one for Firebird. No, he did. He put. He cheated. He put six answers down. Bonus. So he he got five. He got five real answers, if I recall. How does Thunderbird count and Firebird? Thunderbird count? is a thing. Oh, I didn't yep. know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's dead now. But apparently it lived once, so that's okay. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it, that's how I got raptors. Not to split hairs. Yeah, but... <laughs> the whole thing is called into question. Raptors exist. They're birds of prey. It, it's it's uh, it means in, like a uh, falcon's a raptor. Oh, I forgot about a raptor. Yeah. It's te- technically, raptor's not a a, a fair answer. Uh, I, I think we all tied. So let's just do top. Like saying waterfowl. No, Taylor. You did we all tie? Yeah, or... Taylor, you lost. You got four. So you don't. Nice oh, try who, though. Who got five? <laughs> Oh, are we doing more of these? I think Woody was technically the most correct. So I thought you uh, didn't get five, Kyle. Yeah, Woody, Woody, like, Woody. Put things down. Shit, I'll do U.S. presidents then. No, Kyle got five. <laughs> okay, well, they right. the here. This is this is gonna be a what? big one. Yep, it's actually not that big. List in chronological order. I just need the names. This you can really shorthand it. You don't have to write the full names. A lot of them are initials. List in chronological order. The U.S. presidents from World War II to present day, not including Biden, you will get awarded a point for everyone in the correct order. I'm I'm embarrassingly bad at this. Man, this is going to make me look like a fool. Just work backwards or forwards. You can figure them out. Honestly, you could do forwards and backwards and fuck up the middle, you know. Strategy. Pretty some of my questions are missing. I'll have to pull them up a different way. I'm embarrassed too. We're going to have to like self score this thing. Like... It's getting ridiculous. Yeah. I. I... I have the, I have the answer written down. Oh, somehow the buzz. Oh, we're done with the buzzer, huh? Yeah. Well, I have two questions. I'll let you guys buzz in for. I don't know why they're not popping up, so I'll just read them after this, and then we'll go back to the whiteboard right. ones. I I think I probably missed some of these. There'll be no time limit on this since it is a big ask. <laughs> Um, There'll be no humming. That will be no joy. Frenchman. Do you guys need more time? Yeah, I'm still right now. Some in here. I mean, I didn't get them all. I just don't have any (laughs) more. I'm not gonna get smarter in the next minute. No. I'm not gonna find presidents. <laughs> Hang on, I, I'm I'm still I'm still writing them down. It's his name. Um... All right, I think I, I don't I don't know about my order of some of these. I'm yeah, ready though. That's messy. Oh, yeah. Okay, Taylor's right. most ready. Well, I, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, <that face laughs> just uh, <laughs> connecting the matrix in his mind. Got to do a loop. All right, can I go first? Because sure, I got uh, Trump, Obama, twice, then Bush twice, then Clinton twice, then Bush, then Carter, then Reagan twice, then Ford, then Nixon, then Johnson, then Truman, then Kennedy, and then I felt pressured. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's go on to Ed. I went out of order uh, with uh, Ford and LBJ, and so he beat me. Can we please see your paper? Well, he didn't get him right, so don't use him as the basis of. Yeah, but I, I didn't get better than him. Why are we so low efforting this? Put, let me see the paper. I tried so hard. No, I, I know you I did. Tried. I All did. Right, let's go off Taylor's next. I did All right, FDR, Taylor. Eisenhower, yeah. Kennedy. Nixon, Ford, Johnson, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. All right, keep yours up for a second. Taylor, I'm pretty sure off memory you've got them all right, except one is out of the uh, 
one is misplaced. Uh, Woody, go. I put Eisenhower, Johnson, JFK, Nixon. What does that say? Ford, Carter, Reagan. I almost forgot Bush, Clinton, then Bush, Obama, Trump. Uh, this is hard to see with the glare. Okay. Oh, Keep I'm your, sorry. Is it, it's all good. Uh, Zach, going to need your help on this one because there's a lot to look at here. Here's the answer. <laughs> you made uh, this mess. <laughs> yeah, but you're writing backwards. Zach says Ed's using most a, right. You're writing backwards. Ed's using it's, a highlighter. And it's I've right ways on my camera. Like when I look at it, it looks right. All right, here it is. It's FDR. Truman took over when he died. Then it's Dwight Eisenhower, JFK, who was assassinated. Then came LBJ, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, HW, Clinton, Bush, Barack, Trump. So I think the only thing Taylor got wrong was you put Johnson further down the line. No, yeah. disqualified. That or, uh, let me oh, see. he got to Carter. So he got he went backwards all to Carter correctly. Um, I went backwards to, but he also gets the other ones. You know, FDR is right, Eisenhower is right, Kennedy uh, on the score, JFK is right. All right, well, let us know who won. Yeah, Zach, <laughs> if you could just two. We're just gonna base this out of ten instead. Save some. Actually, it's out of fourteen. I remember now. It's fourteen. I got so 11. Taylor, what do you yeah. got? Eleven. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll just do some honor. Taylor got 13. Ed, how many do you get? I can't read yours. 10. You got 10? Okay. And Kyle? I think so. I'm not really even sure how to count. Well, go in both directions and see where you're Tell me which numbers you're stuck on, and I'll give you the order. Well, um, I I said Trump, Obama, Obama, Bush, Bush, Clinton, Clinton, (laughs) Bush, Carter, uh, the Reagan, Ford, Nixon, Johnson, Truman. Well, you Clinton. messed up right there because he goes Bush, uh, Reagan, Carter. Yeah, okay. So, so you got back. How... You got back to Clinton. No, you, yeah, you got back to H W correctly. Is what he's saying. Because then you inverted okay. Reagan and Carter. I and did. Then he's saying from starting with F D R. How many of those in ascending right. order did you get correct? <clears throat> that many. <laughs> All right, so zero. I have no idea. I have no idea because I, if I, I mean, how would I know I don't have an answer key in front of me, right? I just, I had to. <laughs> you, know, like, you, 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 you maybe fill out a test. There's the answer key right what my, there. What my score is. So you said FDR and then two. Zach says he's got the scores. Good. Good. Great. Oh, wait, I'm going to read these. Qu- uh, shit. Nice. Uh, did Taylor win? I think. Yeah. No, we're still. That. Yeah, Taylor won. Uh, did Taylor choose the next category. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, Greek humor. Uh, I had two more questions. I'm just gonna read them, and I want you to. Uh, you can actually just write them all down. We'll just do this for a whiteboard too, because the buzzer. I shut that down. So, for this question, uh, the first one is. Though only the stuff of urban legends, it's rumored that this car model sold very poorly in Spanish-speaking countries because its name in Spanish literally means no go or not going. So you can all write your answers down on the whiteboards. What car model is this? This is a two-point question. Right, no, Still it. make it two points, even though there's no buzzer. Okay. All right. Kyle's Any done. Time? How about everybody else? Uh, I've heard this, but I don't remember it. Is it El Camino? Oh. Okay. It is the fact Chevy Nova, no as in no, <laughs> and va as in going in Spanish. Hey, while Nova. we're at it, what, is El, what does El Camino mean? While, we're, while I'm learning things. The Camino. <laughs> <laughs> it's a breaking bad movie doesn't camino mean like walk the go walk or something i don't know all right one more question then we'll get back to the big whiteboard ones the poor design of this car's fuel tank placement meant that even in low speed crashes the resulting accident would lead to catastrophic explosions and car engulfing flames while trapped inside because your car crumpled up and twisted after being hit in the rear what is, what is this the, car? Is the Gremlin? No. It is in fact not the Gremlin. Everybody else got That's their good. answers ready. 
Mm -hmm. Taylor, got it. Pinto, Ed, Pinto, Woody. I put Silverado. That's your truck. <laughs> Was this a personal question for you? I haven't <laughs> Did you get me. Why? I know. Yeah. I, I, I have this vague Pinto. memory of like it being hit from the side in some consumer reports, faked video or something. I bet yeah. Ed's heard of this. The Pintos would explode. Yeah, like, you I, rear I, knew, I knew it was a cheap little car. They put the fuel tank right. behind the rear axle. And it was I'm bad. surprised because <laughs> you named the Pinto in the, the animal question. I didn't think anyone would guess that on the animal. There one. was this controversy. I think it was con like U.S. consumer reports or something, and they actually rigged a truck to explode and oh. acted like it really happened naturally. And people got, you know, Damn. automakers got mad. I'm trying to remember the details, but Jeez. anyway, I do oh, really Taylor. appreciate the charity Great humor our questions to make it's this a, I, I <laughs> make a fair fight and throw yeah, a little in that there. Was, that was awfully kind, don't you think? <laughs> Great humor, Taylor said. Oh, okay. The Greek physician Hippocrates, as an American would say, believes that the body had four humors bodily fluids that were responsible for illnesses and personality traits. It was the harmony and balance or imbalance of them that made up you or the things wrong with you. What were the four humors? And everybody write these and do not reveal your answers till everyone is done, please. Larry David, Seinfeld, George Carlin, Red Fox. I don't even know. I have no idea. I have no idea what form the answer might take. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a, there's a number and a list. What were the four humors? I wrote down four words that might be. <laughs> hey, was that, it worked out for that Yu-Gi-Oh question. So yeah, what did what did you say last trivia with the Yu-Gi-Oh that cracked my shit up? The name of Gurgle. <laughs> no, Gurgle, yeah, <laughs> Gurgle. Hey, that, that actually could be one for this. I have a guess. I'm yeah, I have. Whatever. Looks like Ed's still writing. Ed, are you almost done? I uh, just put blood and bile. I don't know what. To do. Okay, yeah. blood and okay, bile. Well, those are all right. Uh, Taylor got blood, bile, <laughs> semen, and water. I said blood, uh, bile, saliva, and urine. Okay, the, these are what humors are. That's I, what I put Hippocrates said. Happy, sad, excited, and horny. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> it was most correlated to a blue. And uh, <laughs> Ed, what did you put? Bodily I, fluids. Blood, blood that was blood uh, blood I skipped over that part emotionally. I don't know. Emotionally. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll reveal the answers here. They were blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Those made up who you were. That's why bloodletting was oh. a thing. So oh, bile, we get two, right? Like we, we, you yeah, will get one. We're, we're, you will get one. Three. I didn't want to waste the ink. <laughs> Taylor, Ed, and Kyle all get two. Woody. While I appreciate the emotions you shared, <laughs> I cannot award points for that. Okay. Pissed, angry, <laughs> frustrated, annoyed. Flem. <laughs> I would have changed really my didn't answers. see Flem coming there. It would have taken me 50 guesses to get to Flem. Yeah. Ed, why don't you, or, uh, Kyle, you pick category. Apocalypse Now. All right. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. These are all apocalypse slash world ending works of entertainment. Put them in the order of what year their apocalypses happen. Not the release date of the movie, book, or game, but of when in this fictional world the world ends. You've got Terminator, The Last of Us, Snowpiercer, and Wally. -E. An extra point if you get if you want to throw the years on all of these or ballpark years. <laughs> if you get close, you know, eh, it's worth it. I need. I know one of the years. I think. Ooh. No, they can't be right. This will be interesting. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh shit! I'm done. Whenever. <laughs> Kyle yeah. has locked in his answers. Woody has locked in his answers. We are waiting on Ed and Taylor. I'm going to take that as Ed is done, Taylor. I'm, I'm switching. I'm inverting these two real quick. <laughs> hmm. Ed has been disqualified by revealing his answers immediately. I, <laughs> <don't> do <that>. <laughs> <laughs> I really struggle because I've never. See you all the next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Taylor's just going with it. All right. He's got The Last of Us, Terminator, Snowpiercer, and Wally. -E. Ed has 
Last of Us, Wally, Snowpiercer, and Terminator. Kyle, you have Terminator. Terminator, Last yeah. of Us, Snowpiercer, Wally. Okay, Woody. Uh, Terminator, Last of Us, Snowpiercer, Wally. The same order. Same you as have. me. Nobody want to throw say, any dates on. I said right. 1997 uh, for the Terminator Apocalypse. Okay. I believe it was in August. Those are the seven. answers. Yeah, uh, Woody. And, that changed. Uh, That's not. Hang Kyle. on. Hang on. Wait. G- b- oh, I got it right. I don't think it was 2003. Oh, I would have got it right if I hadn't switched. Well, I, I, I got Woody and I got it correct. Um, so yeah, but, you I, got 100 percent right. If you want to check, like like Sarah Connor says it, she said like like google when was the original terminator apocalypse like like uh, judgment day when was judgment day that's because that's the answer i thought it was 97 i i guess <laughs> well you you got all the point i don't know what we're waiting for it's i got i got two points zach <laughs> i got snowpiercer and wally but i inverted terminator and last of us yeah and i think ed got one yeah well, it says it's not sure four one of them was in order if you uh, eliminate the other three. Yeah, he gets one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we'll end it with Don't Kill Fido. All right. Easy question. Seven is one of the Judgment Day answers, Kyle. Ah, uh, well, it still would have been right. <laughs> I got 2003 out of the two movies. List for me only five things you cannot feed your dog without killing them. Please start with the most well known things and. What I mean by that is pick the five you know definitively. Do not list 20 things and say that's your answer. You get five to go with. You only get five. Can we be like pedantic with it? Like arsenic. I will DQ you. Okay. Just because you are rating champ does not mean you can besmirch the game. (laughs) I don't don't think he's rating champ. I think Kyle is. No. No, he's won every... Trivia we've done, including the Woody's Cup. All right. <laughs> they were all playing for second in Woody's Cup. All right. <laughs> I'm the reigning champ because the Woody. most recent game was Woody's Cup. <laughs> Woody is both the arbiter and the champion. If you don't like it, you don't have to play in the cup. <laughs> it's his game. These are his rules. Yeah. I'm a terrible dog owner, apparently. This is going to be alarming if some people don't know some of these and have been like feeding their dogs like certain things this is the educational portion of the show i watched the stupid video this week that you based this off of <laughs> this is a, i don't know what video you're talking about again this is like when the youtube video th- this is just something i know it comes up a lot when uh people are feeding things to my dog <laughs> i i saw like one of these short instagram things and i only remember one of them no i don't use instagram or tiktok i'm sorry know. Yeah, I'm done. These are so, things people just should know. Well, don't don't be killing your dogs. So, uh, hold on. There are other people writing. Don't yeah, no, I'm trying to shut that down though. Ruin your lead. All right, let's let's wrap it up here in in ten seconds, folks. I said five, and we're done. All right, Kyle's confident. Let's go. I'm not confident. Re- I said please read I said your Coke. Answers. I said cocoa, chocolate, onions, grapes, antifreeze, blueberries, and almonds. Okay. Uh, Taylor? I put grapes, chocolate, hazelnuts, alcohol, cashews. Interesting. Add one with chocolate, grapes, and antifreeze. Okay. They both put I, antifreeze? <laughs> I don't feel really, that. That kills people, too. I, <laughs> What's Some of the point? poisons, I mean, I'm just as bad. I put chocolate, Motrin, and grapes, and then lye. I started running out of <laughs> shit. <laughs> and glass. 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 <laughs> I'd say give him a point for glass. That's <laughs> Absolutely, under no circumstances. Don't, your dog oh, don't feed glass. your dogs a bowl of lye, antifreeze, and glass. Uh, what were you looking for here? You got a combination Onion. of all grapes, onions, you know, chives, things like that, macadamia nuts. Chocolate, dark chocolate, and garlic. What Those the fuck are is like, 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 like either it is Well, there's today. obviously a lot of minor things. Right, well, the well, major well, things you got I'll, several of them. The Calm down. Cetera, he I'm was taking three points. Glass. How many exactly did everyone get? Yeah, garlic and and glass are like the uh, same Taylor rice. got three. <laughs> I got three because I'm not going to count alcohol and cashews. Uh, Ed got two because I'm not counting antifreeze. 
Uh, Kyle, I don't oh, remember yours on their backwards. I, I, again, I, I, am I going to get two for cocoa and chocolate? I listed them separately. No. No. <laughs> okay. I'm more than five. I'm checking. <laughs> Insta oh, decrease. Please. Chocolate. I chocolate. thought he wrote more than five. But in order of importance, you know. Let the, let the commissioner notice that Kyle Cadbury eggs, Hershey's bars, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mounds. <laughs> All five <laughs> of chocolate no, base. Actually, <laughs> mounds. Uh, you would mounds is a good one because that's dark chocolate, Taylor. Zach, no I can help you. Either. I got five. Dark's worse. Yeah, yeah, dark's worse. <laughs> what he got five because they're counting glass. <laughs> no, he what didn't he, get what five. No way got if five I don't there. get alcohol, he doesn't get fucking glass. He does not get glass. He gets oh. a smiley face like Ed got one. Feed your dog glass. That is not anywhere near me. my smiley face. That is barely in a glass. Is way <laughs> worse to feed your dog than antifreeze. Okay. Yeah. So how many don't points did everyone get? Glass. Dogs spit out glass. They don't spit out there. antifreeze. Woody three and it's science. Why are you giving it three? Because <laughs> absolutely under we, the circumstances. We're not putting antifreeze in there. If, if Ed gets antifreeze, I get antifreeze. Yeah, we're not putting antifreeze. That is not one. You I'll should not be feeding your dog poison. I get alcohol. You're not feeding your dog poison. Your glass. glass. <laughs> <laughs> the slippery See, slope. This is, this is why you not do this. No, I should get two for no. lie. That stuff's awful. You they were on my list. Lie. You get the ones on the list. All right, let's look at the point totals we've got here. You making soap over there? Woody thirty-seven. Are they really tied? With the proper points at the end just then. Okay. This is wow. kind of fucking bananas. Woody 37, Kyle 37, Taylor 38. Ed still in this with 29 because yeah. Final Jeopardy is a wage around. It Fuck. doesn't matter until this, the end. This, <laughs> this is, oh. Only the last question counts. This is a hard <laughs> question. Um yeah. Ed, put your put your wagers down. All right, so we write down on our paper. How the wait, we don't, get the, we don't get the category? The, the category is, yes, the category is history slash the naming of things, the roots for why something came to be. It's etymology. I got to risk, risk it all, everything. 37 is what I'm risking. Well, then I have to risk 37 or I won't even win. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I like this. I like this. <laughs> All right, I got my wager down. Mm-hmm. Ed, do you have your uh, wager written down? I do, if you can believe okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this does not break, and this just works. Not inside the local mall, but after living in Honduras, O'Henry coined this term for a small country dependent on a single export. What was that term? Zach, roll the music. Roll the music. Fuck. Should've that is incorrect. He said you should have wagered more. Should have wagered more on this. I'm almost mm. positive I know it. Kyle in deep thought over there. I don't know it. No. Hence the deep thought. How Sir, many points mind palace. That's for the reveal at the end. All right. No more tunes. <laughs> I like the tunes. All right. All right. I'm ready. Hey, hang on. One, one, Kyle, Kyle hasn't written anything yet. I, Kyle, you've seen him in deep thought. Okay. I'm done. All right. I, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's I risked, go with Kyle I risked it up. I risked it all. And Holy I, shit. You know, I thought you were reverse psychology people. No, I have no. Oh, Taylor's got it. It's a banana republic. I also have banana Well, oh, Jesus, Taylor. I, really I put a zero. Suspense. <laughs> Did you put a zero? It was impossible. Oh. I got it right, <laughs> but fact, I didn't bet anything. Because a banana republic. Things, I thought it was going to be like. Is it etymology of a word? Yeah, I yeah. I, I did say etymology and history. It was a you know as broad as I can get without it. And... <laughs> I told you it's scripted. He gets to win the ball. That's the agreement we made. I exactly. called the winner before the game. I can't yeah. believe you wagered everything. I thought you yeah. were tricking them by going. Oh, you have to bet. I everything. thought you were tricking. We're going to bet nothing. <laughs> I, I thought Woody knew Banana Republic and that he wrote thirty-seven down and was going to get a nice. People need to understand the business arrangement. Kyle and I get the money. Taylor gets the trivia wins. If yeah, we thought true. it was fair, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's fair. You're bragging rights. <laughs> Four and all. Ed, how much oh my god. That's a, that's a seven it. game I mean, series sweep. I, I love that we were right there, though. We were right there, Woody. It right came down there. to that bullshit. Yeah. 
I had 37 points and I knew the final answer. <laughs> 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 that's it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Now, obviously, look what happened. If you had just wagered all of it, you'd be the winner tonight. That's big right. for the. Well, ego. I've never gotten the last question right. Before. Well, you've always too hard. You've ruined my night. <laughs> <laughs> you've made mine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you gonna make it home? Yeah. Huh. Well, oh, I've man, got the nice other trivia episode. to hang my head I didn't on. Even I knew all the answers. How about that? that? Yeah. How many well, years I, have y'all been doing this? Like twelve-ish, maybe. Holy cow. Yeah, well, How do you like... evaluate like the success of it? Trivia uh, wins. You... <laughs> 13. We... I I don't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I just just do it. People are still listening. Hell yeah. That's <laughs> are, that's are there metrics that you pay attention to? There are still metrics that I don't show. pay attention to. <laughs> Shiz has an That's eye on the almost metric. the same thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're similar, but oh. it's you know it's it's an odd thing this to make a career out of, right? Like talking oh to the God. internet. I don't it like telling weird. people. I went car shopping, and the the salesman's asking me what I do for a living, and I was like, I don't work very much. He's like, Yeah, but what do you do? And I was like, I you know I, I just work part time. I'm semi retired. Yeah, but what do you do? Like, why are you so fucking nosy? Are you eyeing me up for what I can pay? Like, I don't want to tell it. Have you seen me dodge this question three fucking times? I didn't actually say all that, but it was just like, yeah, I'd rather not say. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. not say what I'm doing because then you're going to ask the name of I'm it. I'm an embarrassment to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in, in my world of car YouTubing, like, uh, you know, Doug DeMuro continued to write $150 articles for websites so that he could say that he was a journalist for a long time. I sold Rob Dom uh, a Lamborghini and had to fill out a credit application for him while I worked at Lamborghini Atlanta. And he was super embarrassed to have to itemize the AdSense money in order to qualify for the loan on the Lamborghini that he was buying. And, mm -hmm. you know, this was before I even dreamt of it as a personal profession, but I, uh, it's it's wild the opportunities that it presents and the the fun of uh, the people that it gets to introduce us to. So I'm yeah. grateful to have been invited this evening. Cool. Yeah, thanks for I'm coming. I'm glad man. you came. I had a fun time. Very glad. Thanks for doing our trivia with us. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Even word though there's for clearly it. <laughs> something going on with the trivia. Yeah. Right. Right. Me it didn't blowing, feel legitimate. Me from blowing a totally... your back out, Kyle, in every seems single like, one. Seems a little, seems a little scripted, kind of like the NBA, how it comes down to the wire, and then the same team always wins. That's all I'm saying. 37, mm. 37, 38, but just, just give you a layup. Call me Tim Donahue. Layup. Yeah. You didn't know. That would okay. Have been. Exactly. Exactly. He had to DM you. I bet he sent you some some side messages. I could have like so banana. easily put Can't a say nothing. that zero. <laughs> I could have made it ten. I did. He sent you like slide. banana emojis slide. and with shit a, with over a there. slash through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. All right. Uh, check out Vin Wiki. Link in the description. Uh, PKA six seventy seven. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.